Who sucked my dick off? Who? 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 Who sucked my dick off? Who? 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 Uh, where there's like a YouTube video that's like recording the oldest instrument in the world. And it sounds like shit. <laughs> yeah, of course. And it's like, bling, 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 bling. and one of the comments on there was like, how the fuck did they record this? <laughs> <laughs> this <is> some, <laughs> some fucking idiot. That's incredible. <laughs> how the fuck did they record this? Dude, I... <laughs> <laughs> is it a YouTube video <laughs> from 4,000 years ago? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Will Maneker is joining. We got us Thick today. Cock Billy. <laughs> yeah. In the mix. <laughs> why Dick? Why Dick Maneker? <laughs> it's true. If you put Adam's nose to the ground, it works like a metal detector. What's the name of that <laughs> monkey with the the hilarious nose? A proboscis a pro, a proboscis monkey? I don't know. They look. What do you mean? They have like dick nose, like Gonzo nose. <laughs> yeah, they look exactly like Gonzo. Really? Oh, yeah. that's hilarious. Oh, that's it's awesome. a it's a uh, Hebrewish uh, monkey, <laughs> <laughs> native to Israel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's an Israeli monkey. Yeah, is maybe one more banana, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> he does the Yoda speak. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yoda was just Jewish, right? Yeah, that's, that's why that's he talks what, yeah. like that. That's what I thought. He was definitely fucking Jewish. He was like a little huddled Jew. Yeah, which is pretty yeah. cool, no, honestly. Stop. For Get Star Wars. These oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Shut the fuck up. Yeah, that straight looks like a dick. A, a proboscis monkey or proboscis monkey. That's inc- that looks like a George Lucas character. Of yeah, a yeah, Jew. yeah. That looks like what Anakin, uh, who enslaved Anakin or whatever. Yeah. The fuck. Well, they're native to Israel. <laughs> <laughs> they live on the Wailing Wall. They make the noises. Yeah. Tell me, tell me that doesn't look like a guy we know. (laughs) Right there. (laughs) The the surprise look on his face, also. (laughs) Holy shit, that's well. You ended half off brunch. So like immediately putting the sole of your shoe directly on the arm. First of all, it was not First the sole. Also, it was the those side shoes. Of my by the way, we've never mocked him for this. Oh, yeah. Those are the most Jewishly yeah, yeah. acquired <laughs> shoes of all time. You stole this, them from like a church, this, lost and found. No, box. this motherfucker found these shoes on the street. Then did not research. The street. Shut the fuck up. Did research. Oh. Found that they have a lifetime warranty. <laughs> returned them and got brand new boots. You fucking piece of shit. First of all. <laughs> They were in the free pile of my apartment building. (laughs) Second of all, why does your apartment building have a free section? It's pretty chill. I don't think that's real. Is it labeled that, or have you just been taking shit from (laughs) where people drop off mail? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's the free pile. It's like a bunch of Amazon boxes. (laughs) that you just my neighbor's neighbor's apartment. In my my dad's, in my dad's apartment building, uh, there was like homeless people like coming in and shitting in the floor. They were like doing drugs and shitting. (laughs) All over, like, the foot of the stairwell or whatever. <laughs> and fuck, like, down at the lowest level. And then there was, like, some community bulletin that was like, uh, we think teenagers might be... <laughs> like, shitting in the fucking <laughs> foyer of our fucking apartment building. You know, those it's shitting like, teens. Yeah, those teens, like, down there, they're doing drugs and <laughs> shitting and pissing all over the floor. You know, those notoriously weak bowel oh, teenagers. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, the teenagers, they're just riding around yeah, on yeah. freight trains all over this country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Using newspapers for underpants. That shit is so funny. When teens are just the catch all oh, for yeah, any problem. Yeah, yeah. So the, the, the teens. Yeah. The teens, a bunch of 12 year olds are coming directly from the mall to leave their heroin needles and feces <laughs> all over the steps of the apartment building. Classic <laughs> teenager. Yeah. Oh, geez. I bet. I, where'd they learn this? From their Green Day tapes? <laughs> oh. Yeah, Norman told this story one time about like uh, feeling up some deaf girl like behind the <laughs> fucking church, and they're making out, and they'd made out a couple of times, and then he like pulled one of her titties out of her shirt. She's like, mm, you know, like making noise, and then eventually he, like pulls it out, and he like pops it in his mouth, and she like pushes his head back, and he's like, no man, no means no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude! Yeah, <laughs> that's a fucking that's a that's a two for dude. That's a rape plus. I mean, plus fucking making fun of disabled yeah, people. Yeah, story. Ableist. I don't think that's not rape. No, it's not rape. But you it's know not. And you know what? It's like she's deaf. You don't know. I mean, yeah. Uh, it does not mean no. You know. I mean, what the fuck are you saying? So. <laughs> 
<laughs> if he stopped there, then it's fine. I mean, he stopped when he realized it no, was No, it is it's fine. Oh, <laughs> God, Nick, you're going to that hell with the Dillons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, Roof, and Cleopold. Dillon. Did you, gonna, um, we're going to be here for the... We're, we're part of the resistance, right? Yeah. We're going to help Hillary... Yeah, is Hillary gonna be mayor or is she gonna be like? Uh, uh, Hillary's governor? mayor would be great. Hillary, they just they dug into that on the last Chapo, so I feel like oh, did they? we missed the boat on that one? Damn, I would start taking shits on the subway. Yeah, with Tom. Myers. Well, I was saying that's who she's gonna Clean lose. Up, bitch. That's who she's gonna lose the election to is the guy that takes shits on the subway. <laughs> <laughs> Some homeless guy <laughs> named Dangerous Eddie. <laughs> she literally. Now I got two teeth and I got a shit to take. And if this damn bitch thinks she's going to keep me out of the mansion, she can suck my cock. Listen, and everyone's like, he can't talk about women that way. He's like, you're goddamn right I can. <laughs> you fucking cunt. I like Dangerous Eddie because he says what's on his mind. Yeah. Absolutely. You know? you know who I want to see back? When is he the, used is the that rent. knife to threaten that Starbucks. <laughs> Barista. <laughs> when he, when that he brought knife that, made out of squirrel bones, right. sharpened squirrel bones. <laughs> when he brought that pen knife into that Starbucks and threatened people, it made me feel like, you know, this is a New Yorker that I can relate to. <laughs> I don't understand why they don't make the whole plane out of black people. <laughs> Wouldn't care if a bunch of black people died. Are you going to explain the context? Uh, no. <laughs> I had a racist moment one time. I was like scrolling through X videos mm. and... Uh, and like I've never, I never understood people to get mad at like interracial porn. There's people right. that get like mad at that. It's so funny. And it never bothered me, but you know, it's just whatever. And it was like in the interracial section, and there was a video that was like, uh, uh, white bitch gets railed out by her black boss, and I was like, her boss. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> slow it down <laughs> here. <laughs> you know, maybe wait another fifty years. He's the maintenance man, or yeah, he's, he's, he's the janitor. Yeah. <laughs> he's the prisoner of the. He's the slave of that office building. <laughs> the office building has a slave. That's the level of interracial porn, Alex. Had. If I had a black, my black, bo my boss in Blockbuster was black. Yeah, she was uh, good. At, she was as good as you could be at being a boss of Blockbuster. Mm -hmm. It was so funny to work at Blockbuster, just like as the ship was sinking. Yeah, it was like my fucking. I, I don't remember what it was. It was my freshman year of college or some shit. I'd like to imagine a black woman being promoted to the manager position of Blockbuster, and she's like standing there, like you know, upright, like somebody does when the president gives, <laughs> gives yes the medal, medal of honor, and she's standing looking there. like Joe Biden. Yeah, but then the the district manager of Blockbuster who's promoting her is like pressing on long fake nails to her hands. <laughs> and there's just a single tear going down <laughs> her cheek and she's promoted to the manager of Blockbuster with like giant nails. movie themed nails yeah, 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 yeah. Just like, yeah. giant long fucking nails and then they open a little tiny jewelry box and there's a piece of gum that she starts chewing <laughs> that's the ceremony <coughs> Yeah, and her that, name is also Ceremony. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck! For me to ever want, I have never been to a strip club. Well, because I'm from Vegas, so all oh, right. Yeah. When you're his 18, his mom was a stripper. His sister's a stripper. <laughs> my grandmother is a stripper. My great grandmother is a stripper. My dad's a stripper. His dad's gay. Oh, we we covered that. His dad used to fuck his him. His dad's for a gay money. prostitute, right? Yeah. No, all of our dads are gay together. No, no, no. We established this. I thought we established this. Our dads Your dad's are gay. Our dads are actually. Didn't just, we say uh, we were going to uh, parent trap our dads so we yeah. could all be real brothers? Didn't we say that on an earlier episode? The only way you can do it is with a triad of gay fathers. Yeah, that would be if our we dads. Should, we're, we're in a poly. Poly. We have the weirdest group of fathers, <laughs> yeah. too. By the way, just like a fucking Greek immigrant who's not happy about anything. My dad would be abusive to your guys' dads. No, my dad would verbally fuck your and dad. emotionally. Abusive. My dad would rape your dad, dude. My dad's is a scrappy yeah, guy. Your He's dad scrappy. probably just my dad's big and strong. Dude. Our dads. Yeah, our dads Shut would the fuck, fuck up. Dad. My dad is yeah. a rugby player growing up. He's yeah, strong. Well, he ain't now, bitch. Yeah, he's a little bottom. He's a little bottom Jew, dude. Yeah. How tall is your dad? Like five six. <laughs> <laughs> How much does your dad weigh? Is he scrawny? He weighs more than me. All right. Yeah, but, but you, no, weigh but like you, you weigh flat stomach, dude. Flat stomach. Sixty five years old. Like no. no you have you have the body time. composition of a fourteen year old girl. You understand that? That's not true at all. Because I have a penis. I don't have breasts. <laughs> I don't whatever. even have training bra. Okay. So your dad. What does he do for a living? Or what did he do for a living? He was an architect. 
So you got a little ass. Yeah, but architect. you go out on the you go out my on the dad, job site. My dad's a fucking laborer, dude. So would my dad. My dad can build anything. My dad dude. will fuck. My your dad, dad had a shop. Oh, my dad will rape your father, and because he respects Nick's father, because your dad would never rape my father. Yeah, he would. No, he my dad is a man would. of pride, and he was also okay. First of all, my dad uh, was in the military. What military? Were your dads in the military? Yes, my dad was in the Greek military. Okay, so my yeah, dad was compulsory in... Greek ser- military service. My, and my dad did compulsory service in okay. apartheid South Africa. So that's Africa. a wash. So you're, wait, your dad was in apartheid? Your dad was in the he was South never, African yeah. racist military? No, he was never active, but he had, to, <laughs> he had to do basic training. Wait, he used to tell me these stories of when he was in, so. What? Listen, listen, listen. Yeah, you haven't heard this story no, before? No, no. Yeah, dude, Adam's family, they own slaves. No, they, they didn't like, own yeah. slaves. Adam okay. actually got here on, like, everything that he's ever had in his life was basically through slave labor. Shut up, shut so up. Your, so did your family he, used to own Trevor Noah's family? Yeah, no. Yeah. No. His his family's responsible for the New Daily Show. <laughs> oh, jeez, yeah. that is the biggest atrocity yeah. you've ever committed. We sold him to June Stewart. <laughs> I knew uh, we sold one of our abos to June Stewart <laughs> yeah. in exchange for a roux. <laughs> <laughs> the it for a roux. Yeah, yeah. Okay. we got a roux out of it. <laughs> we traded our roux for. A My dad Stewart. told me he was in uh, when he was in the South African military. He had this, this really like maybe like five four five five Offer Connor drill sergeant. So everyone, all the white men had to go into basic training for a year after mm-hmm. high school before college. All the white men, just the white every men. universal white male conscription. Yeah. Basically, in South Africa. Well, South Africa is, but is, then he went is to like the inside of Dylan Roof's head. <laughs> well, no, 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 That's no, no. That country is. Dylan Roof was really into Rhodesia. Rhodesia, yeah, which yeah. is a, which another was Zimbabwe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no, no, but he had this. Um, this drill sergeant, this like tiny, That's like being like this no, tiny into uh, Pepsi, not Coke. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. the exact same. And he would just thing. shout at my dad. My dad would be doing like the you know the you know eighty pound backpack like running joints. Yeah, and he would just shout at my dad. He's like, "Listen, you fucking Ewit," which is like Jew in South African or in Afrikaans. He's like, "Listen, you fucking Ewit, what Hilta didn't do." I will do to you. Oh my God. I am here to finish Hilter's job. <laughs> he called him Hilter? Yeah, instead of Hitler. <laughs> Which doesn't even make sense. He's just inverting letters. He's yeah, not even yeah. doing it with an accent. Yeah. He's like, you fucking you. It's, if it wasn't for the blacks, it would be you. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah. So what was basic Jeez. training? It's like whack-a-mole. Crazy like, stories from the land down under, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty crazy. Did he serve with Crocodile Dundee? Yeah. No, well... Um, he got, so, so he, he, a couple of, he went to Jewish day school and a couple of his other, um, classmates were in his division in mm. basic training. And one of their moms, um, complained about not having kosher meat. Oh no. Like, yeah. Which is like terrible. Like your mom is complaining yeah. to the arm. Strike one complaining. Yeah. 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 So they're like, that's so they, already Jewish in and of itself. They wake up. They, they wake up all the Jews. They wake up all the Jews in the middle of the night. They He's got a peanut allergy. <laughs> <laughs> My boy. Obviously, did. obviously. Oh, a mom Benjamin, complained. don't let them <laughs> let them get you near the peanuts. <laughs> obviously, a mom complains. So then he goes. He like. Um, Jesus. They Christ. wake up all the Jews in the middle of the night and. He's like, Crystal uh, all right, you fucking Ewitts. One of your fucking mummies complained <laughs> that you don't have kosher meat. And he's like, this is my dad's uh, story for never, uh, never volunteer for anything if you're in the army. He's like, okay, so we got you some fucking kosher meat. Do, do any of you know how to cook? And so no one raises his hand. So my dad raises his hand. So they, they take him to a fucking industrial kitchen and there's just a side of a cow, <laughs> literally just a dead cow hanging from hooks. And he has um, to like, was that, was that how your dad met your mom? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so then, so then he, um, so then he had to like, literally like carve up this cow. They gave Holy him like a shit. cleaver. He had like, you know, 18 year old boy, you yeah. know, just cutting up a cow. And then the next day in the mess hall, um, all the Jews were like eating steaks. Well, uh, all the Afrikaners were eating like, gruel and stuff holy shit and then the anti-semitism just went through the roof because that fucking guy's mom complained <laughs> that's incredible yeah yeah holy shit yeah yeah how long do you have to how long was in the army so you do basic training and then you can go to college but um they found out my dad did a like a humanitarian relief thing uh project when he was in high school in uh swaziland mm-hmm. which is like the small kingdom and in, in so they they identified him as a pol- potential political enemy oh really yeah so they 
they tried to bring him up into the army and send him into Angola in the early 80s during the Civil War. Jesus and he just Christ. met my mom and she's like, no, we're not. you're not fighting for the fucking South African army in Angola. Right. So they came to America. Oh, so you just dipped? Was it you could just do that? No, you they like leave? left. They left a ton of money behind. They oh. like just, they fucking left. That must have really hurt. Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah. It was really rough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was really rough. Yeah, yeah. Holy can, shit. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, my dad would rape him still though. Yeah, no, no, my dad was tough. tough. No, nah, he would be the. Bomb. My dad went to fuck it the same shit. He went. He was a fucking soldier, and he's fucking been building shit and lifting shit his whole life. My dad's been building shit too, dude. Nah, your best bet is my dad has a heart attack. That's the only way he does. Your dad's rape your out dad. of shape. No, he's like he's like a strong guy with a horrible heart. Okay, my dad's a strong guy with a with he's a heart of gold. He's not strong. He's a heart of he's gold. He's little as shit. We could all fuck your dad up. You couldn't fuck my dad up. Absolutely. He's strong my, as fuck. My dad, sucks. my dad would His just be sucks. looking at pictures of uh, trains, uh, the model slot cars on <laughs> eBay, and complaining of chest pains. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he would do the entire time. Is your dad in good shape? No, not bad at all. shape. Yeah, bad shape. He's not fat or anything. Short guy. No, he's like five ten. He's taller than you. Yeah. Yeah, my dad's taller than me too. Oh man, that must suck, guys. No, I tower over my father. No, it's That's cool why I because me. our fathers will fuck your father up. Yeah, that's not possible. It's so true. Your little, your little scrawny Jew dad is so funny. That argument, my dad could beat up your dad. Mm-hmm. That, like elementary school argument. Yeah, ours is rape though. My my friend's mom's vibrator one time. I don't know why we were going through their shit, but he <laughs> found his. I was watching him pull the vibrator out of her like nightstand, and his mom was f- so hot. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, "What the fuck is this?" And he was like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> no. He was like horrified and we were like, Yes That was in your mom's pussy. Let me smell it. He's like, Get out Everyone get out right now That is an emergency. Yeah. For a kid with a hot mom. Yeah, she's yeah. like she's like, Zach, why is there a bunch of saliva all over my vibrator? <laughs> oh my friends were over. Yeah, why does it smell like gushers? <laughs> yeah. Why is there that that candy spray and air that, wrappers? That's, <laughs> uh, that's such a funny visual like a bunch of like 12 year olds sucking off like a huge dildo <laughs> yeah. because they're like it was on your mom's pussy yeah, yeah. it's not gay because it touched your mom's yeah. pussy <laughs> <laughs> just giving everyone just taking giving turns dude, sucking I, I, I taking dude, and then they're just sucking each other's spit off of it yeah. I one time after I watched Road Trip I don't know if I told this story I put a candle in my ass <laughs> 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 oh man you know why that's so funny is because you already look like a pumpkin <laughs> beat off to charmed to charmed that, was, that other girl was in there too uh, but they were all hot did you have a candle charmed. in your ass while you were no. doing that also no I well, have a maybe. question about I tried it a couple times yeah, yeah. I guess, you candle... know what's funny about the candle and the ass thing is that immediately became a scented candle after <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till he just he's gonna be in golf courses and shit he's not gonna be in the way. yeah but house. every president does that yeah, Obama loves to golf. No, nah, but just not hanging like out at f- golf. Half of being president is playing golf all now day Now watch long. this drive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now watch this drive. <laughs> they fucking love playing golf. Have you guys and and Mar-a-Lago golf? is nowhere near as bad as fucking Rick Perry's uh, nigger head ranch. I know, yeah, 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 that's true. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's... If he became president? I mean, yeah. And he's like, he's... that's been the name for a long time. <laughs> There's no reason to change it. <laughs> It was called that when I got it. <laughs> you move into an apartment, it says nigger on the wall. Do you paint over it? No, you want to keep your security deposit. You want to get that security deposit back, leave nigger on the wall. <laughs> and that's what we're doing with America. Oh, uh, fuck, dude. Our new secretary of energy. Yeah. Yeah, the one that once that in the four years ago said he wanted to get rid of the yeah so you couldn't remember secretary that of n-word g how about that <laughs> yeah <laughs> there it's a new type of magic where you create the n-word out of elementals <laughs> that's what n-word g is if you ask me n-word i made g. up the that's term just what head. slavery they're bringing back slavery and they're calling it n-word g <laughs> <laughs> i think i mentioned this before that two separate women have specifically called my balls cool and I don't know what to make of that. Cool in cool what balls? way? Like, yeah. yeah, that means that your dick sucks so fucking I know, much I know. <laughs> that they have to compliment your balls. I, I, have, a, <laughs> little, uh, they, they I have a bit that exactly they won't even like lie that. to you about your fucking. Yeah, all it means is I have a little dick. <laughs> there's like, there's something so obvious <laughs> oh, about whose size you should be complimenting <laughs> that you just skipped right over. Yeah. Wow, you have a yeah. Well, your asshole is <laughs> so normal. Yeah. If I was like, wow, look at those big juicy l- pussy lips. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Let me mutter about those shits. <laughs> that is an immaculate taint. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's just calling like a baby when yeah. you're like, well, at least oh, your baby's man, I, healthy. I love how big the space in between your tits is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have that big space. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Ah, uh, fuck. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I yeah. That. I'm sorry. A lot really? of us weren't forced to watch Mel Brooks in Sunday school. I so. had to watch it in synagogue. <laughs> that's what we did. <laughs> <laughs> we had to watch all the Mel Welcome Brooks Welcome to movie. synagogue. We're watching Seinfeld <laughs> And then from noon to two We're having uh, You know Bagels with coffee And then three to four We're gonna be watching Curb <laughs> um, Would you fuck Molly Ringwald Nick? Uh, back in the day I maybe give her a little a pity fuck. <laughs> <laughs> An ugly bitch like that. She's got red hair. P U, folks. I only fuck dumb blondes. Sm- you smart. Don't be smart at me. Strike one. Strike two. Tits aren't fucking huge. They need to be. Ladies, look, I don't support your right to get an abortion. You know, uh, but no, you uh, only get an abortion if you also get a breast implant. Yeah, that's breast how it works. Implants. Yeah. You need to have emergency <laughs> breast implant surgery, and that's the only type of socialized health care I support. <laughs> if I'm walking down the street and I see some bitch who's got a man's chest, <laughs> what I'm supposed to throw up to death in the middle of the street and die right there? I'm supposed to be disgusted to death? No. <laughs> You need to fix that so I, I can keep my meals down, get my calories. I weigh 482 pounds and I'm 5'6". <laughs> yeah, what was that fucking, that, that uh, NYC Guido voice tweet you? was like, a woman's got to have, a broad's got to have the right proportions. <laughs> Body type uh, get clown from that Spawn. Account, dude. Yeah. Yeah, um, we, well, you've all seen bum fights. Get ready for bum fucks. <laughs> We give homeless men sandwiches to fuck each other. <laughs> Did you? Was there ever a point when you were a kid where you thought Bang Bus was real? Of like course. they were really meeting the girls of on course. the side of the boat. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there was a thrill yeah, to yeah. that, dude. You were like, "Whoa, you just meet girls and they'll fuck you." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. like, oh yeah, I you're gonna get a bus like, with my boys. Was, yeah. Yeah. The coolest thing, <laughs> right? I have ever. Well, that's who. That's who started that rape van. DC is people that are <laughs> disillusioned by the really reality of Bang Bus. They're like, this is bullshit, man. We're going to start our own bang bus. And it's going to be real this time. And there's going to be a, a political angle to it. Yeah. We're going to be ra- Wait, they rape men? That's what he was yeah. saying. Damn, yes, dude. bitch. What the fuck? We can be tearing their Patagonias <laughs> off. I don't know if that's real, but like, oh, man, I imagine, think it was. imagine being one of the guys that got, got vanned. That, that would be bad. Well, I, I love when people get knockout gamed and then they have to go online and justify it. It's like, look, you cannot be mad about... You can understand that it's a fucking, uh, like, a... Uh, uh you know, uh, a rare occurrence. It's not a, indicative of a systemic problem of, you know, black yeah. teens going around punching people. But if you got knockout gamed and you're, like, a liberal or whatever, just, like, don't say anything, you right, know? Right, right, right. Don't fucking write a medium post about, like, these were innocent lambs. Yeah, no, and, fuck that. Yeah, if just, someone punched me, I'm mad. Yeah, <laughs> just, just like, be mad, but yeah. don't fucking, don't turn into a racist asshole. Mission accomplished. Exactly. You can still fucking hate those people. Don't make mm-hmm. excuses for them. Absolutely. All right, on any kind of level. Anyhow, uh, but imagine, imagine being... <laughs> Imagine being one of the guys who got taken in the van and then writing a medium piece about, like, as they entered and exit my mouth and ass, I just thought, this is my fault. <laughs> this is because of years of oppression. And I didn't learn enough about Baird Rustin in school. And if, maybe if I had worked harder to not elect Donald Trump, I wouldn't be in this fucking Aero Star right now. Having my teeth bashed out with a fucking hammer. <laughs> like I'm in the Trump's basement America. of Oz. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. You guys ever have sense. a girl uh, have an abortion for you? No. Yeah, I oh, have. Okay. How many? What, like on, on purpose? You Yo, I swear to God, I've had, like, I've had like, I don't even know how many. Like the, the last abortions. one was like a few years ago. But the that's last just, one was like three or four that's years like ago. A, that's uh-huh. like a Bronx thing, right? Yeah. That's yeah. what a Bronx, a Bronx tale is. Right? Yeah. I haven't seen that movie, but. Yo, the chick was like, yo, 
I'm like, yo, I'm thinking Planned Parenthood. Like, I don't gotta pay for this shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yo, you think it's free? Yeah. It's like, yo, it's, it's like seven hundred dollars. I was like, is it seven hundred bucks, dude? Dude, it I, is two it PlayStations. Be <laughs> two yeah. PlayStations is how much. <laughs> it was four hundred when I did it, but we went to Southeast DC. And it was the cash only place we oh, went to. Oh, yeah, Jesus. So, uh, this should, this should be a place to take your abortions. paycheck. <laughs> it was so funny that. <laughs> take your paycheck from Wetzel's Pretzels. <laughs> Oh my god dude. There's a dude There's a dude sitting next to me With uh, teardrops Two teardrops Tattooed on his face And he was on the phone Crying huh. and To his mom Are you sure it wasn't the tattoo? That's what I the, <laughs> that, was, that was like That was the first thought I had with, <laughs> yeah. It was like Oh were those for babies? That war was it okay. uh, But he's crying to his mom And he's like Mama, this bitch, this bitch say she, <laughs> this bitch said it was uh, two fifty. Now she's saying it's uh, three seventy five. And then his boy sitting next to him, he's like, "Hey, tell that bitch to bring you a receipt, though." <laughs> <laughs> Mother had a house on Georgia Avenue, and at the end of the block there was this Chinaman, who would, <laughs> and he would sell apples. And me and me and my cousin. Uh, 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 Eustace would run up and pull his tail oh, and laugh and steal the apple. Eustace, I don't know. That's my middle name, though. So. Yeah, I was coming up with old people names, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'd run up and pull his tail and steal his apples and laugh and laugh. My whole family's laughing at this hate crime story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my yeah. grandmother would pull his tail, his cue, I'm assuming. <laughs> right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and steal like his. Like that Jet Li movie this, hero. Yeah, right, this a, a, a Chinese immigrant just trying to fucking sell some <laughs> apples and these children are asking him. <laughs> Meanwhile, everyone's looking on, they're all like you know enjoying this story and i look over my grandfather and he's at the wow. edge of his fucking seat and he's got you know these weird grandpa kirkland brand shorts on and one of his balls is just completely hanging out of his shorts <laughs> so he's enthralled by this story i was like what the fuck is going on <laughs> what world is this <laughs> that is so get awesome, to that level. Dude. That shit uh, is so awesome. That just, Johnny Knoxville bit from the Jackass movie yeah, where he yeah, plays the old, the old man. man. The old woman. Yeah, yeah. That shit is so funny. The dude. old woman, the old man. Yeah, yeah that's when Spike Jones, right? caught in the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <She's> just, <laughs> her tit is just yeah. like... <laughs> well, I also love the one where he's just kissing a young woman. <laughs> he's like, it's my granddaughter. Like, that, bit, that bit is just pedophilia, incest pedophilia. Yeah, but dude, it's so fucking funny. I know, man. I love it. Nothing is fucking funnier than Jackass. Jackass know, is the dude. funniest when, movie. When, what's the one where he takes the shit in the fucking display toilet. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Jackass one. That's in the first it's movie. Like, R.I.P. Ryan Dunn. Uh, hilarious, but th that guy has to clean that shit up. Yeah, it's so yeah. mean. That, yeah. It must have been yeah, that's so. Why, that's why I love the, uh, the. Sorry to cut you off, but the yeah. story of River Phoenix dying. Uh -huh. uh, is because outside the club because he tried to hang out with the Red Hot Chili Peppers and he's just some bullshit actor that wanted to be a rock star fucked up hung out with the Red Hot Chili Peppers for one night and died <laughs> <laughs> couldn't keep up he with died. that cause of death being a lightweight yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what's on his yeah, I mean that's what happened <laughs> that's what's on his I was growing up remember they used to be like crack cocaine right yeah, so yeah. they were like related so I was like I was like nah, so do you yeah. Crack, crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, cocaine's for crack. rich people. No, nah, I know, but it was like You're crack and cocaine man. was his last name. So I was yeah, like, I'm yeah. not fucking with that shit. Well, cracks is, is cocaine's shitty son. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't get his shit together. Yeah. So so cocaine's, like, the, cocaine's the Wall soda. Street guy. So it's almost guy. like saying Bond, James Bond. So yeah, yeah. Like yeah. he said the last name first in the yeah, movie. Yeah. <laughs> cocaine. cocaine. Crack cocaine. Crack cocaine. <laughs> uh, there was another couple living in the garage, and then there was a guy that just rented the driveway and lived in a van. <laughs> And what the, the fuck? Yeah, the garage couple was like, it was, <laughs> it was this kid who was like, he was like near my age, he was like twenty or something, mm -hmm. and uh, just like a dumbass, over enthusiastic dude, bro, you know, right? Of course, it's like like an Occupy guy. Uh, no, this was right. I told you this story before. This I was like so. right around when Occupy was just getting started, so. There was Occupy LA going on, and they, they went, the couple and the guy in the driveway, because they were like, it's a bunch of people, and they were like making a huge push to legalize weed across the country. Like, you know, they were those people or whatever. I love it. And, uh, and yeah, they lived, but that kid out in the garage it was great. He had like a, his girlfriend was like 29, and he was 20, and she had like a mixed race kid. Oh, and the, fa yeah. the father was this like enormous black dude. <laughs> they would like come over sometimes and they would all hang out together <laughs> that is so fucking weird yeah 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 and then the guy that lived in the driveway I'm I'm, I'm gonna fucking sound like a hip yeah there was a guy that lived in a van in the driveway like fucking Cody from Step by Step 
And uh, he was this aging hippie that was like, yeah, I'm like a weed activist, dude. I actually have – everyone in – this is why L.A. sucks because literally everyone in L.A. won't ever say anything after hi, my name is other than – Here's what I'm doing currently. Here right. are my fucking credits. You right, know, nobody's right, right. a fucking human being. Nobody's having a <coughs> shitty time. They're all just, you know, yeah. like they present their resume to you immediately. So this guy's like, yeah, we actually have like a TV channel going on. We actually, you know, it's we've gone grown beyond a show. We have a whole channel now, which just meant like a website that had a couple of shitty videos. <laughs> right, on. right, right, and right. And he wanted to call that a whole TV <laughs> network. And uh, but he would just bore the shit out of, of me. Of course, constantly. dude, an old an old hippie weed yeah, guy, yeah. the worst. I mean, you know. And he would fucking, you know, tell me these stories about, oh, yeah, we got this car and we actually converted it to run on uh, on hemp oil. You know, it's like, a, it's like your car doesn't also need to smoke weed. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, he, but he's telling this story one time and he's telling it with the same boring, casual tone he always does. He's like, yeah, you know. We kind of we hitchhiked uh, all the way down through Mexico into Guatemala, and then we wound up in uh, this mountainous region. And that's actually where I learned Spanish was from the locals in this mountainous region. And so when I would go into the down into the you know town or whatever, I'd speak my weird mountain Spanish, and everyone would laugh at me for being this you know gringo that didn't speak regular Spanish. And then actually this like big uh, you know near civil war level conflict broke out, and I remember going down to town one time and. Kids were kicking some guy's head around the street like a soccer ball. <laughs> Anyhow, next week we're having like a weed benefit, and it's going to be great. Dude. I mean, it's just fucking like you know, sort of breezes past this Witnessing. amazing story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. amazing part of his life, he delivers with the same fucking you know tone. And cadence. I like to think that it was his fault. The Civil War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that you couldn't handle his fucking boring ass stories? Yeah, yeah. So really <laughs> started it. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Uh, yeah, that's the problem is because all those guys think weed is the most interesting thing in the world. Mm -hmm. To them, being in a fucking Civil War skirmish doesn't mean shit yeah. to them. I had a cousin that moved down to Miami and was just a piece of shit for a while, and then he moved back to Philly and was dude, murdered the, by the police. Because no one... <laughs> dude, <laughs> his life story. <laughs> <laughs> Whipping their pussies to kind of... You know, squish that but shit they get up. A little sticky though. After nah, one. yeah, but yeah, it also looks good because you eat the pussy and it there tastes was like this, a tuna sandwich. There was this, oh, there was this nice. white kid that used to, to hang with all like the PG County black comics, uh -huh. and they made him fuck a prostitute one time. I just remember that. What? Oh yeah, white boy. They what? made him yeah, fuck yeah, a yeah, prostitute. Yeah, they made him fuck some black <laughs> prostitute. <laughs> Wait, wasn't that that guy Chad? White no, guy no, Chad? No, it wasn't Chad. He's like, the guy that go up on stage and be like, "See, I'm from PG County." He's like, "You might not realize Chad Huff." I, I forget his name. Yeah, yeah. he was. They like made a, it. Hold on, they made him fuck, yeah, fuck yeah, Chad. Yeah. They made this guy fuck a whore, yeah, yeah, an yeah, old black whore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did they watch? I don't know if they watched or not. Yeah, I just remember him telling me that he's like, yeah, they, you know, <laughs> not for me. I, I guess I had to do it. <laughs> he, he didn't pay. It was like a gift. Uh, yeah, I think it was his birthday or something. <laughs> well, boys, my birthday's coming up, February 11th. Yeah. What so we're gonna make that guy fuck you. <laughs> oh man! For his I for your fuck. But we have to watch to make sure that it goes down to audit the fuck. To audit you know the what fuck. I'm saying? What should dude? Well, I'm trying to have a little birthday party. I'm trying to go buck wild. What should we do, boys? I'm trying to go buck angel. <laughs> I'm, trying <laughs> I'm trying to, to go, go buck. buck angel. I'm trying. All three of us get pussies, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! So for my birthday, funny, we just all get yeah. pussies. Yeah. We're all getting pussies. <laughs> if you're still male presenting, but like hooking up with a girl, you just pull it out. It's a pussy. You know, Adam, oh, yeah. did we ever, did we ever talk about like? Like that time we were laughing about like the like the four gay guys arm in arm going into the, the <laughs> sperm bank well like that shots, about shots. that LMFAO song shots 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 I think I laughed for an hour and a half <laughs> straight an hour and a half oh, of just shit. laughing. <laughs> yeah. Shots, shots, shots. Everybody <laughs> everybody clap your hands. <laughs> Just the fucking gay guy in short shorts with a, with a tray going around the sperm bank. <laughs> Would you like when it's free? Yeah. <laughs> I thought about that again when I watched every watch that video of Chris Chan drinking his own cum. Oh boy. Oy. Well, this is this is for Ivy's eyes only, my sweetheart Ivy. Uh, well, uh, I don't have any chocolate syrup. So here's uh I got some orange soda here. Well, Mm -mm. Here's my cum that I masturbated out. Have you ever <laughs> drink your own drank your own cum? Absolutely. No. Let your dick suck for doing your homework. Forget grades. You just get it. You get blowjobs mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. the students. Okay. Oh yeah. 
Did you ever see? Legitimately, uh, I actually think that would work. Of course it would. Yeah. I oh, mean, yeah. it's 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 basic you human try psychology. So hard. What the fuck is a grade? That's an abstract concept. That doesn't work with me. If you speak directly to my human impulses oh, yeah. and my pleasure centers. So we yeah, watched my erogenous <laughs> zones. <laughs> we watched Romeo you get and be Juliet. Like your nipples. <laughs> yeah. We had to get permission slips in eighth grade to watch Romeo and Juliet, the uh, Zeffirelli version, the Italian director that made it in the seventies, mm-hmm. and we had to get permission slips signed because. You see tits oh, at a certain yeah. point in the movie. Who's tits? Juliet. You see Juliet's Isn't tits. Isn't she like eleven? In the real story, the what? actress was like eighteen or something. I took a I took a history. But let of, me tell you something, boys. I watched that whole fucking movie until I saw the tits. I have no idea how it ends. Nice man. <laughs> but, you don't know how Romeo and Juliet <laughs> ends. <laughs> no. <laughs> really? What? What do you think happens? They fuck. And then what? Come on, you're feigning ignorance. <laughs> of course I know how it ends. <laughs> Come on. Of course I know how it ends. Uh, of course I know how the fucking ends. Yeah. How the fucking movie ends. I know yeah, how it I ends. Was, he I, dies. In community college, I took a like history of modern Asia class. Uh-huh. And there was this kid that sat like, I don't know, five seats in front of me. And I knew him because he worked at the Burger King next to the car dealership I worked Hell at. Yeah. He was like the manager. And he looked like fucking... You know, if you're like, all right, we need to cast a Burger King manager. <laughs> mm-hmm. So like, like long hair, but nice. like just really shitty hair. Like of you course, could tell, he's probably stringy. nineteen. Yeah, yeah straight. Yeah. He's nineteen, but you could tell he's probably gonna go bald by the time he was yeah, like twenty three, yeah, yeah, twenty four. Yeah, yeah. Just really shitty, straight black long hair. This like shit smear mustache. You know, awful mustache. Uh, like jean shorts, like mom's yes. jean shorts, yes. and the anime shirt. Yes, and then yes. Like very loose uh, zippered hoodie mm-hmm. over the anime mm-hmm. shirt. Like that's kind of pudgy. Yeah, a well, body body gonna turn into shit, but not quite shit it's, yet. Yeah, it was shit, but you know, like a kind of a pear shaped right, you know, right, sort of right, guy. Right. And uh, he had a, a binder. And in the binder, there was a bunch of like anime women mm-hmm. that like he printed out and put into the. Oh, plastic he printed them. Areas. He didn't draw them. No, he printed yeah. them out and put them into the plastic areas of the binder. And uh, there was one day where the the instructor, this Chinese guy, fucking put on a movie. I guess I didn't pay attention at all. In that yeah, class. of course. I, I took like because you needed to get a, a an associate's in general studies. <laughs> <laughs> you had to take like. You had to take one humanities class, <laughs> and I think I failed like four different <laughs> humanities classes until I found one that was like, okay, uh, welcome to Primary Colors 101, <laughs> and like the first two months, we're going to be covering red, <laughs> and so, you know, this, this stuff that's red is like apples, that's going to be on the test. <laughs> Yo, excuse me, though, there's green apples too, yeah, yeah what yeah. the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Then you All right, get you get an A. You get an A <laughs> that. Um, please go see the principal. This is a community college. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so the old Chinese professor puts on this video, and it's like about a, ge- a geisha or something, but there's like this very graphic like rape scene, <laughs> titties out, pussy out. <laughs> Like just you know go and I guess he forgot that that was in there. Holy so shit! So he like slowly goes over to the you know AV cart or whatever. And he's like, oh, I forgot. Uh, don't look for a second, you know, and like just like without you know much effort. And so I'm not even watching. I'm just watching the of anime course. nerd, and he's like clutching the binder and like, oh, leaning into my the TV, God. <laughs> and just fucking like he has this visceral reaction <laughs> to the you know hard as going. hell. Yeah, chamber, chamber pots. pots. Chamber pots. You just shit in a pot and let it well, hang. I remember yeah, uh, who's Daddy, Daddy Yankee? Yankee? Yeah, Daddy Janky. Second body. Good do it. Gasolina. Wait, pussy wait, in is Gasolina peeing on a girl's yeah, pussy? Yeah, it's peeing on a girl's <laughs> pussy. <laughs> is that it? And I'm just, I just, it's because you gotta be, you gotta know people you see around. You know, to say, introduce myself and and to know, you know, and like he just goes on like that for like yeah, 10 yeah, minutes, yeah, yeah, just yeah. repeating himself over and over again. And at one point he's like, you know, because I, 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 you know, I just moved in across the street. So I, I want, you know, to know the friendliness of people. You know, I'm a, I'm a veteran. I just got back from uh, my service. <laughs> <laughs> and even he like took pause at that because he's like, oh yeah, that's a fuck. <laughs> that was bad. Yeah, yeah, that was bad. Yeah. <laughs> I just got back from uh, Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't been keeping up with the papers at all. Yeah, I was yeah. in Latvia in Korea. Yeah. <laughs> I actually just got back from the War of eighteen twelve. <laughs> 
<laughs> boy, them British boys sure did a number on that White House, huh? <laughs> Why uh, that's down. Who, uh, <laughs> Can you subscribe to my Patreon? <laughs> <laughs> I do bespoke podcasts. Yeah. Uh, listen, you get uh, a picture of one premium turd a week. <laughs> I make yeah. turds and turd accessories. I got a butt job. Bo- 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 a butt bo- job? Do you got fucked in your ass? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got, uh, no, it's a yeah, butt no, job. No, I got a butt job. <laughs> I just heard outside my apartment the other day, a guy go, man, you know what the real N word is? Psh, knowledge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like laughing for like six weeks. Yeah. She fucks like 21 year old Brazilian dudes, right? Yeah. Does she? Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm dude. Sure. Well, she that's the only time she over. uses the N word. You know, that was yeah, in the That's how it started. <laughs> they were like, have you ever used the N word? And she's like, um, well, yes, but it's embarrassing. <laughs> And then that's why they retracted all the details. Cause, <laughs> you know, the rest of it is, you know, only when she comes. Oh man! All right, I Let's just loved. I loved Paul her Dean. response to that. She said she used it one time, but like in 1983, when she was working at a bank that was robbed. That's the only time she said the N word. <laughs> Box of Lucky Charms and some milk. And uh, a couple of Oxycontins. Dude, that sounds awesome. And I'm going to relive my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> the power of narcotics. <laughs> that I love that awesome, Simpsons dude. line with Otto when they're watching the fucking meteor. And he's like, oh, I don't need drugs to enjoy this. Only to enhance it. <laughs> <laughs> got other cool shit, though. Koalas. Yeah, koalas, but they're not as fucking badass. Nah, they got Tasmanian devils. That's Tasmania, bitch. Tasmania is a part of Australia. Dude, I don't think that's true, and I will never look it up. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Words to live by. Got Head Zeppelin. Head Zeppelin. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a blip where you get your dick sucked. <laughs> Get on that blimp, you get your dick sucked. That's the yes, real dude. Lolita Express. Head Zeppelin. Head Zeppelin. <laughs> what idiot called it the Lolita Express and not Head Zeppelin? <laughs> I realized that, again, another reason I have to get alarming, I've been getting alarmingly fat, is I fucking fell down the stairs at the subway. What's alarmingly fat? And no one laughed at me. And uh, they all were just worried about my well-being. <laughs> like that's that stings so much oh, yeah. more. That's like if hilarious. you don't hear like one black teenager yeah. say "World Star" when yeah, you fall, yeah, yeah. how many steps do you fall? Like a lot. I I kind of busted my shit, dude. Oh, I saw. Fuck. I was at some. I, I was you're doing some, like now. two level uh, uh, McDonald's as a kid, in, like I think Jersey or something. Whoa, lucky. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, so it was like a two level McDonald's. <laughs> well, they had stairs, right? right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There was stairs, and uh, there was this big fat guy that had this tray filled with food, and oh. he was like walking up the stairs, and he gets to the top one, and just <laughs> slips. No. Oh, yeah. He goes down the stairs backwards and just spills McDonald's all over him. And I remember being like. <laughs> <laughs> like dying no. <laughs> it's no. so funny dude oh, fuck that fucking poor fat piece yeah, of yeah, shit yeah. <laughs> I got a, I got on the train it's so funny dude do you know how much, how painful that is dude that guy was looking forward to that fat that tray of fucking mm. food so much that's worse than the embarrassment you had to get back in line buy that exact same meal yeah I was doing heroin at my friend's place one time <laughs> and his cat knocked the bag of heroin onto the carpeting uh-huh. so it was lost in this fucking shitty carpeting where was this and i imagine it felt very very much the same going to the Just doctor with my mother yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> well i mean are you gonna gamble like with no, cars not, gamble. not with your mother's life God. <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna gamble we're gonna go to a restaurant maybe for her birthday Chili's. Tomorrow? No, we're gonna go Chili's to a nice gonna go to Dick's. They're gonna go to Dick's. <laughs> They're like, oh, look at this bitch. What does she got? Parkinson's? And we're like, oh, come actually, on, yes. Uh, she, she does. And he's like, oh, it's that family again from before. I'm like, Sorry about all that anti Semitism stuff. I, I just really need this job. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, thank God. What are you got doing? You know, looks out of that, right? <laughs> Out of that family hey, tragedy. You know, yeah. Comedy is the best That's medicine. That's what it's all about. Because yeah. they certainly don't have a cure for that shit. So yeah. we got to we gotta laugh now. Hey, are you Comedy's doing all we have. It's, it's all we have. have. It's all we have. Until she gets I read, better. It's true. I, I read the New England Journal of Medicine. There was an article recently about Parkinson's, and they just said uh, a comedy. That's the only... <laughs> just watch Patch Adams. Yeah. 
perspective, you guys. I don't know. I guess my biggest issue is I'm just not good at being like I'm not good at the places single people go to meet. You know, like I'm not good in bars. I'm not good at clubs. No one's ever wanted to fuck me while Kesha was playing. And look, ladies, I'll level with you. Let's say we hit it off and you come back with me. The sex isn't gonna be that great. But the breakfast? Huh? What do you like, crepes? We'll go crepes. Throw some Nutella on those motherfuckers. Right, avocados if you're nasty. <laughs> Camels. Horses more camels than are little dick camels. camels, dude. Or horse. Ca not camels only that, are little dick you horses. You can fucking drink a camel, dude. They have extra water in them. No, you can't. Yeah, you can. All I'm saying is, dude, if you can drill suck a hole, off a horse's if dick. you drill a hole in the in the hump of a camel, you can drink <laughs> the water in there. That's why people use them in the desert. Nah, dude. Because you can put they a straw. A <laughs> like, like a coconut. Put a little umbrella in that bitch. So painful that would be to the air. <laughs> 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 uh, I, I my entire agree. sexual prime, I didn't fuck. Yeah. I didn't fuck until after my dick was trash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> For like a like a fucking babe to pig in the city pig, you know, a regular Sarah Jessica Oinker. You know, Babe Four is just a fucking fucked up mean yeah. rapist. It, pig. To go from that, to go from that to like a fucking wild boar, it takes like two generations. That's yeah, tight. that's what the show Girls is about. Yeah, <laughs> it's about how the Sex in the City girls, aka the Babe Two pigs in the city, turn into uh, Razorbacks. <laughs> Lena, Dun <laughs> Lena Dunham. <laughs> yeah, the she government is. of Texas is offering fifty dollars for every Lena Dunham you can kill. <laughs> it's true. They're just rooting through your trash. The problem is with them, you gotta be, you gotta, you gotta make sure you I shoot them just abortion. above the breastplate <laughs> because they're very difficult to kill. Folks. Luckily, they never wear clothes. So amateur like swinger porn recently. You okay. know, I've, I've been on that tip. You amateur know? what? Like swinger porn. Swinger, of, like, okay. Of, like you know, like regular husbands and wives. Who yeah, just, yeah, like, yeah. Have orgies or sure. like you know, whore their wife out or something like that. Yes. I just gotta say, um, if you do that, that's cool. I enjoy it, but uh, turn the TV off. Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell you how many of these videos I've watched where it's like some guy's <laughs> wife getting spit roasted, but in the background you can literally hear like the 11 o'clock local yeah. news going on. <laughs> and That's clean your so living good. room too, people. Yeah. Come on. I'm just putting that out as a PSA. A little clutter. I, I, right I feel now. like the lighting is bad I think it's the message is going to get out. Yeah. 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 No, it's probably if quicker. If you just let the animals fuck, you could fire all the people whose job it is to fist and fluff the animals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a fluffer. I've yeah. sucked the bull off before he fucks the cat. Yeah. <laughs> well, he doesn't have to use his mouth, but he chooses to. <laughs> and, you know, I say, hey. Those are the jobs. If you find bringing, a way baby. to make the job fun, I say go for it. <laughs> me, I bring a little Bluetooth speaker with me. I listen we to the Almond Brothers while I jerk the cow off. Some guys just like to suck the cow dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's what a simple life is. Some girl was getting gang banged in uh in in the public in like the school bathroom and some kid was taking a piss. <laughs> Had nothing to do with the gangbang, and, and he heard what was going on. As soon as he pissed, he just went in and got his dick sucked. He was just, he was just on a break where he just had to piss from like algebra class. And he's like, "All right, fuck it." And he just like hopped into the gangbang. That's hilarious. You ever, you ever watch all those like Bam Margera post Jackass shows? Yes. Yeah, yeah, Hell. yeah. yeah. yeah we put a fucking yes. alligator in April's bed. Now she's yeah. gonna shit her fucking pussy off. Yeah, yeah. A bear is gonna rape yeah. my mother. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we took a shit in Don Vito's fucking mouth while he was asleep. Wait, Don Vito hey. raped kids? Yeah, free all free Don Vito or R.I.P. No, he's I think. dead. Yeah, he's yeah. dead. He's Don dead Vito. and he was he's a pedophile. He's dead and a pedophile. Watch that shit, dude. Reading's gay. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, that's dude, how I felt. It's tight because you get to watch Dude, it, I was so like, PBS? Psh, pretty bullshit. That that's kind of what the I premise of that show was Sesame reading Street? is super gay. Yeah. <laughs> it's for kids. Yeah. No, the ki cool kids shows to watch were like uh, Ren and Stimpy, uh, fucking Terminator. Oh, yeah. South uh, Park Term? South Park That was a movie yeah. Porn Stern on E Yeah <laughs> Watch it. Hardcore pornography <laughs> yeah. Racist uh, Pornography Yeah it Two racist guns. people fighting Triumph yeah. of the Will Yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Birth of a Nation birth That was my nation. Nation. My favorite uh, movie growing uh, up Was rape, Birth of a Nation Rape yeah. at gunpoint <laughs> <Snuff> <laughs> films <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that was cool. footage of soldiers in Iraq gang raping. Yeah. Uh, the video women. of of uh, of uh, those uh, uh, Chechens uh, sticking a combat knife underneath a <laughs> Russian young Russian soldier's trachea, <laughs> sawing through it above a pile of rocks. That was my. That was, I watched that more than Sesame Street. Every day. Yeah. yeah. See my cereal. The Nick Berg video. Yeah. A lot of people think. I was having this discussion with Soder. He thinks that Steven Seagal now. Could beat up JCVD now. <laughs> what? what? Steven Seagal what? now he can't move. Steven Seagal yeah. now can't go up a flight of stairs. <laughs> no, he can't. no, no, he I can't. Mean, move. It's not like so it's not like it's injuries fatten. from his like Horrible. career. He was <laughs> never. <laughs> no. He was never particularly. I mean, he was like, if you want to rank like badasses, he's underneath Billy Blanks. Underneath <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that you get to you get away with like having racist names for animals. At the <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing. That's yeah. fucking crazy. You say that because. Uh, he ended up being a fucking movie with Mini Driver. He uh, he this was is, like he got more. Is this Dunstan, this is Beyonce, the chimpanzee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is the chimpanzee, Serena Williams, yeah. my, yeah. my favorite gorilla. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Dude, when Wanda fucking... Sykes, the chimpanzee. <laughs> And you were like, what the fuck? I was like, what? It's, that's its name. It's a traditional yeah. African name. Yeah. And for me. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I went on the dog walker. There was two black dogs named Beyonce that I walked. People named their black yeah. dogs Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> Were they white people? Yeah, man. Oh, no. That's yeah. fucked. Me and my dad were fucking your mom. What? Yeah. You yeah. guys Holy fucked shit. my mom? With his dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With his dad. <laughs> With yeah. his dad. That's fucked up, man. Well, it's is funny it? as that happens, man. Like, yeah. you know, like in, the, in, the, in the South, like, you know, like, just... Guys and their dads like fuck a chick together. Yeah. <laughs> I had a buddy. I'm like, so jealous of yeah. that in terms of bonding. <laughs> yeah. Like well, me and my dad will never be that that's close. Still remnants of the Civil War. I mean, that's how badly Sherman devastated the <laughs> yeah, it's South. True. Yeah, they killed one in four men. You got to fuck a woman with your dad. Who else are you going to do that, man? You, split you don't the have woman. boys, you know? Yeah. They were all killed by it, by the war of northern aggression. <laughs> so, wait, so yeah, you were you That's telling they rebuilt a, a father-son dude. gangbang story? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know the story. I just know uh, what happened. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. at least the guy said it happened, yeah. but yeah, I had a buddy who you saw that chick with his dad. There's that uh <laughs> Can you fucking imagine that? There's that HBO looking at your father's face high while you're coming, your dad. <laughs> high fiving your dad, man. Not yeah. looking him in the eye, just like yeah. fucking. That's gay to lick your dad seeing, in the eye while your doubles. Yeah, yeah. seeing yeah. just yeah. sweat yeah. pouring down my dad's mm-hmm. hairy ass fucking Brillo be, pad chest. Yeah. There's a producer on the show, and he was fucking bragging about buying these like uh, animation cells, you know, at like auction or something, from like he, Disney animation from Disney, movies. and he was spending all his money on them. And he's going through all of them. He's like, and look, this one's Baba Booey. And it's like some donkey. His name's not Baba Booey at all. <laughs> and they're like, you just spent all his money. Bad and you know bar. what the fuck? Yeah. So they start calling him Baba Booey. And that's where that joke comes that's from. That's so awesome. And then Howard Stern was, was like, I'm going to pay you $100 million for the, every year for the rest of your life just to be Baba Booey. On yeah. yeah. <laughs> now that's a dream gig. Yeah, dude. Stern is legend. Like, that show is so good. Oh, yeah. He's the best. Of, we've kind of modeled our show. Yeah, we're like we're uh, probably the heirs to Stern. Yeah, we're like the mm-hmm. the new. Yeah, we yeah. need to get a, 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 a fucking. <laughs> we can start... have porn stars coming here and just have them like squirt all over the floor <laughs> of the living room. They're not even on mic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, make them. Since Amber's coming home and there's just a woman in the corner. And it's like now, why don't you play with your breasts there for a second? <laughs> yeah, play with your pussy and your breasts. <laughs> That's great. Well, why don't you shove the trombone in your pussy? <laughs> just radio. <laughs> Sorry, we're broadcasting. Warp, warp. Like, you yeah. can hear the sound of it. All right, well, we got a guy who's made himself mentally retarded from crack cocaine, and he's going to eat a eat a black woman's turd out of the stripper's pussy. What a for, legend. For comedy. <laughs> Brilliant. And then uh, later we got a tiny dick contest. We have 15 men from Long Island. That are going to show how small their dicks are. That one isn't even a joke at all. No, that's all that's that true. happened. Yeah. They're like, yeah, uh, uh, I got micro penis. Uh, you know, it's okay. Here it is. Yeah, I don't know why he doesn't really look like a Home Depot employee, but he's like a black guy, 
And this fucking, like, older white lady comes up to him, and she's like, excuse me, I'm looking for this type of, uh, you know, uh, she had, like, two things in her hand. She's like, do you have more of these? And Matt, like, without a beat, he's just smiling, and he's like, oh, yeah, sure, follow me. <laughs> and I watch him, and he walks in the aisle, and this woman starts following him, and then I'm, like, on the other side of the aisles, and I see him just sort of walk this way, and this lady's following him, and he just keeps walking all the way to the other end of the store, and, like, eventually she just stops following him after <laughs> 50 feet and I'm like crying laughing <laughs> you just made this dumb bitch like follow him halfway across the store when like what she was asking for was like literally right in front of us he's like oh yeah sure but that, no problem follow me like was didn't miss orange? a beat orange no yeah. he was wearing like wear Mark vest? Echo like a Mark Echo fucking sweatsuit <laughs> she's like um excuse me <laughs> dad man that shit was so fucking funny I love that shit. Yeah, dude, there was this guy, uh, we were, I forget where we were, I think we were like Krispy Kreme or something, and there was like a, a worker whose name was Dennis, but spelled with one N, and yes. I was like, Dennis. yeah, I was like, this, I was like, I was like, call this guy Dennis, and like immediately, but before he could even like finish processing what I was saying, he was like, what's up man, Dennis? It's Dennis, right? I was wondering if, uh, <laughs> the guy just had this dumb look on his face. <laughs> By the time he was 10, he was like 6'2", bigger than his parents, you know. Hell yeah. Morbidly obese. Hell yeah. Just an absolute fucking bully. And he was so mean that it was so funny. How fun, Like, his sister had this, like, antique dollhouse, I remember, in the basement. And, and Justin just had a crowbar one day that yeah, he was, like, yeah, going yeah. around with. And you see him, like, fucking weighing the crowbar in his hands. And you know he's going to do something bad. And then fucking he's looking at the dollhouse and he's like, hello, anybody home? And just smashes through <laughs> one of the windows with the crowbar. <laughs> I just start fucking laughing. Wait, I like that he did so it like hard. a regular B&E. Yeah, 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 through yeah, the yeah, window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the cable guy. <laughs> and he's like, what's going on in here? And he's just fucking wiggling the, the crowbar, just destroying the dollhouse, just smashing out all the windows. Oh yes. And he's like, Corey, you're supposed to clean this shit up. You know, you leave the toys out. <laughs> <laughs> destroy it and then you know she comes, down, yeah, yeah. she comes down there and she's seeing it and she's like crying her eyes out and I'm fucking like hyperventilating <laughs> laughing <laughs> She goes to the parents. They're like, "There's nothing we can do." Yeah, like you're big right. like yeah. I'm fucking because because he's such a piece of shit to witness somebody just operate. But look, you can see the look how naked this guy is across the street. He's got no blinds. Everyone can oh just see God. this guy. Oh yeah, yeah, you see his dick. What? Oh, oh yo, and the girl. girl. Yeah, and the girl. Hell yeah, dude. Whoa, that girl's hot. Oh Hell yeah, dude. Shit. yeah. She's got big tits. She's hot. This is tight. Why oh, are they have over. they have this. curtains? Oh, dude. they're putting their clothes on. That no, sucks. No, no. This is deliberate. No, put your tail. Yo, out. that was tight. This oh. is like that movie Rear Window. This is like Seinfeld. That's porn. insane. I guess they didn't realize it. Can you see these people, Amber? Yeah. Well, I just missed his dick. Oh, she's leaving. yeah. He's got a he's got a nice song. No. No, yeah. Amber, you're no. Come our cover. on. Yeah. Yeah. That's not the point. We're podcasting about this. <laughs> you're on our Wait, podcast. He's his dick. Really? Yeah, he's walking down the hall, jacking his dick and holding his ass. Hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hilarious. <laughs> he's doing what it is. They're going to call the police on us. Yeah, probably. Yeah. They, they call the police. Because that guy just looked and saw you staring through the window like a fucking 12 year old. <laughs> yeah. You got to be cool, I mean, we man. First of all, I'm 30. Second yeah. of all, you know. That I know. That's why I said like. You're fucking blind. Man, that, yeah, they have curtains anyhow. So this fight, you uh, go over there and like f also have sex. With that he's girl? trashing, he's yeah, trashing probably. this girl stuff. I'm dying laughing. It's like the fun. Oh, one time his parents brought us to Cirque du Soleil, which was a mistake. I don't know yeah. why they fucking, you know, their shitty, cultureless fucking twelve year old son bring him to Cirque du Soleil. And Justin's sitting there the entire time chewing like he got he had like a bag oh, of Skittles. Yeah. He's chewing the Skittles up and spitting them like forward <laughs> yeah, into, yeah, into yeah. the dark. And we can't see where they're going, but just the idea of him. And he used to do this all the time. We'd go to movie theaters and he'd spit and throw shit yeah, at the people in horrible. front of us. What a monster. And, yeah, he was a bad what guy. What is he doing now? Uh, I don't know. He's probably Jail. dead. Anyhow, so. Back? This fucking, uh, yeah, they're back. It's just the guy, though. Oh, come on. So it's... Uh, it's, uh, uh, we're at Cirque du Soleil. He's spitting candy the entire fucking time. And then, uh, 
we get to the the end of Cirque du Soleil and we're walking through the lobby area and we just hear like him there he is that's the guy <laughs> and it's this fucking middle aged woman and she's with her husband the husband looks pissed off and she's like security where's security <laughs> and she, like, she realizes that it's a boy it's just a very <laughs> large boy and she's like she well, like, we got a very around. powerful boy in the lobby we need to take down <laughs> she fucking turns around and she's like he's spitting and there's all this candy stuck in her hand oh. <laughs> and she the father she like one of those brownies yeah. that you get at the bodega. Yeah, right. they, get, they get in his face and they try to, you know, they realize they can't do anything because he's a 12 year old boy that's just enormous. <laughs> <laughs> they're just like you're gonna apologize and he's like fuck you <laughs> just read this lady's face <laughs> and the fucking Christ. can't do anything and he just fucking walks out was this your apprenticeship yeah being a no he was I fucking hated that kid <laughs> really why were yeah. you friends with him cause his mom was my mom's boss Oh god! So I had to fucking hang out. Oh, with that's him. terrible. Yeah. yeah. Where did your mom work at the time? NIH. She was oh, like a secretary, and like that's she brutal. got she got because the kid was it was the kid was uh he went to the daycare center my mom worked at, so that's yeah. like how they and then she got him the job because it was like oh, oh well wow. our children could be friends or whatever. Oh, yeah. Brutal. So you were the hook. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't a dick all the time. I mean, it, granted. So his parents were that, like research scientists? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. What you, happened? Do you remember the, the band, the, uh, the Stray Cats, Brian Setzer? Yeah. Hell yeah. So he was, his son, there were two Cody's in my, in my kindergarten. And that's going to be it for today's episode. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, we reached our time limit. So we had a lot of fun. We want to thank JP for JP, coming on. JP, you have anything to plug, buddy? Yeah, uh, follow me on Twitter at JP underscore McDade. Yeah. yeah. JP McDade, yeah, watch JP. Roast, roast Battle on uh, Comedy Central. <laughs> Poughkeepsie uh, with Gilbert Gottfried, April 14th. Yeah. Who knows and, when uh, comes out. Yeah, stay tuned for more of the web series. We'll get that going. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, thanks guys. For thanks. Me on. That was the prime. I remember I was at a party in college once, and there was some weird Brazilian talking about how he fucked a 13-year-old in Brazil while he was in the army. And I was like, all right, man, I got to get the fuck out of this party. <laughs> it was like, everyone was just horrified. I was having a wonderful time. <laughs> and he's just like some 32-year-old man who just came to America to go to college. And he's just telling this fun to him party story about having sex with a 13-year-old. <laughs> and everyone was just like, all right, oh. <laughs> we're all leaving. Yeah. This is fucked yeah. up. <laughs> I don't want to fucking be That's here anymore. Hard, dude. I feel so weird. I was, was like I, bragging. I was laughing so hard when we were at fucking Bobby Kelly's podcast and you were saying how you showed your dick to a kid and John Moses thought you meant like now. Yeah. And he was about he was about to like reach across the table and fucking beat the shit yeah. out of you. <laughs> the look on his eyes like, you showed your dick to a fucking kid? <laughs> He's like, because he's one of those like cool dads that hates pedophiles, I guess. Yeah, yeah. One of those yeah, that's cool, like a way to be a cool dad. dad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you think like, like the girl. There's and two I... pedophile voices. That sorry, three. <laughs> that um, uh, holding up giant pants and saying "eat fresh," <laughs> and then the the last one, which is just a Boston accent. <laughs> <laughs> you want to earn the money, kid? <laughs> That feels real good there, kid. <laughs> make uh, sure to make sure to wipe it off before you go back to your house, kid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want your fucking mother asking me what all that is. <laughs> I want to have to explain to her you got glue on your fucking hairline. <laughs> Again. <laughs> We're supposed to be saying prayers here. <laughs> and instead of the video you want to watch, it's, you know, that's why I fucking hate the Young Turks. I've never f completed a Young Turks video. I've only accidentally clicked on them when I'm looking for something else. And then that fat Turkish dumbass is like, oh, yeah, so today we got to talk about, like, why are you trying to inform me? <laughs> Obviously, I Googled this fucking thing. I already Who's know that what guy? it is. You're not Jank, surprising me. To Jank Unger? Yeah, Junk Dickhead. <laughs> That's his fucking name. <laughs> That's good, dude. You took those fucking Young Turks down. Like, this uh, girl, like, uh, grabbed my junk nice. on a bus. <laughs> But I didn't like it wasn't it wasn't time yet. You know what I'm saying? So it just hurt. And I was like like please stop. Yeah. That was what my No, my it's first impossible hand job for a man to be sexually assaulted by a woman. I stand by that. I, I mean I found it on Facebook. I'm ready now. But, yeah. 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 That's southern, yeah. But Bojangles like their menu is offensive. What it why? It's like it? they call their sides fixins. Hell yeah, yeah dude. Like F I X I N apostrophe. <laughs> yeah. It's like 
<laughs> it's already called Bojangles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm already like, like yeah, that, feel that w- weird walking in here. Mm. That sounds like uh, uh, a uh, black Wait here when clown. you done. Damn, place your order. <laughs> no, you have to. The grammar has to be fucked up. <laughs> yeah, wasn't Bojangles yeah, when Al Jolson just, called just, his, uh, so said, There the go the bathroom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like the floor is made out of tap shoe bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like so when you regular walk, shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. hilarious. So well, yeah. I tried to be Jim from the office for Halloween one year, uh-huh. mm-hmm. but I didn't like. I didn't do white face. Of I didn't course, wear a yeah. wig or nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just put dress clothes on, and people were like, "Who are you? <laughs> are you Obama?" Like, no, yeah. man. I'm Jim. I'm Jim from the office. Like, why are can't you I be Obama? Jim? Yeah. <laughs> That's also the only black person in dress clothes they can come up with. Yeah. He's literally the president. That's amazing. That's when you come from work. Oh, you're Obama. Yeah. No. Like, if you can't accept me at my worst, right. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. my best. Has anyone ever said that in her voice? Because I feel like it wouldn't be as great of a quote if it's, if you can't accept me in my words, <laughs> yeah, it just sounds like some dumb bitch. Don't accept me in my bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. shut up. Yeah. <laughs> well, just the people that say that. <laughs> yeah, shut up, you fucking dumb bitch. Uh, the people that say that, it's not like their best is any good. You know what I mean? Like, no one yeah. who's any good says that quote. It's always Absolutely. fucking drunk. Dumb pieces of shit. It's also it, like it, it used to justify emotional abuse in a lot of cases. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, like fucking. If you can't accept me at my worst, meaning when I'm being a fucking psychopathic piece of shit <laughs> yeah. and destroying everything <laughs> right, in your apartment right, right. <laughs> because I thought I saw a text message from someone, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then you don't deserve me when I'm not acting like a fucking psychopath. <laughs> also, who wants the worst? Think about your worst, dude. I'm just like oh, beating off into socks and pissing yeah. in Gatorade bottles, even though the the bathroom is open i just that's my worst no one should have yeah. to fucking put up with that well it was uh it was like this homeless black lady and she's got like a blanket over her head and a shopping cart just filled with like bags of stuff and like her shoes were all fu- like just severely homeless mm-hmm. and it was like starting to rain a little bit and i'm like maybe 15 feet behind her and this car pulls up with like these two girls in it and they like slow down and the girl in the passenger seat like rolls down the window and then she's like going through her like groceries or whatever and she pulls out like a loaf of like ezekiel bread and like oh, yes. mm-hmm. just ha- like like you know gestures out the window to hand it to her like you think it's going to be this fucking like upworthy moment <laughs> and the homeless woman just looks at her and looks back and looks back again and goes I don't need no fucking bread, bitch. <laughs> you fucking hoe and starts yelling at her. <laughs> on her own too. Yeah. And then oh, with your whole grain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She just starts trashing the girl in the car. <laughs> and she just has to like withdraw the bread. <laughs> As the friend rolls up the window and they drive away. Although I will say I saw Django in theaters twice. And I, I saw it in like, you know, a more diverse uh, uh, theater and then like a predominantly white one. And I swear to God, I'm not kidding. You know, the the one that was more diverse, there was like people clapping at the revenge scenes or whatever. People were laughing at the N-word in the white, in the white theater. <laughs> oh, no. When somebody was saying the N-word, they were like, ha ha. <laughs> oh, no. They were uh, like, I get this. Yeah, it might have just been me. I mean, but that <laughs> means people. So I'm you included people. in people. You are every people. I might have right. just been drowning out everyone else's laughter with my own. <laughs> Uh, didn't Gavin that so did you tweet that? Yeah, was, yeah, 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 yeah. When Gavin, Gavin and Milo, kissed Milo. Like, kissing each other to oh, prove something. I don't to, even no, know. No, no, it was it was to show Islam. It was to, oh, yeah. to, make, to make Islam bad. A fucking a fucking uh whatever the fuck you want to call him. Alt right guy kissed a gay guy. And yeah, it's yeah. like it's true. Uh, it's true. You're really showing them. You're really showing the Jeffrey Epstein thing is insane. Who's the that? plane? The guy, the millionaire who's like, I have a plane where you can rape children. <laughs> <laughs> like, all these famous people were like, Dude, Alan Dershowitz, good. right? Yeah, yeah. Professor Alan Dershowitz. Dershowitz. Yeah. <laughs> Bill Clinton. Uh, Donald Trump. Yeah. Donald Trump was on that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, y- th- Bill Clinton definitely raped, yeah. right? Well, he I just like probably an adult. You know, you know, that's the other thing too. Imagine you're in the airport and you're like taking your fucking shoes off at mm-hmm. the TSA, and they're making you throw out their toothpaste, and then that fucking shit is just taxiing <laughs> outside the window. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get molested? No, not really. An older neighborhood. I thought kid, that like, kid in your neighborhood. Sort of. Yeah, but is that like really molestation? 
What? What happened again? Like an older neighborhood kid was like, Sucked let me cock. suck your dick. Yeah. And he did suck your dick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, shut up. No, yeah. yeah I guess that counts. <laughs> That yeah. counts. Yeah, you've told me this yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. It 100% counts. <laughs> well, no, I think my dad has a bigger dick than me, but not that. Like, when you're a little kid, you see it, uh, your yeah, father's yeah, yeah. dick, you think it's humongous. Of course. And I thought he was really packing, and I saw it recently, and I don't remember why or how. Um, I was second muffle, he was sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was, <laughs> broke into his fucking room, tied his hands up, and sucked his cock. But no, I saw it recently, yeah. and it was not, it was like bigger than my dick, but it wasn't like a fucking monster. So your dad's um, big dick. He's got a nice cock. Have I don't have, I don't have a very penis? big dick. Yeah, when I was like three. Okay, so you yeah. haven't actually. Really I walked yet. in on my dad jacking off one time when I was like thirteen. That's oh. awesome. Wow. My dad is like, what happened? Whoop. Completely out of the. Memory oh no, bank. let's get it. Let's fucking cr- let's fucking go into the bank, dude. Oh yeah, I don't know. Like, the bank. Where was? Hold on, hold on. Set the scene for us. You're in his apartment. I, no, I was. Uh, he still had a house at the time, and I was like, oh, went he's in. doing better. Yeah, uh, well, barely, and yeah. I went in. That was the end of it. Yeah. I went into his room to see if like he was going to drive me to school or whatever. Oh, it was a morning beat it off? It was a morning, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's therapeutic. And he's like completely naked on the bed. <laughs> on the and bed laying down? Laying down. And like, <laughs> that's how my mom he, caught me. As soon as he heard the door open, he like rolled. So mm. he rolled. And it's like, I jack off, so of I know course. what the fuck he's doing. And he rolled and like he was completely naked. So like the sheets caught one of his ass cheeks and just like <laughs> opened his ass. <laughs> and he's just looking over his open ass at me. He's like, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I told you? Because he's like nervous. Because, you know. What, they, 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 yeah, man. So I'm like, uh, are you driving to school? He's like, yeah, I'll be done in like, uh, like 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. And I just like closed the door. I don't know. In his mind, he was like, that was a close one. <laughs> I know. You never think you got caught beating off when oh, you got caught. I told time. you guys like a few years ago, we were saying I was, I was visiting... It was my grandfather's funeral. We were in San Diego. <laughs> I was staying in a hotel room. My parents had one room. My sister had a room. And I had a room next door. And we knocked on their door to see what time dinner was. And they were like taking a while. And I like looked at my sister. I was like, oh shit, dude. Like maybe. And she's like, they don't fuck. They're sleeping. And she like knocked again. And my dad just opens the door and he's wearing, this is such a dad move. He's wearing t-shirt, no pants or underpants, just stretching his t-shirt over his dick. <laughs> and he goes, what the fuck do you want? <laughs> and I literally, my sister stayed there. I literally ran down the hall, like this oh like long God. hotel room hall. So they were definitely fucking? I think they were trying to have Wait, sex. Wait, would he, would he walk around naked around your sister too? No, no, he would oh, do it to me. You. It was okay. like a man thing. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, it was like gotcha. a like a sauna. sauna Get yelled rules. at by your by yeah, your yeah. five foot five South African <laughs> father. I fucking uh, I remember. I just had a flashback to being like uh, I don't know, like eight or something with yeah. my cousin. And we were hanging out in his room, and like uh, I, like uh, I was either it started with either we, me or him in the bed, and like we both had shorts on, and like so I was like underneath the cover, but I was like fully clothed. Yeah. And I could drape the blanket over my leg, but then pulled the shorts up and then draped like the blanket over. And I was like, does it look like I'm naked? You know, yeah, and yeah. Like, we, like we laughed. We thought it was funny. So we kept doing it like, does it look like I'm naked or whatever? And like it got down to where we just had underwear on. But then we were like draping it a certain way where it's like, you know, it lo- like does it look like <laughs> we we're like laughing hysterically. And then he, he was like, I got to go to the bathroom. So he goes down the hall into his parents room to go to the bathroom. And fucking, I just took all my clothes off and I like tucked the sheet through my legs and then in my ass. <laughs> so that I came up and just barely covered my dick. And then like, but it was stuck in my ass. Yeah, yeah. And then so like I walk in his parents' room just dragging the sheet through my legs. Over my <laughs> You're just credit carding their sheets in your asshole. <laughs> You're essentially wiping your ass with yeah, their yeah, sheets. Yeah, yeah. Sheet. And I'm 400 like, I'm, like, I'm like crying laughing because this joke had been going on for like 15 minutes of course we're eight so we think it's hysterical and i go in the bathroom and he's in there with his mom and like they're just like talking and i'm like does it look like i'm naked and like she's like what the fuck <laughs> and then hold on behind me my uncle is coming down the hallway and he's like what the fuck <laughs> and i just he's the behind so he can see my ass <laughs> The sheet's <laughs> dragging. <laughs> just the whole sheet. <laughs> Shoved up my ass. You know, fucking, I'm like, does it look weird. like I'm naked? And they were like, what are you doing? I'm like, we're playing a game where it look, 
where you look you're supposed to look like naked i can't really explain it <laughs> that, you let's know, all go around i was i was yeah, jacking yeah. off to a picture of marilyn monroe and i thought holy shit my grandfather could very well have beaten off to the uh, same exact picture because uh, there was only like yeah. four porn images back of then. Of course, yeah, yeah. And like that, first I got weirded out, but I thought, you know, I should be more open minded. He's going to die soon. I don't really spend much time with him. Uh-huh. We don't have anything in common. It's like maybe I could use this <laughs> yeah. to spend more time with my grandfather. And so now me and my grandfather get together every Saturday and we beat off to vintage that's a good pictures joke. of Marilyn Monroe. That's a bad joke. That's a good joke. And then he hands me a Werther's original at the end. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to do an act out with my grandfather, like, keep going, you're almost there. <laughs> you're almost come. That's, that's it. That's very good. Yeah. <laughs> One of my first big bits was about Judge Mathis. Oh, oh hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. About, like, uh, how Judge Mathis is my favorite TV judge, because, like... <laughs> I don't know. He just, I, I, the joke was extremely racist. <laughs> <laughs> he just, like, he just takes no nonsense. Yeah, well, no. Nah, you fools. Yeah, but he the, just the, did some the, terrible The line was like, uh, I find you guilty of first degree motherfuckery <laughs> <laughs> and 12 counts of some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> motherfuckery <laughs> that's very funny <laughs> yeah yeah oh, I sentenced you to 12 years a day and without the possibility cut me some slack Jack <laughs> <laughs> it was like a long <laughs> wow that's good you wrote yeah. you really wrote the shit out of that <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, blackout drunk incredible dude yeah. well done in, in, incredible do you think uh, Mario and Luigi fuck yeah for sure dude that's yeah tight. the cover story is that they're brothers but you know you know Mario's not fucking that princess yeah. He's had so many opportunities. He's fucking that mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. From Toad. He's pegging that mushroom up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> he has a dick, but he puts on a strap on <laughs> to fuck the mushroom. <laughs> That's how I fuck, dude. You Women, put on I was a little virgin. You know, be, <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't give away my penis until marriage, so I just strap on. <laughs> I'm a virgin, but I eat hella ass. Yeah. There's got to be a dude out there doing that. A, a fun so. cartoon would be Toad from Mario Brothers, dead and suffocated inside of a condom, stretched over his <laughs> entire body. <laughs> But just with the indentation over his mouth where he's trying to suck in for air and he can't. Well, Adam can't fart because his ass is actually a vagina. That's not true. He's That's got not a, true. He's got what they call a West Coast asshole. <laughs> this is a big lippy pussy. It's like, what are you guys doing? It talks also. Oh my God, I want to hang out also. I'm on my fucking period. <laughs> Are you driving? Because I'm not fucking driving. <laughs> That's Adam's asshole, everybody. <laughs> yeah. That's Nick's new character. Adam's <laughs> asshole that is actually a pussy. <laughs> 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 Woo! Oh my God, where are my fucking car keys? Seriously? Somebody wipe me. There's blood all over my fucking laps. This is disgusting. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, she's got to have platinum no. blind hair. No Nick, hair on the pussy for the last 10 years. Not a single fucking hair anywhere else on the body. No fucking eyebrows. They got to be drawn on. Uh, Ears pierced. <laughs> the pussy, I want a pussy lips cut off. <laughs> Clit. Gone. <laughs> Eradicated no. from the fucking body. Female genital mutilated. An Feet bound. An <laughs> African albino. <laughs> an albino from, from the Nile River. That would be a really good comic about, view. A real jungle style albino. Platinum blonde hair. She's blind. <laughs> <laughs> a series of congenital birth defects. The only time she's ever had sex was she got raped by a witch doctor. Her parents are brother and sister. Uh, she's the product of a you threesome. Can, you can intimidate her with an ape par- skull. <laughs> you chase after her with. It's an ape skull that's got feathers hanging off of it. You tell her you're going to steal a soul. And that, that's the perfect bra. <laughs> It's good. It's all right. It's all right, dude. In and out is not that. Fat burger is better, in my opinion. McDonald's, baby. (laughs) I want a real New York hamburger. Okay. Let me get a little McDonich. McDonich Juliani. Let me get a Big Mac. (laughs) (laughs) 
Prima. Special sauce. A Big Mac <laughs> Let me yeah, get it yeah. with gravy. That's hey, what you call Mac. Big Mac got, sauce. This is gravy. Yeah, <laughs> extra gravy on that <laughs> shit. And I want a small freeze. <laughs> a small freeze. And a McFrosty. <laughs> yeah. An o- Ori- Oreo. Or- Ori. Ori. Uh, hmm. I don't know how to fucking take letters. Ori- so. Oriliani. <laughs> hey, give me a fucking second over here. I'm trying to figure out how to destroy the language. <laughs> You might not be in so fucking pushy. The language. The language. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. You're fucking beautiful. Let me kiss your fingertips. <laughs> wow, to kiss someone else's yeah. fingertips. Uh, that's very Italian. That's 911. That's What's your beautiful. emergency? Uh, there's some wop here, and he keeps dipping his fingertips in the deep fryer. <laughs> 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 I remember my stepsisters had like a, I think I mentioned this on the show before, but they had a uh, like a chart that's like how to do a self breast exam in yeah, the shower that hung yeah. over the shower head. Oh hell! And it yeah. was like literally a line drawing. <laughs> yeah. And I beat off to that one time in the shower, and then I couldn't get the drain plug out, so I had to like use my finger to push cum through the <laughs> the drain plug. <laughs> Just stood on the bottom of the shower, like come on, god damn it. <laughs> Just pushing congealed nut <laughs> to the like fucking cheese grater shower drain. England like fucked us up in the War of 1812. Yeah. They burned yeah. that shit yeah, or some yeah. shit. Yeah, the White House wasn't finished a, re- being rebuilt until like 1978. They just left it all <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> it was burned and shit. Wait, no, hold on. That's the Hollywood sign. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think you're... Which is the real Hollywood. I mean, the real White House. Yeah. You ask me. Oh, That's where the power is. That's in the Hollywood sign. Yeah. Is that where... Does that someone where live the in Illuminati the Illuminati hangs out? Yeah, Mickey Mouse, Walt Disney, <laughs> fucking uh, Ari Steinstein, <laughs> uh, Ira... Uh, show business, Burn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we're talking yeah. about. <laughs> and all those characters. <laughs> Bugs Chasing Bunny. Daffy, uh, da- um, Daffy Cuck. Daffy Dick. Daffy Cuck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Daffy Dick's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. Oh, I, no. They did have, they did have. Oh, Adam would bring meat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Man. Wow, stop. That was so fun. It was fun. I'm wow, telling you, dude, that was so we're turning fun. around. This show is so good. <laughs> we're really, we've reached the peak. Uh, fucking <laughs> podcasting, dude. <laughs> they make you do like what your Instagram. Yeah. His but, gun like, is an M&M and M sixteen. There he is. Yeah, uh-huh. not M M&M and M sixteen that they give him. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That is good. Right. <laughs> yeah, an ice cream cone strike <laughs> instead of drone strikes. Oh, I see. I see. Yep. Uh, a getting dome strike. Okay. That's tight. <laughs> That's my shit, dude. A robot sucks my dick. That's yeah. what I call it. I'm gonna put a pocket pussy on a robot. Yeah, and I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna do it up and down. I'm gonna call it getting dome striked. Yeah, doing a dome strike. That's a good one. Thank you. What are you gonna do uh, with the drone? How about like a uh, homo ab instead of a moab? <laughs> the homo ab. Homo ab. Yeah. <laughs> like the gayest bomb ever. The, yeah, yeah. yeah, gay, gayest the, bomb. Uh, yeah. The, yeah. The gayest bomb of all time. <laughs> <laughs> the GP. <laughs> oh, <indeed. laughs> the gayest bomb of all time. Your boat. Sean Spicer having to come out. <laughs> and now so we dropped the GP. <laughs> the gayest bomb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I think that's, that's the only time I've, like, earnestly laughed so at something stupid. on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> And it might be the stupidest <laughs> joke we've ever made. <laughs> uh, pre- President Trump is authorized to show a force in Syria, and he has launched today the gayest bomb of all time, the GBOT. <laughs> Yo, I'm crying, Sam. Dude, I love when I find out celebs are good at dancing. Is this what Dancing of the Stars is? No, this is so. some weird Disney thing. It says thing. DWTS, though. It's the beginning. Maybe it's the beginning. This of, is like the I intro. I've never watched Dancing with the Stars. Dude, George fact, Zimmerman is on it this year. Why was he? <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, maybe I'm going to have to start Dylan watching Roof. Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, Dylan Roof is competing from, from prison. <laughs> <laughs> All the, they bring Elliot uh, Roger back from the dead. <laughs> Elliot Zombie Roger. Elliot Roger. They're, they're <laughs> Skyping him in from heaven. Dude, I like it. <laughs> Turns collecting. A better way to go with that would have been, you know, Angelina Jolie can really catch a bone. Yeah, that's that's true. Because she's in that movie, and it was before uh, her unfortunate uh, decision, (laughs) shall we say. Yeah, her slapping that, God in the I face. Know you're kidding, but Kumi, remember when Kumi, that was his take? It was. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it was on Legion of Skanks. Yeah. I mean, uh, to, he got to be mad, fair, she cut her tips off. Yeah. That's, that's the yeah. only form of abortion I think should be illegal. Kitty abortion. <laughs> <laughs> His breast reduction <laughs> surgery. We, uh, that's the that's the 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 the, the compromise. I mean, for all, all uh, legal abortions across the board, any reason. Uh, can't chop. I completely outlaw no breast t- reduction surgery. <laughs> no titty meat gets scrapped anywhere. I don't want to see any titties in any fucking medical mandatory, dumpsters anywhere. Yeah. If you get if you get an abortion, mandatory breast <laughs> implants. <laughs> It's only fair. Yeah. Where where you where you that's you know what? Where you take Guys, life you give that's life. That's called working both sides of the aisle. Yep. <laughs> got to hear both sides. You got to fucking Dude, you're you want to get lost past Yeah. Go <laughs> <laughs> from come down to the Senate. <laughs> I can't wait till we're all in the in Congress. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's probably going to happen. Just I ask your so. dad if we can Get in yeah. there. I'm going to be the guy that introduces a bill that says it's okay to wear basketball shorts to, <laughs> to send it. <laughs> like it's each other. Like, maybe, you're like maybe. strumming your dick like a I'm, banjo. I'm fucking scratching my balls, dude. What's I, happened I, since that? I went to Mexico. I can see your knuckles through your basketball <laughs> shorts. <laughs> That's disgusting. Shut the That's, fuck up, Vegas. Put some fucking slack in your shorts if you're going <laughs> to yeah. scratch your balls like that. It looks I like see a, each individual a puppet pube. show, dude. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking shadow puppet. You can see the fucking complete outline of my dick. It's awful. <laughs> what if your dick? What if it like looks your like dick? a fucking chest burster is about to come out of your crotch? <laughs> Do not hang up. I am calling from the hospital. Your entire family is dead unless you would let me take you out <laughs> for a delicious curry and some pussy tasting. <laughs> <laughs> and some pussy tasting. Dude, imagine imagine fucking loving harassment that much. <laughs> I would love to be the, the discount doctor that uh like does that surgery and then like it's a woman waking up and she's like, Was it a success? And I'm like, complete success. And then their arm is missing and I've just attached it to <laughs> the <background>. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, You got the biggest dick in the world. <laughs> the fish just it's dangling a, <laughs> it's a fist with a bunch of rubber bands around it at the end <laughs> he just drew balls on their leg <laughs> he's tattooed he stapled two <laughs> fucking tennis balls <laughs> to the bottom of the arm <laughs> a captain jack spare change <laughs> <laughs> Name of the Jewish fire. Oh, that's a home run. <laughs> Marge, you know I, I have my the- dick sucking classes <laughs> later in the evening. I just I can't the miss cage my cage dick sucking <laughs> classes. That's good. Homie. <laughs> You oh. can't suck dick in front of Bart. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do Marge though. <laughs> no, yeah, you made it too Bart, <laughs> get in here and suck your father's dick. <laughs> Boy, it's dick sucking time. You know I like it when you lick my balls. You have to lick the tip also. Don't forget to lick the tip. That's good. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, dude. If there's one thing I like, it's getting my dick sucked by my son, Bart. <laughs> I feel but like they retarded should just as a second language. They got yeah. they got them too. <laughs> yeah. RSL. Yeah. Oh. The RSL kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> retarded as a second language. But I got like, I guess I got a, a proposition. I got hit on by a guy out in Adams Morgan one time. I was wearing a, a like a National Guard backpack, and sometimes like drunk military dudes would like check me when they saw me so i was and this was one of those times like like, oh are you in the you know like oh did you did you earn that Mm. and the dude sees me with the backpack and he's like 
in my shoes. He was like, yeah, I was in the army. What's up? And it was like, he was about to fight me. He was like in my face yelling at me like, what, what's good? And I was like, hey, man, chill. You know, eventually I calmed him down. And he was like, he apologized. He's like, hey, my bad, man. Hey, but like, where the bitch is at? <laughs> and then he got real close and he was like, where the niggas at too? And he like <laughs> whispered it at me. And I was like... <laughs> Like, I need to go. Uh, UCD Dublin is where she went. What's uh, that stand for? The University of Sucking Dick. <laughs> yeah. I watched her, like, decide in her head that, like, Connor Kilpatrick used to be a member of the KKK. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she rules. She fucking, Didn't she call you? What's that? She, she called her Amber Ass Ass Frost. <laughs> You know what nuggies. you can give to Brennan James? That fucking sweet ass of yours. <laughs> Why? I would love to watch Brennan fuck you. Yeah. Brendan Brennan James? Yeah. Brennan, yeah. <laughs> Brennan put your laptop in my ass. <laughs> put all a podcast in your clothes. Take your my clothes ass. off, fold them, and put them in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> like a gap employee. I want you to stock my ass like a shelf. <laughs> like. Just fuck sex trafficked Chinese <laughs> yeah, women. Yeah, exactly. That's all like a, a fucking of all, the, of, all the, of all the like shit. <laughs> the I, I have felt for shame. saying <laughs> bad <laughs> things. I felt shame about. You're that. like literally Actually, a bad you know person. What? That's why my a bad person participates in like the yeah, sex dude. trafficking. I didn't of Chinese realize that immigrants. at 19 years old when I got what a pound dog in four weeks ago, six fucking months ago. Oh, you went to Chinatown to get a fucking handy from a slave, from a literal slave. It wasn't six months ago, yeah. and I didn't and know you were just sharing that kind of Atlantic you article. Didn't Ooh, know. this is troublesome. <laughs> yeah. We need to have a conversation about this. <laughs> Meanwhile, I missed that whole thing. On that's Twitter, a good. Actually. That's a good answer, though, because if I the, felt if bad the person who felt the most shame is a prostitute who's probably hot as shit, then. You just fuck them again. Who cares? Yeah. Instead of your it friend wasn't dying. fuck. It was a condom blowjob, and she had braces. Okay. All right, Adam. You've never fucked a prostitute. Yeah. It, it's not rape if you use a condom. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows that old rule. It's not rape if uh, it's a transaction. Uh, we we <laughs> ascertained that the victim had Wait, braces. The, yeah. uh, it's uh, not rape if there's a menu of The district options. attorney's office has declined to press charges <laughs> because, as we all know, if the girl has braces, it's, yeah. it creates it's a barrier. Barrier between she had a retainer in it's the perp's not. penis and their mouth, oh, so God. it's not technically rape. It's solicitation. I mean, by the, the, that's like if you sit on a chair and then a woman sits on it. Is that rape? I'm not Just ashamed. There's, there's you know a what? I, I went from ashamed to not ashamed. <laughs> no, you're uh, ashamed, bitch. Stop. You talk about not fucking. You should just the, get pay a hundred. Uh, I never said anything the about it. The defendant you. has I been found get your dick not guilty by rule of the five second uh, rule. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> you put your penis in there. On the there's floor. not enough uh, rape molecules. <laughs> Don't have the time to transfer between the penis and the mouth to make the victim feel raped. <laughs> Once again, my name has been tarnished on Compound. By your own Dragged actions. through the mud. By, By my own, own actions. <laughs> <laughs> By your own actions. You ruined that very funny Michael Jackson anecdote that I heard <laughs> firsthand yeah. from that poor maid at Neverland yeah. Ranch. You mean Michael Hamburger Jones? <laughs> yeah. Who you're talking about? Just come fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> this is the new come town. It's very funny, though. Check out this, content. <laughs> this cool joke I wrote, if which it is me repeating a news story. <laughs> It wasn't on the news. It wasn't a joke that I wrote. It was an anecdote that I was sharing. <laughs> oh my god! Oh shit. Anyway, if, if it was outside of that, you don't, you can't think of anyone who you feel shame of having sex with. I felt shame afterwards, realizing that that. No, I'm talking. Let's get your crimes against nature out of this. You know, hmm. your crimes against poor traffic people out of this, and let's just talk about regular consensual sex, which you have sometimes. Yeah, I, I, I'm. I'm being, yeah, I, I'm I would say. I would say I've never felt shamed either. The thing is, is both me no, and Adam. I feel shame every time. Both me and Adam are, are probably like you. You're particularly horny and particularly <laughs> unattractive. <laughs> I'm, I'm cute as shit. That's to absolutely untrue. Have sex. I'm, I'm not awful. that horny, actually. <laughs> But I'm not on the grand scheme of things because uh, because I'm fatter. Actually, I didn't really there's less testosterone. I didn't really body. fuck <laughs> that much until like three years ago. Yeah, Adam's until very I horny. Moved Adam is actually the horniest of the three. Because of I us. wasn't like getting like I wasn't getting laid a lot when I was in actually, high school. Actually, I, I take I wasn't getting laid oh. a pretty horny. Oh, or I was getting laid a lot in high school. What a unique experience. <laughs> 
That justifies buying sex slave <laughs> as a 30-year-old man. Be- oh, because d- uh, there was a, some the hypothetical football player that got blown more than I did. And I only I, fucked some. I, so I, 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 I didn't say, fuck some. I didn't I have, have to get say, jacked though. off by a 45-year-old Fujianese woman. Fujianese. <laughs> Who thought she was coming over to work in a restaurant. Now she lives in a box and has to suck off <laughs> paralegals. She was a Somali yeah. in her village. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. I hate this. She's like, well, you know, he had a condom on and I have braces. <laughs> yeah. so. I did have my retainer. I guess, I guess I shouldn't say anything to the FBI. No, I got a hand job in Chinatown. When I was 19, I got a blow job with condom. You yeah. Know, clearly just a small cell. I yeah, feel, yeah, yeah. You know, I jack off to those and then I feel bad. Oh, no, you oh. can jack off oh, to Chatterbait. Oh, you feel bad, dude? <laughs> what? Yeah, How do you feel? So, that's so... Cool to benefit you. from something and then They're feel bad jail. about it after. That absolves you from the bad part of it. Yeah. If you feel bad after. You know, what I do sometimes is like, I, you know, I just have like a hard day at work. So I go out into, you know, like Bed Stuy in East New York and I find young black teens and I shoot them with a, a silenced <laughs> pistol <laughs> to relieve some of my stress. But I feel bad about it afterwards. <laughs> I put a gun to their head and I end their life. <laughs> All you need to do is because feel it bad. gets blamed on other black teens, it's so true. I don't have to worry about it. But it helps alleviate some of the stress in my life. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, Tell you the take judge, the shoes bro. off his feet, so it looks like he was robbed for Jordans, <laughs> and then you just keep moving. Yeah, you gotta snatch his sneakers. I mean, I need those sneakers. <laughs> If you have sex with a baby and then feel bad, it's not. It's not. I hate. I hate that fucking that. Yeah, Losing. that idea that like, oh, everything will be okay or whatever. There's legitimate reasons for depression. Yeah, like finding out you have Parkinson's. Right. Or getting your yeah. dick sucked bad. I met Robin Williams, not your mom. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Well, you you gave me a look. I didn't give you any. Look. I wanted to clarify. Oh, it's me, Adam's mom. <laughs> oh, no, dude. Sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I can't Ooh. do that one, dude. I'm tapping out. <laughs> Kingdom. An- mm-hmm. Animal Cracker is like, that's what I call mixed race people. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. oh shit! <laughs> I, fuck, dude. I, that is a good one. <laughs> Bill Maher, the nigger guy. Oh, Jesus Bill, Christ! Bill, 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 Bill Maher, the nigger guy. <laughs> And then there's a clip of him saying, I'm a house nigga. <laughs> Bill Maher, the nigger guy. Oh, shit. <laughs> n- the new theme for his show. Our show, too. Uh, we're using been... that. <laughs> Fuck, dude. That was a every, powerful introduction. <laughs> for every week. <laughs> Bill, every week. Bill, Bill, <laughs> Bill, 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 Bill. Inertia uh, is a property of matter. Meaning point of is, being comedian, you're supposed yeah. to be a fucking. You're blowhard. right. I guess it's just you're like, better at comedy if you're a blowhard. I guess it's just that it's like. I mean, we've already made fun. The of The art of comedy is dumb people saying things assertively Con- in a stupid way. Shut yeah. up. <laughs> and that's what makes things funny. Is when you barge in the room and you say, "What's going on here? Oh, that's fucking stupid." Here's how a smart guy like me would say it. <laughs> and then, and then you say, "House nigger." <laughs> And then that's comedy. He went soft A. Anyway, fuck Bill Maher. Uh, I don't like vacations, unless we're going to Mecca. <laughs> for the uh, the plan I discussed <laughs> off the podcast. What, do you mean to praise Allah? <laughs> Operation, <laughs> Operation, uh... Charlie Hebdo. Taste of their own medicine. <laughs> 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 A little secret plan I've been cooking up with one of my friends down in Panama. <laughs> he's pretty drunk, but he's a smart guy. If you need info on how to covertly get to Mecca, which I'm still like, I'm literally days away from finding out where Mecca is. Yeah. In terms of country, it's yeah. not Israel. It's is in it? Saudi Arabia. It's in Israel. It's right in the middle of Tel Aviv. <laughs> no. So if you want to blow up Mecca. <laughs> <laughs> and that's part of another program I'm running called Operation Two Birds, One Stone. 
Oh, oh yeah, that's what I wanted to bring up. So Tard blog. <laughs> <laughs> one of the they used to have the section where people could write in their story, like their own retarded oh, kid shit. stories. Oh. And there oh, was fucking that. one. There was one that was so funny to me, and I found I, you know. Oh man, this is great. I've. I'll tell the story and then I'll tell you what I did with it afterwards. Okay, but, great. Uh, the so the story was like if somebody was in seventh grade and they like had uh, they had like a police officer come in to like the class to talk about like molestation or whatever. They played like a video that was like mm-hmm. you know like if somebody touches you in an inappropriate way or whatever, and they're all watching the video and everyone's just bored. Yeah, there's not enough bright. And then colors. the video ends and they're like, okay, thanks guys. If you have any questions. And then there's a retarded kid in the class who's, like, older than everyone else. Like, he's just this bigger, retarded kid, yeah, yeah. you know? And he just blurts out, Next door, Jimmy made me suck his dick! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, dude! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Leo and his friends. And we're starting off hot. Leo, of course, he's Leo, the hottest star in the world. Titanic. Yes. You know? Yes. New York City. How about was this? this? How about Leonardo the Capriziliano? <laughs> huh? It's not. Imagine, it's not how, it's imagine how fucking good at acting he would be. It's you not Italian I mean? enough. <laughs> Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio. Why don't, we, why don't we put a little, a little, a little two at the top of the end of his name? Be proud of your heritage. <laughs> um, so that makes sense. Harry Tajaja. <laughs> Number two, Heritage. <laughs> Number two, the Heritage. <laughs> Number two, Heritageano. <laughs> What's number two, Adam? He's just gonna just talk Heritage. Over me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, go ahead. He definitely Toby. won't. Number two. What is number, number two? two? Number two is Toby McGuire. Makes sense. Uh huh. You know, he was a star back then. Yeah, how then. about Tony Deguire's of <laughs> Georgia? <laughs> Instead of t- no. Tony, Tony De Guarino. T- Tony De Gu- yeah, Justin Guarini. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. I don't know. I don't like his skin tone. <laughs> yeah, who is this guy? I don't like his Barely. <laughs> who is Just this? saying straight up. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, if you had said, I don't like that he's black, that's yeah. more. That's, yeah, that's less this direct. guy bothers me. I don't really like his skin tone. <laughs> 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 at the doctor's office. Do you cry at all of them? At the third one, hell, I almost. I hell when yeah, you played dude. with the with Andy one last time, is that when you that cried? That was sad, dude. Why did everyone cry at that? I almost cried I when they were about to get cry. got. Yeah, no. I, by the third one, it was weird. It's like, why is this every nineteen-year-old kid like playing with the playing doll? <laughs> the doll. <laughs> no, man, that shit was like, sad. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. Everyone I know, I remember the, ne- like, the, was the so sequel sad. is going to be like the toys go to college and they meet Andy's new friend. CDs filled with child pornography. <laughs> and they're like, we don't. Andy doesn't need you anymore. He's got us. <laughs> My buzz. What are we going to do about <laughs> about these mean CDs filled with child pornography that Andy jacks off to all the time? Well, it did cut down costs. It's important to remember. Having slavery is chill. Um, when, you, when you live in the fucking Arkansas, man, they they probably had slaves like legitimately at some point in the Arkansas, like governor's, governor's mansion. mansion, right? Yeah, probably. I mean, they did in they had slaves in the White House. What? You didn't know no, that. Yeah, that. no. Yeah. Hillary brought the slaves to the White House. Yeah. No, that's what I meant during the Clinton. Yeah, Jimmy Clinton. There. <laughs> no, I'm referring to Barack Obama yeah, yeah, yeah. as a slave. <laughs> oh, God damn. <laughs> That's what I meant by that. <laughs> this is a picture of Bill Cosby, uh, the judge Free declaring Mr. Out, walking out. Yeah, and then his, <laughs> his attorney doing the black power <laughs> fist. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he was persecuted. <laughs> God damn, Cosby is the, one of the shittiest people of all time. I hope, I, hope, I hope the fucking attorney says Black Lives Matter. Oh, my God. God, just not only raping, <laughs> lying, and then having that moral high ground on black people it's like a really, piece of shit, and now he's just throwing them completely under the bus to cover his lie about. I mean, it's rape. what OJ did, but it's it, I'm kind of. Yeah, but OJ was a fucking clown. Like he didn't give a fuck about anyone. Or he anything. didn't give a fuck about Cosby black people. Cosby pretended he was the 
fucking no Cosby was scion. worse because he was like a pull up your pants black yeah, guy yeah exactly yeah he was like a quit sagging with the hippity hop yeah and the bad words yeah that's the yeah. whole reason that was the point that, that Hannibal, Hannibal made. yeah yeah man that, that fucking this Eliza shit rules oh yeah that was funny she well she's too. one of the most talented comedians I've ever seen <laughs> she I, I I think she's great yeah. <laughs> we all think we we all think she's very funny <laughs> Elijah Schlesinger said women shouldn't make jokes about their pussy or something yeah, like no, that. She, I, I, women I, I don't should know the make details, jokes about the difference the effect, between men and women. She said something to the effect that like all female comics are bad except her. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she, the, the <laughs> best part was just so, so funny because funny. the end because of, if you tried to like uh, when when somebody says like female comics aren't funny, you can rattle off a list of like female comics that are good, if not better than like the majority of men doing comedy. Absolutely, you know, like fucking uh, 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 pre woke Sarah Silverman, mm-hmm. Bamford, mm-hmm. Uh, fucking Bonnie's Bonnie. really Bonnie's yeah, really good great. At comedy. Yeah. Um, and then like the examples you have to point out of women that suck at comedy and like who are like bad and shouldn't mm-hmm. get things are like marginally successful people that yeah. haven't been doing comedy Jen that long. Kirkman. Uh, Jane Kirkman's not a bad stand up. She just sucks on social media. Yeah, she's not that good. She's better at stand up than she is at social media and that drags her down. Yeah. But like Eliza is one of the few people. That you can say like, oh yeah, she's she's terrible. She's, yeah. <laughs> she's like off oh, really <laughs> fucking bad at comedy and only has a career because she's, she's like hot. rich and, and she hot. was naked in the picture she, for yeah, her special. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. When people are fucking <laughs> scrolling through Netflix, yeah, and they what see a I, naked girl, right, yeah. or a fucking Indian man looking condescending. <laughs> it's so which, funny. Which Netflix special do I want to watch? <laughs> Kill all white people by. <laughs> By Printar the <laughs> Hoobabat or or fucking look at my pussy by Printar the Hoobabat. Oh yeah, yeah. Which um, special do I think is going to be funny <laughs> of the two? Yeah, no, she's uh. She's the funniest bad. part was the end of the quote where she was complaining about all female comics. Is just, she's like, name one female comic that has a World War Two joke. No, she said, I'm set. probably the only one that has a World War II joke. Which is like, I, yeah. lo- I love that that's... Chelsea m- Peretti has multiple Hitler jokes. Being being that fucking like, uh, uh, like that lack of awareness where you think that like knowledge of World War II <laughs> yeah. is some sort of like intellectual <laughs> merit. Right. Like, oh, uh, oh, you haven't heard of World War II? <laughs> <laughs> Like it's not like the basis of all fiction <laughs> in fucking you know television. It's the Bible and World War Two. That's the only place stories come from. Yeah, and she thinks, oh well, you know, I know about this. Uh, I yeah. Also, she's I like a historic. extremely esoteric. Also, there's no she's way a, it's a good. Joke. She's a laugh. Yeah. She's a laugh factory girl, right? Is that where she's? You know, you used to have a great World so. War Two joke, not a Holocaust joke, but a great World War Two joke was uh, Hampton. Oh yeah, about what? He was like, "What do you think is the best sequel ever?" Mm. World War Two. And he goes, "World War Two, yeah, because yeah. it's like this time the hero returns, America, but he fails to act on time, so the girl, France, gets hurt." <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and all, and then she shout out to Hampton, yeah, shout out to yeah. Hampton, he's a, a homie. Uh, I love how she after was like, "Okay, you really want to talk shit? Uh, try and follow me." So she just like ended it with the like. Oh yeah, none of you can follow me. But she's never on a show where there's any other women booked. Basically, she's just on a show with like. She's just a clown ass motherfucker. Yeah, she sucks, dude. Well, when uh, all this shit was happening, people were talking about her rant. I thought it was the one from a couple months ago where she was like going off about something, and then the rant turned into like she said, and I'm paraphrasing, but it's almost an exact quote, something like. uh, Look, I grew up upper middle class and I fucking stayed that way through hard work. <laughs> oh my fucking god. What a oh, cunt. Oh, what a dumb what bitch. A cunt. God damn it, dude. <laughs> what a that fucking shit is so cunt. Annoying. <laughs> I am a Christ. black motorist. <laughs> 
It's Fuck, insane. Dude. I mean, even when there are videos, it's crazy. But you On know what? Camera. Yeah, it's crazy. Killing someone who's like, I am not reaching for my gun. Mm. Who's telling you I have a gun? I am not reaching I'm for a, it. I have a license to carry Please. a weapon. And then, you, but it's got to be. It's got to be. The, that the prosecutor has got to be holding back or something. They, because yeah. they don't have this problem when it comes to regular they are, regular dude. cases. If uh -huh. this was a guy that fucking had a, a gun on him, if this was just some other fucking of black course. guy that he got yes. in a dispute with, he would be in prison 100%. for murder. The prosecutors like, are just not doing something right that they can't convince a jury that they this don't, is... Well, what if they don't fucking want to? Well, that happened, that happened in the case with... Yeah. Uh, with uh, uh, was it a uh, 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 Kai Gurley was killed by whatever mm -hmm. that Chinese... Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Uh, uh, his name in the is like stairwell, ping pong, you know something. Yeah, the, <laughs> in stairwell, the stairwell. Yeah, and so uh, uh, ping pong, ching chong, <laughs> officer that killed this guy. Guys, please don't laugh. I mean, I, <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry you're racism right. is a huge problem in this country, and these police <laughs> shootings are murderer. So yeah, I the, think the, we can be. Yeah, racist. Office, we're not being racist. You're right. That it's was his name. His name. I'm sorry. Uh, his, it was his first day on the job. Actual Cantonese right? name. I'm sorry that I researched this more than you guys, and I'm not calling him by his name like you know Phil. Johnson or whatever yeah, his family was racistly name. forced to use yeah, yeah. his Cantonese name that he got <laughs> mm -hmm. back at at, at, uh, at the uh, Palace of Hunan <laughs> where he was born. If, yeah, when you in the spend year of the dragon, sixty dollars or yeah. more, you get a Cantonese name. Yeah. When he was at number one order. good Chinese yeah. food restaurant, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, officer, Golden me Reiki wrong time. <laughs> Ding dong ditch, uh, <laughs> Chinese fire drill. When uh, Ricky, officer, Nintendo officer Ricky Tiki Tambo, <laughs> yeah. officer rail worker prostitute <laughs> says, officer uh, girlfriend, officer Hand sideways dog. pussy dog eater <laughs> says, <laughs> dry cleaning nail salon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Officer, okay. no, no ticky, no, no uh, dry cleaning. Well, the district attorney in that case like <laughs> requested no jail time, like from the judge. They didn't let the judge or the jury make the decision or whatever. They like went out of their way to say, oh, uh, by the way, even though we're trying this case, uh, don't send them to jail. I went home and I, I talked to my dad and I tried to have like a man to man with him and I was like, listen, dude, I just turned 30 and I know you and mom have been saying I need to like settle down, get get married and give you grandkids and stuff and like I'm starting to maybe look, feel it a little bit and I've been like, I date like too many 24 year old girls and like I just need to date a woman and he's like, Adam, do not date a finished product. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, keep dating the 24 year old. My dad just turned into Patrice O'Neill. Yeah. He's like, you need to train your bitch. Adam, train your bitch, Adam. Yeah. Adam, train your fucking bitch. <laughs> when I married your mother, she was a used up whore, and I've never, <laughs> ever been comfortable with it. <laughs> if she don't suck dick, she got to go. <laughs> That's why you're weak, it's because her pussy was loose when she had you. <laughs> you didn't have to fight your way out. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, She's dude. a lovely, lovely. Your boy woman. was a test tube baby. I was created by science to be perfect. <laughs> yeah, no. no desperation with a male pizza delivery yeah. driver. I think the point is the That's pun. just a guy that wants weed. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, there was a genre of porn that was a fat guy. <laughs> Did I tell that story about when I worked at Baba John's and there was that middle-aged woman that worked there and she fucking shit her pants while, <laughs> while she was out on the delivery. Oh, hell yeah. And came back to the store to be like, I shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, just go home. Yeah. What the fuck are we supposed to do? <laughs> well, we're talking about Science, Kirk, and Miles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are those guys? Science and Kirk. If Science you have a phone, you have a you lawyer. Have a lawyer. I remember asking my mom who our lawyer is, and she was like, "What do you mean?" And I was like, "Well, we have a phone, you fucking dumb bitch." <laughs> I was like a five-year-old that was like, "We have a phone. Who's our lawyer?" <laughs> Sucking man, off a man, put his dick in your ass. From France. That's our the official the national theme anthem. song. <laughs> the intro music, the French. I think about a lot of time is like the French and Indian War. And uh -huh. Uh -huh. How bad that must have smelled. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually... It was um, Punjabis. <laughs> it was actually in, in these Indians. Yeah, it was like. a cook-off. <laughs> <laughs>
God damn. <laughs> The two smelliest, the smelliest <laughs> French fat guy and the smelliest fat Indian guy wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Please, it just smells like the fucking the shoe tree outside of the Chuck E. Cheese ball pit. Remember how bad that shit smelled when you were a kid? Disgusting. Oh, yeah. What the fuck is this? Oh yes, you never like put an your shit ogre in there. guarding the uh, the ball pit. <laughs> what is it called? Too Larious Too Larious. Too Larious. Too Larious. Troy the Comedian mm. brings you. <laughs> apostrophe the Comedian. <laughs> too Larious Com- Tuesdays. Comedian Lapostrophe. <laughs> it's L apostrophe apostrophe. Lapostrophe. <laughs> Uh, International Money Media Productions. <laughs> yeah. Way too LLC black. Global way too International black Entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's like Inc. LLC trademark registered. <laughs> like just fucking <laughs> went crazy on a business keyboard. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> it's just every letter is circled like the C. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like n- there is no chance you filled out paperwork for this. <laughs> too hilarious Tuesdays. Way too much money. Laugh production. maker. Entertainment, baby. <laughs> Dude, who is that guy in DC? It's always, it's always like a cityscape at night. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and like yes, diamond plate steel letters. <laughs> And then maybe like a lipstick kiss yeah. and then an old timey microphone. <laughs> it's always the radio <laughs> mic. Oh, good. The Larry King microphone. Uh, oh, God. Me. And uh, Naeem, comedian Naeem. And then there was like three or four other guys. Oh, used to yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe kind of, something. Fuck, Shut told me about s- someone called. Her name was like I don't know Brittany The original uh, Miss Dam The original Damn She Thick <laughs> Miss The original Damn She Thick <laughs> <laughs> Fuck I fucked that up Miss The original Damn She Thick <laughs> <laughs> Brittany, the comedian, the original Miss <laughs> Damn She Thick. <laughs> I remember uh, there's this girl, there's this girl Kat Ramzinski in Austin, who did some like they used to have these like shitty runs you could go on that were like uh, the, I don't know the Funny Bones or the Comedy Zones. I can't remember. I, I never did it, but it was like Little Rock, uh, Houston, and then some other fucking shit town. Mm-hmm. You do like mm-hmm. the, all the three of them yeah. or whatever. And you do, you host like two times and then they let you feature, so it's mm-hmm. not a bad deal. Actually, I don't even remember if that was it, but she went on a run. Of she went kind. on a run with these two uh, black ladies from Houston, mm-hmm. and Kat had to drive. And she was telling this story about like picking them up, or like she's going with them, and she has her notebook with her, and she's going through her notebook, and they were like, "Are you journaling or something?" And she's like, "No, I'm just like working on a bit." And they like both burst out laughing. They're like. You write your shit down? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, honey, no, never. No, what you do ne- is watch Monique videos just, and kind of do the her act you worse. You just repeat, <laughs> you repeat things you heard somewhere else. <laughs> and from, no, it's not stealing. <laughs> If you put your own little sass on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, they were like berating her for writing down jokes. To be, to be fair, I don't think I've written down a joke in like four years. Yeah. Um, I yeah, write down I ideas and, and I then like I just fucking... I, yeah, I've never actually written out a bit once, ever. I mean, Wow, so I've, you sound a lot like these ladies. Well, I write I write down something that'll remind me of it. Yeah, yeah, me too. Like keywords and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, you got to put your sass on it. <laughs> you gotta put a little, yeah, little stain on it. I was laughing, on laughing it, about that, that Cat Williams video again. Where, he's where going, he gets what you want to do, little boy? Yeah, yeah, that's what so you want to do, little just, boy? <laughs> I can't just get believe two that's pieced not, by a child. <laughs> that is the best. <laughs> <laughs> it is the on, best video of all time. Yeah. The one on the one where he's in a Target and he's giving the people the finger after he slapped the cashier is a really good one too, man. Every day brought to you by whoever that pedophile was, <laughs> alleged pedophile. The, who, that guy was a pedophile. Family Circus? Uh, no, that's why I said alleged. Oh, uh, great. <laughs> You're a legend? No, we're lying, so we have to say a legend. I think he was actually like a really like well known family man. I'm jerking off to some really gay shit on the internet and I'm Dilbert. <laughs> uh, for for your whatever that's Yeah, we're going up to the valley, to dude. We're gonna go drink some seam up in the Hudson Valley. <laughs> Swap seam. Seam. <laughs> we're seam sippers, bro. Seam sipping, dude. Seam sipping with seam. my two favorite. Dude, I'm allies. fucking faded. I'm fucking cross faded off this seam. I'm, fu- I'm fucking lit off this seam. 
bro. Dude, I got a stomach ache. Crucial I drink so much scene. Scene, but I'm gonna keep drinking, dude. Yeah, dude. Do you guys serve Roddy's here? Rod Stewart's? <laughs> yeah, it's two liters of semen <laughs> in a fucking mason jar, <laughs> dude. Uh, I'll take an Arnold Palmer. Uh, ju- yeah, just Arnold Palmer's come. Yeah, <laughs> this is the Rod Stewart challenge. I was 21. I had my own apartment. I never jacked off in the. Uh, in a, okay, in the whatever. Room. What? That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying well, is. Well, how about this? Would you jack off in the kitchen? This is not where you jack off. No, I've had but sex it's a in leisurely the area. The living room's leisurely. Kitchen sex is really fun. Yeah, yeah fucking is different. Every than once in a while, you'll off. fuck in the kitchen, but that's different. Well, what there's I'm a s- lot of places I fuck that I would never jack off. <laughs> <laughs> like in the you have laundry, too much respect in the <laughs> laundry room at a house party. I wouldn't go in there to jack off. Um, in a field in yeah. Vermont, is in those mine. in those uh, in those like secret corridors in the mall that only the security guys know about. <laughs> those corridors are the weird, fuck corridors. dude. Yeah, yeah. Remember that in fucking Grand Theft Auto where they just they called the the Vespas the the Faggio fag- the Faggio. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a homophobic yeah, yeah. joke in the game. So funny. Yeah. So dude, good my joke, friend, man. my friend, I was hanging out with my friend and his girlfriend one time, and he just pronounced Faggio. He said he was talking about how he really wanted to get a Faggio, and she got they got in like a one hour fight next to me about yeah. him saying Faggio. <laughs> he's like, what? That's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I don't like you using those words. That's so funny, dude. It's yeah. so funny the dumb shit you like fight with women about. <laughs> yeah, it's really great to just be hanging out with a couple fighting. Yeah, that's, that's the most fun. <laughs> thing Did I ever tell you I had like I had like a relationship, pretty much be destroyed by doing the parody song. Fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> in the car, you were on a road trip. Yeah, earlier, yeah, right? yeah. Because yeah. she got stuck in the car with me. Doing the like, well, I'm the kind of guy who fucks his mom and dad. She's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Yeah, me and Elders were hanging out um, this weekend a lot with his girlfriend, and I think, like, it was like, I mean, and she's cool as shit, but it's like... He got a girlfriend? Huh? He got a girlfriend? Yeah. But it's like cool. the third consecutive day that you What's see... What's Elders' his last name? Uh, I'm not telling people's last name. You'll oh. find him. He's easy. But uh, but I think the third consecutive day was, like, you spending time with your boyfriend and his best friend talking about sucking each other Wait, off. Wait, say this again? Your boyfriend and who? If you're her and you spend oh, like three yeah. days in a row with me and Eldest yeah, talking yeah. about like sucking each oh, other's dick at gunpoint yeah, yeah. and shit like that, it's like <laughs> yeah. I remember uh, Ari was like selling you uh, selling you those edibles, mm-hmm. and he like texted me. He's like, dude, stop! Like really, really talks like that. <laughs> yeah. He was like, come get sucked off and stuff. He's like, dude, I did. I thought he was just joking. Like that was like. A I mean, bit. I am joking. He's like, no, no, stop! Like talks that way. <laughs> That's Look, like a here, thing, I'll dude. do some acting right now. Look out! It's an alien. Ah. What do you mean we're getting a divorce? Ooh. But I can't be retarded. <laughs> I'm the president. <laughs> <laughs> That's, these are all for my screenplays. That's good. Out. That's good. Yeah. Uh, I think Nick. I think you'll be an actor. I believe in you. Thank you. I, uh, I enjoy the one with him and Amico more than the main one now. Amigo's good. We should have Amigo on, dude. Yeah. I love that guy. Yeah, he's, he's uh, great. He's a sniper. He gets in. Yes. There. Yeah, he yeah. He sits thing. back. We yeah. Backs off. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be nice to. He's have. a good co-host. Much yeah. better than me. That's yeah. true. Yeah. I don't think anyone would dispute that. What do you yeah. think we'd have I to trade Lewis? You'd probably fishing for compliments there. But what do you think we'd have to trade Lewis to get Amico for Adam? What would we have to throw in? You know what would be a great show? Uh, Adam, first round pick. Adam yeah. and Anthony Cumia. <laughs> that would be an awesome show, actually. <laughs> I would love that. You can't say that, Anthony. And then some <laughs> UFC fighters. Shout like, out. Do you want me to kick his ass, Ant? <laughs> Just let me do it. <laughs> He'd get like a porn star. He'd be like, give this gay kid a, a yeah. blowjob. <laughs> yeah, we have AIDS Tessa here. <laughs> some, some girl that's 17 years old but looks 47. <laughs> yeah, I mean, porn's just like, it's actually empowering. <laughs> no, no, those it's women em- don't know about empowerment. <laughs> it's <laughs> empowering to be doing porn and also to be on this show. <laughs> the one when Stav was on, when he was in the onesie. That in fucking the, yeah. dumb bitch that yeah, got yeah, mad that, at me for yeah, that yeah, drunk yeah, yeah. woman. Joke. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, don't talk about fucking autism. 
She goes, she goes, her brother. She goes, my brother's autistic and he's more successful than any of you. He's a millionaire. And it's yeah, like, that, that's awesome. I think we I made this point the yeah, first right. time, but it's like, oh, so yeah, your retarded brother is a doctor <laughs> and you're a porn star. <laughs> it's, so it wasn't your parents. Yeah. Your parents seem to do a, yeah. a real good job with him. Well, <laughs> Above like, and beyond. Two seconds <laughs> prior to that, she's like doing Hitler salutes. And yeah, she's yeah. like, I love the police. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. Oh, yeah, that's right. Right, I oh, forgot that. Man. Yeah, she was like, Hillary's a cunt. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I but f- she made it, stop coming his pants. Yeah, it was. Did pretty, you come or did you get no. a stiffy? I got stiffed up. You got stiff? I'm only human, man. I'm gonna get stiffed up. Dude, that's a dream of mine to have a boner in the same room as Anthony <laughs> Anthony Cumia, dude. In fifth grade, we went to Six Flags and there was this kid Aaron Mitchko that like everybody made fun of. Yeah. And we walked Shots by him. Shout out Aaron. He became drill. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but uh, we walked by him at the at the trip, and he was just holding hands with his dad. <laughs> oh no, dude! Fifth I mean, grade? this kid, yeah, this kid definitely had autism. But yeah, like, <laughs> my, my dad went on the trip too. He was just a kid that everybody made fun. Of. Also, yeah. his name rhymed with bitch co. So yeah, like, it yeah, wasn't, bitch co. Uh, good. Poor there was a kid in my gym class named Mitchell, and I called him Bitchell. Oh yeah, mm, that was nice. a good one. Yep, my friend Rich, I call him Bitchard. That's mm. good. Bitchard Russie. Um, yeah. Uh, fuck. I was going to tell a story about somebody holding Six Flags hands holding oh, yeah, hands. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was walking to the train, and some mm. guy, like, comes out of his building directly in front of me, and he's holding hands with, like, what looks like a another man from the back. <laughs> yeah. But they're the same exact size, and they have, like, the same proportions, except that one man has just slightly narrower shoulders. Yeah. But these, like, enormous stumpy calves. And when I get a profile, I realize it's this man's, like, 10-year-old son that's hit puberty early. <laughs> so, like, it's this, like, little boy with this, like, dumb man's body. <laughs> He's just holding his dad's hand on the way to the train. I almost hooked up with a handicapped girl once, and then I got her pants off, and I... What? Kind I of handicap. This is maybe Wheelchair? the lowest point of my life. <laughs> oh yes, oh, dude. No. I like. We were hanging out like all night. She's really. You got her pants really off. And girl. You were out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, wheelchair? Or? Yeah, wheelchair. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I got her pants off, and then I like couldn't get hard. Oh wow. Aww. Maybe you caught it. Wow, oh, poor girl. That's, that's the most she touch, made my that's the most touching <laughs> thing I've ever done. <laughs> Paralyzed. <laughs> yeah. She's like, You're like me now. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like a little version of one dick. of my legs. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like my legs. <laughs> We're the <Yeah>. same. <laughs> I just went to a place in Chelsea and I was like, Do you guys have regular porn here or just gay? And the guy goes, No, only gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best story I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I, just, I had like time to kill between shows, and I'm like, maybe I'll go find that porn. You were not beating around so the I bush. To, like, <laughs> <laughs> the fact that someone answered that ridiculous <laughs> it question. Like some, it was like some guy from Bangladesh working there. <laughs> like, like they all do. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm Only so gay. jealous. I'm so jealous no. you got to Only. live that moment. <laughs> just Adam didn't laugh at it. He was yeah, he was jealous. He was jealous that... <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't. Have I it. also bought this book on like how to eat pussy. It's called oh, She really? Comes First. Yeah, yeah I, so. I had that book. Yeah, it's like written really weird though. Yeah, yeah. Guys, it was written. Really it was written weird because the guy who wrote it was tenting his fingers the entire time. <laughs> yeah. he dictated it into his Boost Mobile phone. <laughs> <laughs> And see, the thing you got to understand is because you got to give her the pleasure that she knows she deserves, but not the kind that you think she deserves. Remember yeah, scoliosis? Yeah. Remember scoliosis? Yeah. 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 So I've been over tits. in the locker room. Yeah, and I've had tits since I was like 10 years old, so my mom had to write a note and be like, he's embarrassed of his tits. <laughs> 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 what were we laughing at? <laughs> Steve Urkel being. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did I this gay might that? Be the stupidest <laughs> shit of all time. <laughs> Did I gay that? <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. It's not it's even not a pun. I gave it. it. was in the heat of the moment, you know? That's, that is really Go funny. home, Steve. <laughs> Did I gave it? Sucking Carl's dick. Woo! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Steve, like, comes in the kitchen and he fucking trips over an extension cord and tumbles. His pants fall down and his ass plugs directly under Carl's dick as he's getting out of the shower. <laughs> And he goes, did I gay that? <laughs> <laughs> Carl goes, 
Go home, Steve. Go home, Steve. Laura, I have big news. <laughs> <laughs> my old manager. I mm-hmm. found out a guy, one of my friends was gay. Uh-huh. Who I did not know was gay. Because uh-huh. he blew my old manager <laughs> from Craigslist. <laughs> and of it's Craigslist? still the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Wait, my old he... manager, who used to run a comedy club in the village, uh-huh. called me and was like, uh, pal... Uh, I believe you have a friend uh, who is an actor, and uh, I think you should know that he is a homosexual. Wait. My, my manager was gay. My manager was like a creepy old gay. But why did he Your manager him? was doxing other gay men? And, uh, <laughs> but here is, so he calls, he's like, just so you know, I uh, was on Craigslist, Men for Men, and this gentleman came over and gave me a blowjob. And then we were hanging out and talking, and he talked about how he does movies. And I had mentioned you and said maybe that uh, he should speak to you about maybe making some independent horror films. <laughs> and he got all white in the face and had a panic attack and made oh me promise God. to never tell you <laughs> that he was, in fact, gay. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? He goes, just so you know, your friend has a daddy fetish. And uh, asked what? me to fuck his mouth while he called me daddy and what? cried. Holy shit. And I was oh, like. Because he's an older guy? Yeah, yeah. Jesus he's like an older Christ. gay dude. Yeah. And I was like, amazing. Why are you telling me all that this? That is horrible. He goes, well, I told him that if he did not let me fuck him in the ass and, uh, and uh, <laughs> blow me again, <laughs> that I would tell you. <laughs> and it has been three days what and he will fuck? not answer my calls. So now I am calling you Jesus to tell you Christ. that your friend is a homosexual. What Damn. a fucking piece of garbage that what a, guy what is. What a, a normal community. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, Phil, the, the soda fan out in the concession stand will come. That's I'm a cool go, look. One day bald my, pony. when I go further bald and I got the horseshoe, I'm going to go bald ponytail. Yeah. That's you know, gonna look mark my words. Good, dude. It's gonna be great when you don't live that long. <laughs> <laughs> when your when your shitty scalp, <laughs> dude. That'll be my. That'll be on my deathbed. My wish to get a weave. <laughs> to get a weave to have a ponytail. When you have black girl magic. <laughs> when I have black girl magic, dude. <laughs> People are mad when I shine. But how about Harry Potter? But it's about a little English boy that finds out he has black girl magic. <laughs> 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 so he goes to the black girl magic Hogwarts. Yeah, they f- they find it out when mm-hmm. his line of um, yeah. of a uh, nude colored yeah. uh, like uh, the uh, like, underwear. Uh, Everyone, uh, you are not to be more than 10 minutes late to class <laughs> on the dot. <laughs> I would expect you here 10 minutes late sharp <laughs> to class <laughs> here at Black Girl Magic Hogwarts. <laughs> I found, uh, I found like a, uh, a trans cam girl wearing Joker makeup, and mm. we were laughing about you and the Hol- Harley oh, Quinn yeah. outfit sucking it off. <laughs> yeah, we were making fun of you. <laughs> you know, skin tight Harley Quinn outfit <laughs> <laughs> with the, the the little ear things going back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking pigtails yeah, twirling. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> shaking back and forth. She's just holding your pigtails as you blow her. <laughs> <laughs> dude, honestly, if that if that's how to suck my first dick, why not, dude? Go all out, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Put on a little outfit. Get, get get Bane to fuck me in the ass while I do it. You know, anime Marxists on Tumblr to become mm-hmm. fans of mine. Oh, and then they look into it and they realize that they're supporting the the crypto Nazi. What I like, no, what I like to refer to myself now as the clown prince of the alt right. <laughs> 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 That's what you will be self-identifying That's as my, from now on. My new title. I will. You know what? I respect your identity. <laughs> Thank you. I respect the clown prince of wait, the alt-right, leveraging say, black girl magic. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, whatever the president needs. Yo, how about that guy they hired? Scaramucci. Scaramucci. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that that fucking, fucking rocks, rock. dude. <laughs> oh, he's just like the fucking <laughs> Italian. He really feels like a shitty Sopranos character. No, he looks like that guy. Uh, Remember Matthew Bevilacqua and the other guy? Someone someone made this joke on Twitter already. Did somebody make the joke that he's the guy from the Queen song? 
Oh, I'm sure. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. No, De- someone's I'm definitely made that joke. No, nobody has. I'm, I'm sure yeah, yeah. someone's made. Scaramouche, Scaramouche, can you do the Fandango? Can you do, can you lie about Cafe? Cafe? <laughs> nice, yeah. dude. Scaramouche, Scaramouche. Oh, yeah, dude. Can nice, you dude. lie yeah. about Cafe? Dude, we should rebrand <laughs> as like Capital politics. Steps. Yeah, we should yeah. have a media Twitter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Media Twitter success kit. God awful fucking pun that's barely ironic. Yes. Yeah. Uh, number two, scolding people but backing away from it immediately yeah. to pretend yeah. like you're not a scold. Quote tweeting and saying this. Yeah. Number three, uh, once you're done with your bullshit hysterics, you retweet drill every couple of days to let everyone know that you're, you're fucking cool. hip. Right, yeah. right, right. And there you go. Then you become the darling of, uh, you know, being a cool media Let's person. Let's do it. Who are you talking He's about? He's not all of them. Literally fucking Adam. all of them. You. I'm media Twitter. Yeah. You are media Twitter. I've, I'm a, I've been. I know that's what of. you aspire to be. <laughs> no I way. Miss the days when comedians just wanted to be like in metal bands. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that was that was the comedy universe I could exist in <laughs> when we all thought we were fucking. You know, we were Metallica in our well, heads. Well, that's why. Right? That's why you got to goddamn girl. comedy. Gym, I just dude. want to find a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, we won't even listen to the things they say. Yeah, Jeet hears tweet storm <laughs> about Adam. Who is that guy? Who the fuck uh, is he's, he's, uh, he's a uh, fat Indian guy, he's, right? He's the, the he's so funny he's, looking. <laughs> he's the Nidoran to uh, uh, Roxanne Gay's Nidorina. <laughs> he's the male Pokemon version of whatever Holy hideous shit. obese I creature Roxanne Im- Gay is. Uh, um, they have life like is a, a highway. What's that yeah, politics that's it. one? <laughs> yeah. What's the political oh, one? You mean yeah? There's one. What called, is it? There's one called uh, God Must Be Busy. Oh, yo, can and we just lyrics, play that right now on the show? Uh, I don't Dude, know if so we'll pick funny. up on the speakers, but no. the lyrics are like, uh, you know, she, well, she's at home, she can't get a job because she lost it to some foreign land and foreign hands. <laughs> God must be busy. You know? <laughs> and there's and like there's, a, the Crips yeah. and the Bloods oh, oh, are at it again. Yeah. <laughs> You're ruining the best part. Because the after the job losing job to foreign hand song, so that's, oh, that's literally an a lyric. That's, that's a not lyric. You. That's no, a that's trade. A that's like that's trade protectionism. And there's something. Yeah there's, yeah. there's protectionism. There's stuff about not being able to afford health insurance. Yeah. And then there's like. Um, traffic's backed up. There's a sign on the side of the road. Says there's an Amber Alert, and it's like Amber Alerts don't cause traffic. Right. So I don't. No, you're like saying the traffic's made worse by seeing that there's an Amber <laughs> yeah, Alert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then he goes into the deep. We all know what a fucking Amber Alert yeah, is. Yeah. And they're like, last seen in a white van crossing <laughs> state lines. So he's assuming that they're saying there's a child being raped in the back of a van. And then there's a line, they say she's four years old. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <That's right. Yeah. laughs> the just, fuck? Because Ronnie it's, Dunn's insane. It is like so insane politically thing. confused, though. Oh, yeah. man. You don't I, know what just a his throw line line is. Like, and the Crips and Bloods are still at it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, traffic's bad because of Black Lives Matter protesters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure Ronnie Dunn doesn't even know what Black Lives Matter is. Is there some shit against Arabs in that song? Um, no, he's like, there's still fighting in the Middle East. Oh, there's fighting. Uh, in the Middle East. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. he is like vaguely outlaw country, I guess. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, like, he's got to be somewhat anti-war. But like one of those like don't support the war, support the troops, guys. Yes, yeah, yeah. sure. I would imagine. Sure. Mm-hmm. And then we watched a bunch of in- interviews with him, and you can't even make he's, out a complete it, it's, sentence. Yeah, it's none of it. He's, he's like fucking saying, all it, over the place. Yeah, so it was a like outlaw. Country yeah, they would be like the, the question would be like, uh, uh, you know, what like, is country? music? What is country music? And he's like, you know, of all the places we live, New, New Mexico, Arizona, <clears throat> Arkansas, is, you know, te- Texas was the one. You know, that always felt like. <clears throat> you know, home, but me and my grandma, and uh, you know, because you know, there's a little bit of you know, you go, okay, well, maybe this is a little more sort of a you know, San Antonio vibe, but you know, down, you never know. <laughs> it's like, yeah. What the fuck? He's like, what the fuck are you it talking? Is, it is the ramblings of a man underneath a bridge. Like, you think he's if he's, he didn't have a a, does he a do drugs, a, a silky voice of gold. Yeah, yeah. And like, yeah. he couldn't strum that guitar. That he would guitar. be he would be a he would be a vagrant on a on a fucking uh, uh, cargo do you think train. He does drugs, probably. Probably. Yeah. He's a musician. Uh, you know, you know Another good one is uh, Montgomery Gentry. Who we didn't really get into, but I like Montgomery Gentry. No, a lot. we watched some of theirs. Yeah, they're Mo- like yeah. <laughs> Montgomery Gentry is. They don't wear cowboy hats. Right. Oh. They wear like truckers. Yeah, uh. yeah, yeah. Montgomery Gentry kind of looks like. Remember when Rob Mayer was fat? 
Yes. Yeah. So like, he's like a fat Rob Mayer with like a goatee. He dresses like Ray- Larry the Cable guy. Like kinda. flannel <laughs> shirts with cut off. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the song is like about how like his the other neighbors he's in his subdivision, his neighbor. his, the neighbors in his subdivision can't handle the fact that he like smokes cigarettes or whatever, <laughs> whatever type of bullshit rebel no, style he, you're clinging to. Is yeah, a yeah. That he like rides four wheelers. Yeah. yeah. Oh my and some God. fucking they cuck can't live. Yeah, he's like, yeah. The song was like literally. It's like sort of about gentrification and it's like well you can get the hell out because i was here first you know but then it's like those homes were built in 1995 yeah, yeah. you're living in a mcmansion yeah, yeah. Those fucking- and this is my neighborhood first and i don't care what you damn think <laughs> you can't think what you want both don't think that about me and if you think that about me well i'm putting in man my beer and your house and fuck your wife <laughs> It's like all those songs. <laughs> my beer. <laughs> and my beer and we got my hat. And here's my truck and fuck you, fuck. <laughs> it's great, yeah. Oh, that's fucking really rocks. good. Yeah, I don't think dude. I've listened to any country music. It's the best fucking in my genre. Life. It's it's so good because it's such a simple formula. So for there to be a new twist on it, the thing with like pop music in general is it's always like something romantically linked, you right. know. But with country, it's all like figuring out the identity crisis of being like a rural upper middle class American. So it's shit like Montgomery Gentry, right, right, right. you know, where it's like, yeah, my sure my truck costs eighty thousand dollars, but that doesn't mean I know how to read. <laughs> 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 Don't think I'm some book reading faggot <laughs> just because my fucking I drive a Toyota four wheel drive now <laughs> instead of a Ford, <laughs> even though neither are manufactured in America anymore. My truck may be from Mexico, but I'm still racist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so interesting. I didn't even consider like the identity crisis that all these fucking, oh, yeah, that all yeah. these motherfuckers are going through right now. They're making a ton of money in Nashville, yeah, but they like still want to be trash. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> it's kind of like every rapper still like talks about selling crack or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Jay Z will mention it. It's like, dude, come on, man. Is um hello? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I my name is Javier, Hi, and Javier. I live uh, in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> and to, uh, today I watched the movie uh, uh, Logan <laughs> in 4J for for TV. See? And Logan is a very good movie. It's a very good movie to watch because it uh, uh, stars a, a Wolverine. See? Mm, Who Wolverine. Is, he loves to uh, scratch people. <laughs> 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 he, I love Wolverine because he is always uh, scratching, <laughs> uh, scratching people. Uh, in the movie, there is a little girl, a little girl who is friends with Wolverine. Mm. They are amigos. Mm-hmm. And she loves to uh, scratch people also. <laughs> so I guess safe. Uh, Five stars. Thank you, Javier. That was Javier with the review week review of the week. Gracias, <laughs> gracias, Javier. Gracias. Gra- gracias. Gracias means gracias means thank you, right? Yes. Or does it mean please? <laughs> uh, Damn, dude, I can't remember Spanish. Gracias at all. means thank you. I think so. What's please in Spanish? Please is uh, I don't think they have a word for it. Mm. It's not a very no manners. Culture, no, it's right? please. It, oh, it's please. 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 <laughs> I, have Senor, to, please. I have to peace. <laughs> I have to take a peace. <laughs> there we go. She fogged my ass so she bad. She fogged my ass. She fogged my ass so bad. The doctor <laughs> said that I cannot do it. Take a shit. <laughs> I can no longer make a shit because she fogged my ass so bad. <laughs> she fogged me so I bad. I can only take a piece. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the club and a beautiful girl started kissing me. <laughs> she came. She said she, she needs someone back. to do the drywall. <laughs> but then she fogged my ass. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it was released in 2000. I remember being in first grade and no, like wasn't. I had a Mickey Mouse shirt oh, yeah, that I couldn't is. wear anymore because it was gay. <laughs> <laughs> Like I can't wear that shit. It's fucking gay. It's for babies. Dude, I, I, I got that. I, yeah, my, that sucks, dude. My, when you say b- baboons. Um, is that just what you called black people in South Africa? That's a cheap joke, and I don't accept it. Mm-hmm. I was actually, we only arrived after the apartheid, so that's, Mandela that's was in charge. That's not true. What do you mean? Your family was responsible for apartheid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
man. You know that doesn't doesn't your family go way back in like the accounts for the slave traders? No, actually, no. Isn't that what Friedland means in South yeah. African? No, we were in uh, Eastern <laughs> Europe at that time, and <laughs> well, it's just, Lithuania being very cold Jews. I don't think so. We were just standing around. I'm so cold. No, it what I'm happened was so his family. Cold. His family was asked to leave Europe because the Nazis were like, look, we don't need any more names. Thank you. You've already earned your freedom. <laughs> but you guys got to get out of here because it's going to look weird if you're the only family we don't kill. We have six million names. We don't need any more names. And then they went to South Africa. And they said, and there, there's a man that said, please have, share this coconut of peace with us. <laughs> and then they enslaved that guy and took his coconut. <laughs> you know the truth. The thing is that this is fucking... Then his, gra- his grandfather was like, it's so hot down here, I have to rape. <laughs> I have to invent raping. <laughs> it's too hot to not rape. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's it was very funny. Isn't that right, Adam? Isn't that yeah. what Nick said? Yes, correct? it's completely one hundred percent. It's real. Yeah, it was, we were all part of Rhodesian uh, death squads. <laughs> me and my family. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. That's my favorite podcast. atrocities. That's my favorite podcast. The, on the Rhodes- gas, digital, <laughs> gas digital network is Rhodesian <laughs> death squad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, no, my parents had to leave because they were anti-apartheid and they were on a list by the secret police and we mm. went back after mandela uh mandela. Came to power. yeah for how long wait you went uh, yeah i lived there when i was a kid for three years i didn't know that for two years sorry yeah what i turned age? four five and six. Oh, yeah interesting when i started school i went back to america and started school mm. so but i was in pre-k there but i had an oh, accent fuck. when i was a little kid you didn't start kindergarten until you were six years old i think no, no i started first grade i did kindergarten there oh, okay. yeah um, damn that's interesting yeah too bad it's all lies. <laughs> that would be a cool story. It's sort of a redeeming story if it wasn't a complete lie. Yeah, cool. I don't know your family's a war criminal past. No, we were we were not. A couple of Jesse my Joyce's. Gran- my grandfather. <laughs> couple of Howard Jesse Joyce's. My uh, grandfather probably um, did some shitty things. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. That means he knows and he doesn't want to well, no, say. Well, no, because he got super lucky and like made mo- whatever i don't want to tell Ooh, you. no tell the story money. made money oh <laughs> he was probably a pretty my cool, dad says way. my dad thinks that he had uh office buildings and my dad suspects that his father rented office space <laughs> to the secret police <laughs> but that might be bullshit he was a <laughs> landlord for the shit. secret police <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god That dude. is unbelievable My grandfather would help the Nazis find deals <laughs> <laughs> He was like Groupon he was, for the, he was a yeah. broker <laughs> But then my dad my This one has a nice view of the Blicks <laughs> My dad ended up being on a, on a list Because they thought he was a potential political enemy And then they tried to draft him into the army and My mom Doesn't make agent. up for it Double doesn't, agent huh? Doesn't matter Fuck yeah. my grandfather I don't give a fuck about there him There you go Yeah, yeah. My I mean, grandfather uh, just fucking bought a bunch of exotic birds. Yeah. He never did anything with his life. Yeah, well, it's a <laughs> shitty place. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. That's a fucking <laughs> hilarious way to live your life. You're um, the only ones with a clown. But Jack uh, in the Box. That's not a clown. Isn't that's, it a clown? It, no, it's of? literally a Jack in the Box. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> fucking <you> dumbass. <laughs> Damn, dude! I remember I wanted a neon green sunfire Pony, Pontiac Sunfire <laughs> so bad, dude. Wow, that, that, that was my hilarious. shit. Yeah, when dude, I, I want a cool Cavalier. When I was fourteen, <laughs> dude, that's what I wanted, dude. Boy. I can't stop laughing about the idea of a bunch of old black women sitting around watching local news, and there's a story about a little boy that's missing, and then one of them says, "Hmm, uh, somebody died. Suck that boy dick." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. She's just fanning herself. Yeah, uh-huh. They're all just mm-hmm. 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 that mm-hmm. little boy done that, got fucked. That poor mm-hmm. child. That po- 
<laughs> that baby that, done. that baby got his little penis that, that baby mm, somebody <laughs> done suck that boy dick yeah i was reading about there was so in 2012 when the chick-fil-a thing happened yeah the gay thing the gay yeah. thing yeah chick-fil-a said uh if if he's a faggot, you ain't getting sandwiches. <laughs> that was a direct the southern yeah, company. It not, was uh, from Atlanta. Well, it was a cow on a billboard that wrote, "I hate faggots," but the G's were backwards. Yeah, well, faggots is what cows call chickens. <laughs> yeah, these faggot chickens are <laughs> these fucking queer chickens. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking nice out. <laughs> I'm trying to chill. I got loud. I'm alive, my DM. I got loud. <laughs> Great voice work, my man. Thanks, man. That's really good self auto tune, dude. Yeah, yeah. I'm good at auto tune. <laughs> I'm trying to get my dick up. <laughs> Damn, dude, your voiceover I'm master. I'm trying to get my dick up. You got too much fat on your fucking head. No, nah, dude, right. that helps. That helps no. the vibrato. It sounded like a midget clapping. I've yeah. got a. <laughs> Damn. Can't do it. <clears throat> I can't. My man ain't no good at this. <laughs> no, you can't do the lips. He can't do it. <laughs> I have From a now hair. on, the entire podcast <laughs> is going to be auto tune. <laughs> Adam's gay. You're listening to Fine, the T Pain yeah. podcast. <laughs> 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 Fuck. Dude, that's because you don't know, you don't squares. respect that good leaf. I got loud. <laughs> I got loud. I'm trying to do fucking math. It's fucking nice out. <laughs> I got a fucking calculator. Hit my DM. <laughs> I'm alone. I got a TI-83. I'm trying to do math on these Jews. <laughs> Did you guys do ever math on these Jews? <laughs> Did you guys I'm ever had a <laughs> Fucking six million shit. I don't even care. I got loud. Hit my line. I'm serious. <laughs> Time to well. buckle up. And I fucking, uh, I took this astronomy course. Cause like, I took all the like, cause you need to just get the associate's degree. You need like a general study mm -hmm. to get like the base. Just please leave the community college degree. Right, right, right. You need like a, a math <laughs> and a science. And so the math I took was called like mathematical ideas. <laughs> and it was like, um, what's the best way to split up a cake between five people? And somebody would be like, cut it into five pieces. And they'd be like, mm, it's a little too specific. And somebody else would be like, oh, sh sharing the cake. And they'd be like, exactly. <laughs> it's splitting it up. <laughs> what how much you split? That's for set. Hey. hey. We'll let accounting figure that <laughs> yeah. out. We're just, we're the idea people. We're about mathematical ideas. There's, yeah, but there should just be Sharing like, the cake. they should have like a, a fucking business class at community college where 90% of the semester is spent on like teaching you how to tent your fingers. <laughs> and that's like. Power and, postures. Yeah, now we doing business. Okay. Business Lesson 101. Number one, spelling the word business. <laughs> You may think that it's spelled B-I-D-N-E-S-S. -S. That's incorrect. Even though it's pronounced that way properly. It's because it's a French word. And number one rule of business, always use French words. And interject as many French words as possible into your business. Forte. Entrepreneur. Forte again. You know? Oh. Beret. I say beret all the time. I don't know what the fuck that means. Allow me to beret your acquaintance. <laughs> See how good that sounds? It's wrong, but it sounds good. <laughs> Welcome to community college. Uh, the beret to your future. <laughs> if y'all take a look over here, I got a baguette uh, y'all might want to look at. Mm -hmm. it, it feels good. Let me get mm -hmm. some brie. Exactly. Allow me to introduce you to my fiance. <laughs> <laughs> you would say getting, that at the beginning of a meeting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah everyone's your with, fiance. With the, with the Japanese. Forte. Entrepreneur. Forte. <laughs> au contraire. Menage au contraire. Is now, great. au contraire. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was laughing about a guy being like. <laughs> You see, I prefer my bitch to be uh, osexual. <laughs> osexual is so fucking good. Uh, see, well, what really gets me is when a bitch is uh, osexual. <laughs> you had an incredible uh, stoned thread yesterday. <laughs> oh, Andre's. Andre's Steakhouse. 
It's like a steakhouse. Like it's like so the setup is like it's the Outback Steakhouse guys are like we had huge success with the Outback Steakhouse without ever ever having gone to Australia. What are we gonna do now? And they're like, well. I don't know. Australia is like a pretty good theme. Like, what what can a lot of people relate to that we have no experience with whatsoever? One guy's like, black people. What if we do a black people themed steakhouse? And they're like, yeah, let's do like a middle aged black guy themed steakhouse called Andre Steakhouse. Yep. You can only get the steaks well done. Yeah. You know, uh, the doors and the bath deck, because that's the key. Any kind of themed restaurant, you got to figure out the bathrooms immediately. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, what's your fun name? Yes. For, so instead of men and women, it's it's uh, females and fellas. Yeah. <laughs> the appetizer menu, what's it, that called? It's called foreplay. <laughs> that's right. And foreplay. How, about, how about their wine? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. They're, they only have one type of wine, the house wine. It's called your most expensive wine. <laughs> it's $18. A bottle. And then the only other beverage is Heineken. <laughs> How do you order this one? This one? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So they don't have waiters. You have to order through a Bluetooth headset. <laughs> Hell and yeah. A guy uh, across the restaurant will lower his sunglasses at you to let you know that your order is <laughs> <laughs> and then and then once you finally get your food the waiter brings it up and then he stands at the table next to you the entire time you're eating and he says so you got to give respect to get respect <laughs> you can't give, you can't get respect if you're not giving respect but you have to have respect first and that starts with self respect so if you don't self respect yourself you know how are you going to if you don't give yourself the respect first how are you going to give the respect to other people and then once you've given respect to them, they give it back to you. That's called the economy of respect. <laughs> yes, I also teach at the community college. Business 101. The zero in 101 is a dollar sign. <laughs> Fuck, man. I love Andre Steakhouse, dude. <laughs> Guys All the women, women characters, boys. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's what I want to see. A nice like smooth boy years. is a woman. And yeah. they went to real sex scenes. <laughs> So they you did. fucked the boy right. on no, stage. No, but th- back when they were doing no. boys, the sex scenes were off stage. No, no, no. I would love to but see... But they were real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to see an off-Broadway production of Bad Wives 2 with an all-boy cast. I love it. And that might be a play I could enjoy. Okay. Mm-hmm. What's Bad Wives 2? It's a pornography I saw 15 <laughs> years ago. It's got Raylene in it. <laughs> you want to see chi- male children fuck each other. Well, they would be women. Do you I mean, remember I'm sorry. That yeah, that's yeah. what makes it acting. <laughs> if you can't act like your asshole is a vagina, then you can't act. It's called the Meisner method. Wow. So, Adam, how many Oscars have you yeah. won then? Because you uh, must be I'm, the world's most accomplished actor. I'm going to take Meisner. I'll probably get like three or four ships. <laughs> I think. I think three, four, five. But yeah, I, I definitely can uh, go back. Yeah, into I've that. actually been studying the Meisner method at the the Wilmer Valderrama studio. <laughs> 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 See, you, you misunderstand addiction and perseverance. <laughs> and that's why you will never be a basketball camp, summer camp coach like I will. Because I understand perseverance. I can spell it. And every single letter of the word perseverance means something relating to the basketball that's right. camp. Listen, P- pussy. As P- we know. P. St- the, for perseverance. Let's go through it, guys. P- pussy. Everybody, let's come here. Pussy. Let's take a Penis. knee. Everybody, come take a knee. I'm yeah. okay. Yeah, all right, skip. All right, everybody, give me the top of the key. We're gonna take a knee, real <laughs> quick, right, and we're gonna work through perseverance. P. Pussy. That stands for perseverance. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. What is perseverance? Yes, it can. Yes, yes you can. can. First of all, do that. listen to the fuck coach. up while the coach is speaking. Listen Don't make me blow the whistle right, directly in your ear again. You're, you're, I will do that. I have deafened nine <laughs> camp campers. <laughs> Nick throws I have, chairs. They call me. They call me nine deaf Johnny. He's a because I've deafened. He's a permanently deafened style. students of this basketball camp with my whistle All right, continue for your, speaking out of turn <laughs> while, while I have dictated that we are taking a knee at the top of the key. Okay, okay. Perseverance, P, stands for perseverance. E. I know what you're going to say. You can't spell perseverance without P in there, right? Yeah. Where You can't define a word with the word. Yes, you can. How? Through perseverance. Mm. All right. You persevere, you keep doing All it. All right, what's E? So, P. P stands for perseverance. What's perseverance stand for? Let's work through it. The P. <laughs> oh, the P. It okay, so that one is... also stands for perseverance. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So you're just doing no some triple perseverance. We'll take questions at the end. Okay. Oh, thank you, spelling. coach. So it's perseverance, perseverance, wow, perseverance. Like it's like when you look Inception. into a mirror and there's a mirror behind you, and it's and it goes on forever. Oh, fuck. Do you ask questions then? No, you shut the fuck up. You pretend you're in a cool tunnel from the Matrix. No, <laughs> what I do. You get high in your grandma's bathroom where she yes. has that two mirror set up. 
and you fucking you stay in there. You eat a lot you of think pizza. about why you didn't finish community college. You know mm-hmm. what and, I do is you babysit I just kiss your my grandmother in the for twenty dollars a night because your parents know you won't get a real job. Mm-hmm. So they <laughs> made up grandparents' babysit. That's perseverance. Okay, yeah, that's you. what the P stands yep. for. Okay, even continue. after she begged for you to leave yeah. and stop taking your Vicodin, you persevered and you fucking did the job. E stands for energy. You got to have energy mm. if you want to persevere. How do you do that? You drink Red Bulls before every E-R. game. You gotta stay. You gotta no. Red Bulls is R. R no. Per, P, we haven't gotten to the R. We're talking e, about energy. Energy R. Red Bull. No, we're going through the whole word. Per First of all, you're not. You're S. only an assistant coach, <laughs> and only because that's the only title we <laughs> have for counselor here. Coach? You're in charge of handing out the brownies in the cafeteria, Stavros. Mm-hmm. He's a lunch lady. As part of the I'm not a lunch basketball lady. camp. Sounds like you're a lunch. I'm lady. not a lunch lady. I got brought this. Do lunch ladies who have cool hair nets? I don't think so. Let's continue. Continue. R. Red Bull. S. R stands for retarded kids. We allow retarded (laughs) kids in the basketball camp. (laughs) You you may have a retarded cousin or retarded brother and say, I wish he could participate in basketball camp. Mm -hmm. I want everyone to take a look at the child in the wheelchair. Mm-hmm. You know, he can say, he can persevere and say, I'm not retarded. Mm-hmm. But we, we know what those legs You mean. should go to murder ball camp. You should go to murder ball camp. Unfortunately, they don't have that. That's only for pissed off CrossFit <laughs> disabled adults. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be. It's only for guys faking You got to be a injuries. real pissed off wheelchair guy to get into murder ball. Mm-hmm. Can you be a guy that can use your legs and do murder ball? Or yeah. they kick you out? Mm-hmm. If, well, if, they don't if kick the, you out. There's one guy. Who, mad at you? There's one guy, but the top the of his body doesn't work. So he's just oh, a pair of legs with legs. a limp top. He's all legs. Oh, shit. He yeah. shoots with his legs. Limp top. Yeah. That's, uh, that's top what happens Terry. when Adam gets head. Perseverance. S. From a woman. Cause he's stands for sex. Cause he's gay. Guys, stop having sex with girls from the girls camp. It's bad for basketball. In the, in the bathroom. Bad for mm-hmm. the knees. You keep coming on the floor. And the old black guy that's been working here for 40 years yells at me because he's got to clean it up. Mm. All right? And you're I'm scared just a of basketball him? coach. I shouldn't have to deal with janitors. Are you scared of the janitor? Of course. <laughs> I confused him for Wilt Chamberlain the first day. Because he was when so I tall? Was, when I was surveying the venue, I yeah. said, oh my God, Mr. Chamberlain, it's so nice to meet you. Yeah, and he's like... He was insulted by that. Mm-hmm. I mean, he Moving is 5'11". <laughs> he's a 5'3". man. <laughs> uh, he's actually... He, he's, I found out later... A uh, uh, Pacific Islander. Yeah, no, he's Filipino. <laughs> he's not. He's not. He's a different kind of black. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, His name is mm-hmm. Sal Marcos, but he's he, he's, he's a, Spanish. He's name, Hawaiian but he's, black, but right. he's Asian. Filipinos are black Hawaiians, right? Filipinos have Spanish names, but they're Asian. But they're, Asian. they're the party Asians. Uh, perseverance. The okay. S E. Actually, I changed my mind. The S and the E stands for Cedric the Entertainer. <laughs> the, the other man I thought the janitor was after he told me that he was not Will Chamberlain. <laughs> okay, so Cedric the Entertainer. S- R. <laughs> retarded again. No. No? What per- second R? Perseverance or it's perse- perseverance, right? I think there's another Persevere. R. Persevere. 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 All right, so P it E R really S. The S stands for <laughs> spelling is unnecessary. <laughs> and necessary. And spelling necessary. is unnecessary. Spelling is unnecessary. <laughs> it also stands for Cedric the Entertainer. <laughs> S- okay, so R again, I think, and then a V. Right. R stands for Persevere. Real time with Bill Maher. Okay. It's a great show, guys. You should watch it. It's for in-your-face <laughs> Democrats like me, the coach of basketball, basketball. camp. Yep. Come yep. town basketball camp, where everyone is welcome, especially retarded kids, <laughs> who are actually better than us. <laughs> They're better than you guys. You may think, look, you may look at me and you say, that guy's the teacher. He can teach. If I'm going to learn anything in here, it's going to be from the coach. Well, mm. I want you all to take a look at the retarded kids in the class, mm-hmm. because they're the real teachers. <laughs> You think they're better than thick women? They're <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do they what's is there retarded boy magic? Yeah. That's my next BuzzFeed article. I thought that thick are, women are, are retarded just kids are better than better. thick women. <laughs> By, by Dana Schwartz. <laughs> They're calling this the article that is going to heal America. <laughs> Our retarded After kids the better violence than thick in women. <laughs> <laughs> After the riots in Charlottesville, there's one article that's healing the nation. <laughs> Our retarded kids better than thick women. Uh, big ass all right, titties. back to basketball camp. We Whoa. gotta finish. finish I don't know. I'm kind of 
now that I started I'm it. I'm kind of in here. I kind of like being basketball coach. Here? Yeah. Me... Guys, we got more letters to go. Sorry, okay. Take a Continue. fucking knee. I'm, hard, I'm on my knee. God damn coach, it. Coach, you talked about thick women. What do you want me to do? I man? didn't bring that up. <laughs> Put your phone away. Let's do basketball. <laughs> one of your, one of your, one of the, oh, ca- damn. one of the, cam- one of the campers. I'm in, dude. That's a lot of air. Brush. Camper Adam. I don't yeah, care. I will fucking deafen you with this whistle. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Coach. Ooh, Maron. God, yeah, I'm in on London Andrews. Dude. Coach, you coach, tried to burn me, but I'm now sorry, I'm sorry, coach. I'm, I'm really enjoying my time here at Auschwitz basketball camp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ooh, God, the, damn. the V stands for. I mean, come on. Victory. That's the goal in basketball. Yo, you want to fuck that other lady? What's her face? Uh, Randolyn? Randolyn? But you don't want to fuck London Andrews? She's, I think she's London hot, Andrews dude. is hotter. She's hot as shit. Maybe I'm confusing um, London Andrews with somebody else. Um, maybe, because I, I think maybe. I know who you're talking maybe about. Maybe I mean, the look mom at these balloon titties. Gilbert, uh, that's a different person. Then. Bro, she is hot as Unless shit. Unless she lost like four, 400 pounds. <laughs> so you think so she's 5,000, so she she's 26,000? Oh my God. Oh, f- I'm, I'm legitimately Get off erect. your goddamn phone. Yeah, get well, off your you, phone. No phones in basketball camp. That's what the V stands for. <laughs> let's, forget the fuck let's off Let's forget phone. the phone. Forget about forget it. Forget about the phone. <laughs> forget about <laughs> Okay, so that's the V. A-N-C-E? Right. E. Stands for the next E stands for energy. It's time for another Red Bull. Guess okay. what? We just finished the first quarter. This is a long ass word. Yeah, yeah. Persevere. Well, you got persevere. You got to go. So the second is it. the second R Red Bull. Then you got to persevere through this bit. Is there another R? In yeah, perseverance. No, perseverance. Yeah. You know what it stands for? Another Red Bull. That's what E <laughs> st- E R stands another for. Another R Red Bull. Persevere. V E R. A, okay, A. A N C E, I think. Bring it home. Oh, uh, okay. It's not E N C E. I can't spell. Ends. Perseverance. No, you're right. It's E, I think. Yeah. Perseverance. Okay. Uh, <laughs> how many letters yeah. is this word? It's the longest word ever. Oh, uh, and then and then A N C E stands for also not Cedric the Entertainer. <laughs> oh wow, that when actually I, yeah. When I made the mistake of confusing one of the black children's parents for <laughs> Cedric the Entertainer. <laughs> And that's perseverance, guys. Wow, Daddy, because they called that woman a slut. Yeah, yeah. They were like, "She's a slut, and we're was glad she she's dead." Do, was she doing? Was she even a slot though? She was protesting. <laughs> but that's not slutty. a slut. Yeah, there well, was. She was a woman a with a slut. pussy. I was she saying, was a woman. Yeah, she, she was a woman a with a pussy, and it might have been a little open. Listen, I was saying that's what if just we a find theory. out that Mr. James Fields. Uh, what if? What if we find out that he was trying to run over the statue? <laughs> Jesus you know? Christ, man! <laughs> what wouldn't if? That, wouldn't that's that, good, that's wouldn't a that be a lesson for everybody? Like fucking, you know, pa- like packed as packed as the fucking yeah, train yeah. can get, and like two guys over for me. There's this like this one dude standing there, and he just looks deranged, and he's like, "I'm about to pull this knife out, and start slashing, <laughs> motherfuckers! You keep pushing on me like that, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna fucking cut one of these niggas up." I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Don't push me. <laughs> and no one is reacting because, like, you just can't. Yeah, there's no, up. there's no good yeah, yeah, thing. I'm just like, all right, I guess this guy's just gonna fucking. Yeah, one of us is dying. <laughs> <laughs> you just cross your fingers. You're not the first yeah, one yeah, to get yeah. slashed. Oh, uh, holy shit! That was so funny. Yeah, my, I, I was trying not to laugh because I, I didn't want to be the guy to get stabbed. Of course. <laughs> Metamorphosis. is <laughs> Metamorphosis. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he looks like he's in Lawrence John Wick Fisher. too. He looks like such shit now. He looks yeah. so fucking bad. I mean, I guess he just got old. Do you ever Is see that porn with his daughter, daughter that does porn? Yeah, Bro, yeah, yeah. Hey, she looks wait. exactly like Lawrence yes. Fishburne. Have you seen it? Together? Montana Fishburne. Yeah, it, Lawrence Fishburne's daughter does porn. Does porn. And she, she looks like him. Exactly. She, she, no, she's, she's like, what if I titties? told you that this yeah. pussy is open for business? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. she just like leans over. You think that's pussy you're fucking right now? <laughs> yeah. And the guy sees the, the scarring <laughs> from the stitches. Yeah. He's like, no! <laughs> not again! Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ask remember Jeeves? Hotbot? Lycos? Mm. I remember Lycos. Damn. Yeah. Who would have thought Google would have won? I refused to use Google. Well, the back first in the time day. I saw Google with the different colored letters, I was like, oh, this is a baby. It's like a little baby. So, so you, you loved, loved it. Did you a video where they're asking Beetlejuice questions on like Stern? On Stern? Yeah. They're no. like, what color is a carrot? And he's like, oh, shit. Carrot? Shit. <laughs> mm. I, don't know. I don't know about no carrots. <laughs> <laughs> 
Laughing at stupid people like who just have disabilities. Straight up. <laughs> he's hard, he's trying so hard to yeah, come up yeah. with what color <laughs> carrot is yeah. in that scenario. Uh, carrot? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know about no carrots. <laughs> Dom had a tour of comics one time. He Cold. like put together. Well, he goes. I told Andy Klein, I'm like, yeah, Tom's got his own uh, tour now with comics. It's him, Brett the Irish comic, Cat Malone, and uh, I think I can't remember who else was on it. And fucking. Uh, Andy Klein goes, what's it called? The shitty comics? <laughs> <laughs> it was even better, though. It was yeah, called... The Heathens the of Comedy. The Heathens of oh, Comedy. They're bad. The yeah, fucking that's Heathens, bad. dude. And the logo was a burning cross. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was. Oh, you got that's MySpace. That's like a KKK. Comic? I know. Tom yeah. just didn't know. <laughs> he thought, it, he thought it meant like set Jesus on fire. Yeah. Oh yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. Uh, oh yeah. Tom, so big I, Tommy. No, the the Hamilton Arts Collective had 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 the Heathens of Comedy there. It was hosted by Lucy Fur, which was just a <laughs> videotape of Brett the Irish comic wearing sunglasses in front of a fireplace. <laughs> And during, Hosted by a video, yeah. Dude, Tom, Tom, during Tom's the job yeah. that's only about energy and getting the fucking audience involved. <laughs> Tom did a fucking like hour, and during his set, after every setup, Tony Grasick starts going, uh, "Tom Myers, Tom Myers." So before he gets to the punchline, everyone's chanting his name, and then he says it, and then the response is, "Yeah," you know, he, like Peter's out. So he's not he's like bombing to chance. <laughs> <laughs> the king the uh, once and future king oh yeah. god no that show was bizarre like i mean he he ate it and he ran off stage crying and oh no they, uh, cat Mala, don't pretend like you give a shit dude it's you're sad fa- when they this cry. fake performative empathy you have dude, for let people me that you signal dude for for people that you mock have you ever met tom of Adam, course you, i met tom you've had the least I've had the least, uh, definitely the least. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when I met him, I was already a fan. Yeah, and his yeah, reputation yeah. preceded him. Of well, course. so he was, he was crying. But then you watch him, like, almost like in a second in his head, as the tears are drying on his face, go no. It's society that's wrong. You know? <laughs> and, then he, and then it's like, I killed. Tom you know? is Hillary Clinton. Yeah, he immediately, basically, yeah, it's the same personality oh type. God. They that's- also have the same body and haircut. <laughs> <laughs> also, the same taste in sunglasses. <laughs> it's weird. The more I think about the Tom, Tom Myers, Myers and Hillary, Hillary Clinton, Clinton uh, <laughs> it's true. It's probably from, it's from her pussy, which he ate. Hey, oh, that's no, how you become Hillary never Clinton. Got She's you. like a werewolf. If you eat her pussy, you turn yeah, into her. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Yeah. That's, I, I, I hear she's hiring interns. <laughs> <laughs> the best part of that joke is the adjusting the belt. He says, oh, yeah. <laughs> he says she's probably... Probably gonna hire some interns yeah, right. and adjust the bill. Uh, yeah, oh. I'm here. Yeah, like a like a 50 year old plumber <laughs> showing up to eat some pussy. <laughs> so, Gotta post, adjust the bill. Postmenopausal, <laughs> cobwebbed pussy. <laughs> the ends switch to D's. The D's switch to ends. Try it. Pinch your nose and then say it. Um, don't don't <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Dude, it's so easy. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, if you put the effort on. <laughs> yeah. If you're is. looking for an excuse <laughs> when you're having when you're having telephone bit hour and you continue to make prank calls as a 30 year old man, <laughs> with, except this time, unlike in middle school, your friends aren't there. <laughs> it's just you by yourself. You just for your own personal amusement. <laughs> right, okay, uh, no I'm audience. Making, right. When I'm not even re- bothering to record the calls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just that is incredible. Harassing for the love of the game, dude. Yeah, yeah, dude. It's like practice. Marlo on the corner, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh god. Harry Dean Stanton. Yeah, dude. come on, Virginia. Please suck my dick. <laughs> I won't tell anyone. Just kidding. I'm gonna immediately tell everyone at school. <laughs> <laughs> Only the good drink yeah. come. There we yeah. go. But I, I got my dick sucked by a teen. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I'm 34 years old. <laughs> when I wrote this song. <laughs> uh, to make a show without permission and pay for the ads on the bus 
and it's me doing the bow tie thing, you mm-hmm. know, like young, like Sheldon. young Sheldon. But then the name of the show is the guy that molested Sheldon. <laughs> 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 Two states on NBC. <laughs> the guy oh, that molested funny. Sheldon following young Sheldon. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all about my exploits, <laughs> the trials and tribulations of being the man that sexually gratified himself inside of young Sheldon's ass. <laughs> Yeah, they're like, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm like, fuck, yeah, you got to be a fucking extreme oh, loser, loser. Yeah. 22 year old hooking up with like raver, you know, 15 year olds. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. What a horrible thing. <laughs> <laughs> and what kiss stands for what again it's kikes and shitty spandex congratulations that's my future as being a middle aged guy that's like look I didn't mean to say the n word there but and I have this uh, that accent for whatever reason I just you know I saw my I opportunity, saw the opportunity. I, I, just, I said bad Babe, babe, I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna say the end. <laughs> you know, I know you're, you're usually in a business deal. The worst thing you could possibly do is say the end. <laughs> I saw, I saw a laser, laser guided opportunity to mm-hmm. say the end with there in a clever way. Yep. A way that look, this is sales in a business this deal. Is this, is, this is a sales. Shales. Oppo- shales. This is sales. You're working in a sales opportunity. <laughs> sales. <laughs> okay. I do B two B sales. This stands for. <laughs> Blacks to blacks. <laughs> <laughs> I did it again. Oh, fuck. Oh, what if it was BNB? That would be fucking... Oh, I tell you. Airbnb. You know what Airbnb stands for? No, please. Don't leave the meeting. No, we'll get down to it. Yeah, 15 pilots for $25 a quarter. Look, I've been doing these sales my entire life, and I tell you, if you got a laser-guided opportunity to... <laughs> To drop a couple of hoo-ha slurs in there, <laughs> you fucking take them. I had two clients in. We were meeting at Panera the other day. And I, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to work on this deal. I told them, look, I'm one of the top salesmen at this company. You know, we're about to go out of business. I don't know why anyone's hiring a commercial printing company. <laughs> the stage of the game, why we even have print the salesmen for these things. But I tell you, I'm I'm 52 years old. I've been divorced for eight months, and I have been drinking again <laughs> and you know I'm sitting there with the clients and then I realize that I haven't gone to sleep for three and a half days there's no clients there I'm in Panera Bread screaming spick at the top of my lungs <laughs> at the at the at the self order machine they replace the employees with iPads and I'm still being anti-Hispanic to them even though they're not people anymore I'm saying racist stuff to the iPads and you know, I close the deal <laughs> like I always do. I'm the killer. And I said, take that, Deborah, you fucking whore. You think I can't sell commercial printers, you fucking slut? You gonna go fuck? You gonna go fuck your own brother? <laughs> you gonna divorce me to go have sex with your own fucking brother? You fucking bitch. And by that point, the police are there. <laughs> so you know I'm doing all right. <laughs> How you boys doing? in blue. Oh fuck, dude! You guys are fun. Care? I got Eddie. That's shout great, out to middle aged men that are just <laughs> that unraveling, barely fucking hanging <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I worked at the car dealership, there was a guy Kevin Gillespie. Who would mm-hmm. fight, like insist on using the NATO alphabet on the phone with hell, co- potential hell, customers, yeah. which was is the most embarrassing shit That's in the world. Awesome. I, th- I think I told this g- about this guy already on the podcast. I don't know. Be like, oh yes, sir. I hear him one time. He goes, yeah, and he would stay up all night drinking and, and reading model train forums, oh, which God. he told Salute. somebody else. Salute. And he goes, uh, yeah, he picks up the phone one time and he's like, yes, sir, that's uh, Kevin Gillespie. That's Golf India, Lima Lima, Echo, you know, and like he's spelling out the fucking shit. And then I hear him go, "Uh, me personally? No, I was not in the military, but one of my good friends was. (laughs) (laughs) I was at CeCe's Pizza one time. And there was a fucking middle-aged dad, shitty, like, gray mustache, you know. Uh, And he was there with his, like... You know, weekend son, you know, obviously <laughs> yeah. didn't have full custody of. 
and oh yeah like, cc's is a number one locay yeah for a fucking divorced father like, trying to splurge sports on fox hat on shitty baseball cap and he's sitting there, yeah the five dollar buffet yeah. entry to take your oh, son yeah. to and With he's just like, iceberg lettuce yeah and i was like just eavesdropping and he's like giving and his pizza. like you know his kid advice and the kid's just like blank faced <sighs> You know, some toe-headed, you know, moron. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's just like, and what I would do is I would open up a restaurant, and you call it something like Mom's Home Cooking, right? And you just serve home-cooked meals. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, like telling his son his dream is to open a shitty restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> we got burned peas. <laughs> so that, sad. That's what people really want is a fucking. It's like you know what? Because that's what people want is a home cooked meal. But that's just no. Every, it isn't. Yeah. That's, that's why, why they go leaving. out to a restaurant. But also, that's like a hundred restaurants. Is yeah, I know. It's they, they just it's there's barrel. nothing, and this is supposed to be is like you know fucking. That's what I'm gonna do, son, boy. If I had my druthers... Which I never will. Mm, we used to drive big sedans and <laughs> sell women, and now they're selling <laughs> drugs, and they don't have any sedans at all. <laughs> <laughs> they used to appreciate sedans. <laughs> a large-ass sedan <laughs> that you could beat a woman in. <laughs> Imagine a sedan so big you could... Wind all the way back and put your hip into a punch. <laughs> they don't make sedans like that anymore. All my clothes used to be made out of feathers. <laughs> <laughs> my nickname was F Word. Now they got weird names like tuna fish. <laughs> Based God, what is that? I don't even know what that means. Do you want to know how my dick got this small? Because somebody played a joke on me with a pair of scissors. And it was me. Surprise. I cut my own dick down. Not off, just down. Because what's the craziest gender? Small dick. <laughs> And that's my gender because I'm the Joker. <laughs> that's cuckoo. That is cuckoo. To yeah. your own that dick. is fucking uh, twisted. 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 Cuckoo over Cocoa Puffs <laughs> and cutting my own dick down. <laughs> Yeah. Woo! It's like man, a, these jokers, a dr- man. A dr- <laughs> man, these jokers, these, <laughs> these, these new jokers, man, jokers. is crazy, man. <laughs> Something weird going on with Marlon, Mar- Martin, Br- what's his name, Marlon Brando's mouth in The Godfather? <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. Martin Brando. Martin Brando did it. Martin. Martin. So you stepped on your own yeah. shit. Martin. Damn, Gina. Uh, <laughs> yes. Damn, Tommy, yes. Thank Gina. God, something came of it. <laughs> yeah, Martin, Martin Brando. <laughs> <laughs> you get to step it, Tommy. <laughs> you come for me. Yeah, yeah. You come for me on this. Damn, Tommy. <laughs> the day of, uh, I don't know, the anniversary of Biggie Small's death. <laughs> No the big much Buford. more mu- the big first of all what the what fuck a name, name. yeah like, Buford yeah the big Buford it's like a fucking like a slow large black boy yeah, yeah. big Buford my, my name is Buford Buell I'm a I'm a I'm a lineman at the elementary school I'm a defensive lineman on the varsity elementary school team I, I was in the second grade I'm 23 years old. <laughs> Seven foot eight. <laughs> the big Buford. Nine hundred and twenty-three pounds. <laughs> my name. My name is Buford Buell, and I'm from Racism, South Carolina. <laughs> I was born and raised here, right here in Racism, South Carolina. I go to Racism Elementary School. <laughs> <laughs> go yeah. lynches that you can throw at us. Subway sandwiches. Kill all the Jews. <laughs> They're like this. Mark, this isn't going to play well, <laughs> yeah. especially after the subway. <laughs> Jared thing. What? Did something happen? Some new guy? <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Who's Subway Jared? <laughs> uh, Mark, don't worry about it. <laughs> no, I want to know. He was this guy that worked here who 
got caught doing what we all do. <laughs> Didn't know um, how to ke- cover his tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> started cut, getting sloppy. Yeah. Started cutting corners. He, he got uh, yeah right. <laughs> Let's just say he uh, enjoyed the subway lifestyle a little too publicly. <laughs> <laughs> he brought the corporate culture to his personal life <laughs> caused a couple of issues down with those boys at the FBI <laughs> it's company policy to fuck kids it's like it's like you know in Serpico when he doesn't take the bribe it's like yeah. if you don't fuck a kid they're like what's wrong what's the matter you not cool yeah, I'm like, yeah. It's, hey, hey everybody it's uh, bring someone's daughter to work day <laughs> You know, just know like knows a lot about spark plugs. You yeah, know, and, like, computer parts. Their arms are long as shit, but their elbows and their wrists are really close together. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Like <laughs> one of those shitty body guys. Yeah, and then his friend, who is the more gregarious of the two, who is sort of this like dumpy loser Kenny Powers type. Yes, with this, who would only wear wrestling shirts. And he had a fucking disgusting, sloppy body and yes. a little black goatee or whatever. <laughs> yes, brother. And so my friend was on like good terms with the management of the bar. You know, the manager was like this Indian guy that was like cool. So they were allowed to reach over the bar to use the soda gun. And so my that's friend, cool. My friend Jordan's <laughs> yeah, like that's, just that's my friend real. Jordan's just getting himself some water, and the guy with the goatee comes up and he's like, uh, he's like, man, why don't you get soda? <laughs> he's like, I just wanted water. And he was like, yeah, but you can get soda. And he's like, yeah, I know, but I just wanted a water. And he's like, man, I haven't had a drop of water in five years. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, Imagine how thirsty that motherfucker is and he doesn't even realize it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been a better story to tell if I had brought it up organically like I had. No, 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 day. no. There's more to that story. Where, where he's saying you'd go hang out at his fucking... Apartment. Oh, I never hung out at his apartment. Nerd. I just know they lived down Route One on at like the Spindly guy's mom's place. <laughs> yes, yes. And yes. she was just like a fucking alcoholic <laughs> that lived on the couch. And then the two of them like split his bedroom. <laughs> and they were like twenty eight years old. <laughs> you know, twenty eight, twenty nine. <laughs> and he was just fucking. He was also a pathological liar, right? Yeah. Well, all those guys are. I mean, you know, like you're not a guy that hangs out at karaoke and lives with someone else's mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Without being a liar and telling. He was like, yeah, dude. He's exploits. like, yeah. I went to fucking Westminster College last week, <laughs> and I started hanging out with these girls. Oh and yeah. Stayed in their the girls' dorm the whole weekend. <gasps> Fucked every girl in that <laughs> dorm, dude. <laughs> Sixty girls. <laughs> yeah. Every single one of them. Every girl in that fucking sorority. Three days, yeah. 60 girls, right. one cock. <laughs> this, like, this fat juggalo piece of shit <laughs> that every girl is like, yes. <laughs> They're like, who's that really drunk guy? <laughs> Ooh, who's that guy? Who's that guy over there? <laughs> he's fucking. He looks like he's stuck in 1997. That's the best kind of white trash. Is not doesn't know it's not 1997. Yeah. Trash. So we're doing a <clears throat> hot start on this one. We're already balls deep in today's biggest news item. That's right. Tom Petty. R.I.P. R.I.P. And I'm raw. Tom Petty, you know, it's like raw dog. Today was a yeah. today was a shit day. There's the shooting in Vegas, and you probably think that we're going to talk about that. And I will make a couple of jokes, but <laughs> once a year, I saw him ten smaller, years ago, room. and it was fucking hilarious. Yeah, yeah. And then he opened the show I did at like oh, Moon fuck. Tower a couple years ago, and it was like horrific. <laughs> And he's like, what is it? What do we got? A chink here? What are you, a fucking chink? <laughs> and the woman's like, stop. You know? Wait, what were like, you what telling me this? that story where he walked someone and then he, he walked like, a Chinese lady this at, is so at, funny. A, at a different show? <laughs> this is the a whole great time story. he's haranguing her. He's like, what are you, Mandarin, Cantonese, Mandarin? You know, he's like making fun of her. And he's like, I can't tell if, you, if you're asleep or just Asian. You know, he's like yeah. you're fucking with her. And yeah, eventually so she like, the pit bull. she storms out and her fucking boyfriend has to like l- look quietly leaves Slayton's saying nothing during this like dramatic exit right. that destroys the energy in yeah, the room yeah. 
So like 15 seconds where they're like flipping him off and he's just, you know, like kind of shrugging his shoulders and then they leave and he picks up her chair and he sniffs the seat and he's like, <clears throat> yeah, this can't these. <laughs> <laughs> and her, I fucking just laughed. <laughs> She's I love just it. a nice old black lady having a conversation mm. with a family. Mm. Mm. And I just laughed Somebody at Somebody done sucked that boy's dick. Oh, good Lord. Somebody that boy done was, sucked mm, that mm. boy dick. That boy went mm. missing. Somebody done suck his dick right off. <laughs> you know, as soon as they put his name in the paper, that somebody done sucked that boy dick off. Mm. That boy only five years old, getting his dick sucked off by some some stranger. It's Speaking a, of, it's a trifling world we living in. By the way, I uh, I had multiple football teammates in high school tell me that old ladies fucked them. Old black ladies fucked them. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, to teach them how to fuck. No, as, no like one hundred percent as nine year old. Absolutely true. It is true. I don't. They I, I don't that? think he was kidding, dude. The kid yeah. had a fucking look of horror in his eyes. Yeah. The, I was kind of like, laughing. I thought molested? he was doing a bit because everyone was talking about the first time they fucked. Mm -hmm. And uh, and one kid like had a fucking thousand uh, thousand mile. What is it? Hundred miles. Thousand thousand miles <laughs> Did you just say thousand island stare? You <laughs> no, fat fuck. Thousand mile. Yeah. You beat you shit. fucking. I don't fuck. fucking. First of all, oh you said like thousand. God. Are you? I don't just, even fucking like that. You doesn't just, matter. That is the I fattest thing you've ever done. Thousand island. You cock. No. You my, just no, did mile. it again. No. Now you I just did it, did it again. I said thousand island. I did not say. You said run the tape back. You said thousand island stare. I literally did say that. This kid's got a thousand island stare in his eyes. Guys. <laughs> this poor baby. This boy. Wait, what, it was like, what is the boy? It was like the Battle of Numb Pong. Thousand miles stare. Thousand mile. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm Kippur. I didn't, I didn't fast. No. Yeah, when Adam does, it's more like bomb Kippur. You know <laughs> oh, there you go. There we go, go nice, boys. Dude. You had a terrible set of funny moms. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, that's why we stopped recording them is because... I used to work with a guy. No, I was, I was working Pizza? at a grocery store. Grocery store. I, I had a, I worked with a guy that had a hole cut in the inside of his pocket so he could jack off his dick Very while nice. women were in line. <laughs> at the grocery store. At, Damn. at a pizza restaurant. Oh, at a pizza restaurant. <laughs> yeah, was... No, that's, that's not. I think that's more put. If he lives, he fucks your wife, he fucks your son. I don't have a wife. You, I don't have a son. hypothetical you do. So you have to stop him from fucking your I wife. I guess then what I do is I put poison in my son's ass. <laughs> <laughs> and then I say, do your worst. Perfect answer. <laughs> yeah. That's said, uh, uh, please, fuck my son, <laughs> said the spider to the fly. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's really good. <laughs> Does Donald? That's good. That's dude. pretty good. That's eh? more meat wad than. Uh, I, I'm gay. I'm, I'm gay. gay. I'm gay. Wild. I'm gay. I go to the bathroom. Oh, my God. I, I like to take my... Adam, you dumbass can't do meat round. I, I, I like to take I my dick around. No, like, bitch. I lick I my adore. dick around. Your meat round sucks dick. Into my ass and then I come in my own ass. <laughs> <laughs> it feels good. <laughs> I don't know what a bitch can be a dick. No, I bitch. Can't you yeah. can't. That's embarrassing. I could do Carl. That's the only one. <laughs> no, do Carl, bitch. Do, do it, then. No, no, go ahead. Do it. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that's no, good. No, no, that's no. really yeah. good. I love watching Bitch. you blow it. Tell dude. me something to say. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, everyone. I got to interrupt this this, <clears throat> this joke that's happening. <laughs> with... <laughs> You're such a weeaboo. I love to fu get fucked. What's weeaboo? I love getting fucked. It's like a an American. You fuck my pussy. I love to get fucked. I like to get <laughs> fucked by black guy. <laughs> yeah, that was it. When a black guy. Who's that character? Uh, the what? Jewish girl. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My name is. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's Madison Square Garden and That's Chelsea right. Pierce's Jewish friend Hoyt Skirmerhorn. <laughs> yeah, my name's Hoyt Skirmerhorn. I love to get fucked by black ducks. I black love ducks. Black guys have the biggest ducks. I love black guys. Oh my god, she's fucking a black guy. Does he have a bag duck? <laughs> we were in South Williamsburg in the Hasidic neighborhood. Yeah. Nick and I just like just like at full volume being like, <laughs> I love black ducks. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm 
my god, black guys have the bag ass dags. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm rich. My dad's rich, so I fuck black guys because I have bag dags. They got bag dags. Bag dags. <laughs> yeah. There's got to be a portal porno where you just do the little thing and it's a glory hole, right? That was an electric retard cartoon where it's the guy gets the portal gun and he shoots a portal to the inside of like a boys' locker room, <laughs> and then the one out on the outside wall of the school and he's just jacking off. <laughs> Dude, Electric Retard was so funny. <laughs> was that a webcomic? It was a webcomic by this Australian guy, and it got like banned in Australia because they don't have freedom of speech. Mm. And uh, so they're hard to find. Like They're yeah. online, but like you can only find a couple the of them. The dark web. And, uh, and you know, it was like, I, I loved it because it was like horrifically obscene. Of course, and yeah. There was no like, you know, it's like I, 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 everything now has to be like, you know, but what is what is it satirizing? What's the point? How does this actually punch up? And it's like it, it doesn't. It's just a cartoon. Just about yeah, yeah, fun. yeah. About, yeah, it was always like you know two like sort of normal panels, and then the last one would be like horrifically racist <laughs> or like sexual <laughs> violence. <laughs> There's like I forget there was one where like it's just an old like Jewish couple sitting in their house. <laughs> I love and where then it's fucking going. A giant like a sixty story tall Hitler that's completely nude just fucking shoves his dick into the building <laughs> and, then, and then takes the grandma and then fucks her in half. Oh, she just Jesus ripped Christ. Her in half. And it was all drawn in MS paint. Like there was no like Effort went into it. It was Good just, God. That's great. It was just like this guy's like <laughs> fucked up head, and then the guy who made it turned out to be like a pedophile. So, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that portal thing where he's beating off to a boy's <laughs> locker room is <laughs> yeah, just what he what? wanted. He I mean, wished was possible. No, no, like no, no. You gotta, re- you gotta respect the art, dude. You gotta respect <laughs> the art. It doesn't matter. Yeah, there was like a. I remember there was like a picture of the guy that drew the shit. And it was like him sitting on a couch with this fake like beak nose thing, and his pants were completely off, so his penis and balls were exposed. <laughs> <laughs> That's his author picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was, I mean, it was really fucking funny. There was fucking one of my favorite ones is like, it's, it starts off the first panel as a kid, and he's like digging in his backyard, and he finds treasure. Mm-hmm. And then the second one is he runs in. And it's him, like, explaining to his dad. And the dad's, like, sitting in a chair reading a newspaper and, like, you know, smiling while the kid's, like, excitedly saying, like, Dad, I was digging out in the backyard and I just kept digging and digging and digging. And, like, I found uh, uh, underneath, like, all the soil there was, like, a, a, a treasure box. And I opened the box and inside it there was treasure. And then the next panel is the dad holding the kid down and jacking off on his face. <laughs> and the kid's crying. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> the brats pepper were kind pepper of like in. Pepper in, She's pepper too gay in. for seventh grade. She's too ugly, too gay. For... <laughs> no. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, fuck. Food you know, is my, my number favorite one. dinner when I was a little kid. Your was, father's uh, penis. Well. <laughs> 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 I like. I mean, it's fucking hack, but getting stoned as hell and watching Planet Earth is incredible. Yeah, that's a good other activity. shit to get stoned and watch. It's bad. What? What? Porn. This fucking looks on this TV. <laughs> yeah, this looks awesome. Porn. Yeah, I just love getting fucking stoned as shit with my boys, watching a watch couple porn. girls get fucked in the ass. Yeah, no pussy, was, no vaginal shit. That's yo. a weird part of. I ain't uh, trying to see no early, fucking female uh, early pleasure. Early adolescent. I like. So I can get us. You know, out of this bullshit podcasting gig and sell a TV show based on things like Andre's Steakhouse and yes. Rude Nigga Sundar, <laughs> and rapping Indian 12 year old. I would love a version of Steve Harvey that's trans, but they're, it's like something that's happened to them and they're incredulous about it. They're like, y'all, I can't even believe this shit, but I'm a girl now. <laughs> <laughs> I identify as my Good pronouns as she. Lord, what am I thinking? By and yeah. that's Steve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said Steve to myself, Steve. Dunn took the hormone. <laughs> Steve done chopped the dick off. <laughs> <laughs> and Could- you know what? Shouts out to all the women out there who also love a man with a little extra. You know? Actually, for me, shout out to all the women out there. Nope. Not even the ones who don't. Nope. I'm only yeah. shouting out Not the even ones, the ones that, like, who are disgusted man. by the thought. No, no. In fact, <laughs> having anti shout out to you who are disgusted. No, I think all of because them. Because you're against body positivity. Uh, so don't like Ashley Graham's pictures if you're not going to jerk me off. That's my stance. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> be a real ally. <laughs> uh, that's anyone, a good take. Anyone can like an Ashley Graham. Write that article and watch people fucking struggle to figure out how to Yeah, I'm about it. to, dude. I'm literally going to do it and see what they say. <laughs> Boom. Hey, whoa. <clears throat> Yo, show me your fucking salich. Come on, let me see your penis. Hey, come on. Hey, let me get a peek. Let me get a little fucking... Hey, let me get a little taste over here. What's that cannoli frosting taste like, pal? You yeah. know? That old, that old bag. Let me see that fucking gravy. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm kidding. You ate a five-pound burger? It was whatever their challenge burger is. I'm pretty sure it's Any, five Any uh, cum boys in Baltimore want to go to that? I think it's on Honey Go Boulevard. Cheeseburger restaurant. Get us a picture of Stav's fat well, ass. Well, I mean, you think wall. about it. It's like McDonald's has a quarter pounder, right? Yeah, I could I could eat. So that was 20 of those in I one city. I could eat 20 quarter pounders. In one 20? City. When your boy is fucking, when, when everything's clicking on all cylinders? No, <laughs> Did I on. tell you what? I, you're not my boy in the context of you putting five <laughs> pounds of fucking, you know, That's, you don't respect ground that? beef in What's it like body? being in the zone like that? Bro, me and Elders, tell me about, me and tell elders me about that. put together one of the most disgusting evenings of my life the other night. It was so bad my dick didn't work for like a, a two days afterwards. Yeah, oh, it was that. It was that. It was that. It was that. Problem. It was that. It was the food. Your penis didn't work. For yeah, I was struggling to get much. hard afterwards. Um, <clears throat> but I still got what the job done. What was the done. shit like? The penis? shit was more brutal. like uh, Dairy it Queenus. Was? That's what Stav's got between his legs. What is it? A Dairy Queenus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a vagina uh-huh. made out of ice cream. Out of, that, that's out. Now yeah. that, now we're combining but check two this of my out. favorite things. You're, it's so tight, you can turn it upside down and none of the cum comes out. Ship. <laughs> <laughs> With Xi Jinping more powerful than ever. Oh fuck! Oh damn! I'm so, sure that. Wait, is that he, now that he has two pan- swords? <laughs> 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 wait, let me finish. He's got jade throwing stars yeah, right. now. Yo, they, put, they made a pan- they, they made the panda the zoo in the fucking brain. leader of China. Yeah, thank you. Xin, go ahead. Xin, yeah. Xin. All right. China, Pan has always got to have two names. Are mm-hmm. you saying? Yeah, mm-hmm. Ling Ling, like Ling Ling, Shin Shin, yeah, Bruce yeah. Bruce. <laughs> Bruce. It's always, it's always got that double name thing going. On. I love that religion can't can't save you from horniness. Of all, like no matter what kind of like, you know, extreme, uh, 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 uh you know, adherent to whatever your bullshit religion is, right. that's the one thing that gets everybody. Uh-huh. You know, be like up. a Buddhist. Setting himself on fire in the middle of like a town square. You don't think that guy's horny? And then like, or you think he's horny? And then horny? It, shut the fuck up. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Never mind. I get it was a good bit, but continue. Sorry. No, it's ruined. <laughs> I was just trying to understand. No, you were trying to he fucking say numerous he was saying, times. I fucking. He was saying just what finish you were it, dude. Asking. I'm sorry. I apologize publicly. <laughs> You've never apologized to me ever. There was a time in my life I was too fat to comfortably wipe my ass. Really. <laughs> If they, it's just a roundabout way to remind people of the Holocaust, the, yep. the greatest tragedy that's ever happened. <laughs> I'm no, I'm serious though. It is. It was pretty bad. Real talk though. I think- <laughs> Yo, for real, sits sits backwards on a chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If I'll be honest. Real talk, though, real talk. The Holocaust was bad. Yeah, it was. I don't uh, think we should do it again. It was a pretty. It was a ker- yeah. kerfuffle. Mm-hmm. I'm fifty fifty on whether we should do it again. I forget how we guy talk about. It. He's like. Dude, can you imagine, like, if you're a girl putting a vibrator in your pussy? Imagine how good that feels. <laughs> <laughs> Big fan of the show, but Adam clearly has a problem with W-O... W-O-C. But W-O-T-C. Ends in particular. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> That's what they said. <laughs> <laughs> they, ends doesn't even make sense. Know, it, does. it doesn't make any sense. You can <laughs> slide the scale one way or the other. Yeah, uh, old Jewish men come up to me and they're like, "The force is strong with this one." Yeah. Is that what happens? <laughs> yeah, that's a great joke, dude. <laughs> Someone that's, told me recently that Frank <laughs> Oz. The force is strong with this. Frank one. Oz, that's really funny. Frank Oz based. <laughs> That's a, great, <laughs> that's a cool bit to say. Shut not up, dude. It's an extremely away. gay joke. <laughs> I don't know. It's late, dude. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> oh. Someone told me that they Wow. Based- oh, damn, dude. <laughs> the force, the man. The force. <laughs> <laughs> the force is fucking strong. I'm sorry. Oh. 
Mommy, eh, eh, she say that I am gay on the PlayStation. Mommy, make him the name on the game is that I am gay. <laughs> Shut up, don't tell. <laughs> Molestrios, don't make your brother say he's gay. <laughs> Shut up, bitch, man. <laughs> Do not fuck tell me how to play PlayStation. <laughs> I will PlayStation her like a bitch. <laughs> Gio's gay. You can change it. <laughs> Gio. <laughs> oh, I love Molestrios. <laughs> yeah, Molestrios is a good character. <laughs> Shut up, you fucking Shut bitch, up, ma'am. bitch, ma'am. Sucking my nuts, you fucking whore. Fuck you, bitch, man. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, sacrificed so much for her family. Yeah. We came to this country <laughs> not so you could say to Gio that he's is gay. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch, man. <laughs> Go make me lunch time. I am now of the opinion that Charlie Sheen is the funniest person. <laughs> <in the entire laughs> I, I mean, he fucking... There's a point where you can get so evil that you're hilarious. Yeah, it's like... And it's, Charlie Sheen did that. According to, like, court documents, Denise Richards would catch him, like, jacking off the child porn numerous times. Jesus Which Christ. I can only imagine was happening while he was wearing sunglasses and a leather jacket. <laughs> and she would say, please, for our children, could you please stop doing this? Yeah. And then he would go, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Which is, like... The funniest way to respond yeah. to, to please stop jacking off the child To the most shameful porn. thing you can yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. To one of the He acts like he forgot activities. to take the garbage yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Go like, fuck yourself. <laughs> bitch, then, go away. Right. And then, you know, it came that, that, he, bitch, that he had man. AIDS and he was giving all those women AIDS. And in one of the lawsuits, a woman says that she asked him numerous times if he had been tested. And he said, I'm fine. And then they slept with each other. And after he fucked her, he goes... I got HIV, by the way. <laughs> oh my god! And then she like, she like <laughs> flipped out. Monster. She Jesus flipped Christ. out, and she confronted him about it. And he was like, he's like, she was like, why didn't you tell me? He goes, because it's none of your fucking business. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Did he yeah. give it to her? Um, I I, th I think she went on anti retrovials right after. Okay. And if you get on like the new ones, I think after exposure, like you, it, you if you, you do it immediately. To... Still, yeah. that's horrible. Oh, of course. I mean, it's like, mostly yeah. about. <laughs> yeah. Look, ultimately, like AIDS, if you have like medication, you can prolong. You it takes maybe like two years off your life if you get on medication early, and you know. Still, you got to take you got to take pills all day. And you, shit. you do. Like, I'm not saying it's good, but the real damage is the psychological damage of being exposed to HIV right, you know, right, without right. somebody fucking telling you. So the mental stress is way worse. It's than, none of your fucking business. It's none of your fucking business. <laughs> I He's like raw imagine, dogging her with AIDS. He put on, and he's like, it's not he your on, business. Yeah. He put on the leather jacket and the sunglasses sure. again to say it. Mm -hmm. And then he goes, I'm fucking noble for telling you. <laughs> and he's what? like, yeah, he, and then he that. told it her the to article, not yeah. take the medicine. Oh my God. He says, God. you don't even need that medicine. It, and there's no reason to believe the convenient rumors of the medical community. <laughs> like, what the fuck is convenient about fucking. <laughs> yeah. And then he said, and then he says to her, you've been blessed by the apocalypse. At least now, not if, but when I infect you with this, we'll be together. Oh, my you know? God. And then so she's like in tears crying about it. And then and then it says, and then he started making repeated use of the N-word, <laughs> calling himself the dumbest fucking N-word in the room. <laughs> Which is not even like... He's not being racist. He's just <laughs> that was weird. He just kid someone the N word and then tell them to fuck themselves while jacking off the child porn and start calling yourself the N word. <laughs> After you gave someone AIDS. They have salute yeah. to fucking Mexican television. They have the most hilarious shows. So they got good. big ladies with big ass titties. Yeah. yeah, just throwing pies in the midget's all, face. All those girls are married to the executives of that network. Oh yeah, yeah. They they ain't got no problems if you know what I'm saying. That's Those right. girls understand what the price of doing business is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my yeah, wife watches who, that all the time. That's who needs to take over Hollywood after all this is Maryland, Dundalk Ralph. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, we're gonna be straight up about this, yo. If you ain't sucking, you ain't getting on screen, baby girl. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna do the same behavior, but it ain't a secret anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what people don't like. It's is dishonest. <laughs> I'm honest. Say I'm a fucking liar. I'll beat the fuck out of you. <laughs> okay, no blacks either, though. <laughs> they don't show up on a camera. Yo, y'all get Black Panther twice.
twice uh, every two years, we'll do another Black Panther, and that's it, yo. <laughs> they let everything else is going to be movies. girls with big ass titties that Suddenly, are white, or every maybe set a Latina. Needs all these lights. We're yeah. wasting all these money on lights so the black people show up in movies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of doing that shit. I want to shoot something in late afternoon without having to fucking, you know, drain the entire city grid. Yo, go do the halftime show at a basketball game, yo. They got the lights figured out for y'all already. Okay, movies is for the white race, yo. <laughs> woman is gone. Yeah, Mike yeah, Lawrence yeah, yeah, was a yeah, writer yeah. on that, and uh, he, I, I guess he doesn't have a job anymore either, but he did, he just went to that Katy Perry concert and just Who? danced his fears away. <laughs> is Mike Lawrence posted a picture oh. on his yeah, <laughs> He's like, I went to a Katy Perry concert, and, and I he cried. Said he He'd cry the during, entire time. <laughs> he cried during California Girls, oh and he finally God. accepted LA as his home, which I think is amazing. Imagine being a parent who took a 13 year old girl <laughs> to that concert, <laughs> and you turn around and you see sweaty Mike Lawrence dancing and crying <laughs> during California Girls. I think you would go, This isn't safe, and we've got to go. That deserves the call out. Uh, you would think crazy. someone took their retarded son to Katy Perry. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, saw yeah. that. Like this those. adult disabled man. <laughs> yeah. And I love Mike, but they call me out when I post something fat on my Instagram, which happens every other week. So every other day. And who's I, that? I love the If they all do, like Matt, Matt, Mike will be like, well, this is a, you know, <laughs> this is a very piggish thing. And I'm like, all right, well, okay, you're going to go to a party. <laughs> I had dinner. I said this on podcast before. It was like one of the greatest things ever in my life was I had dinner with him and his wife in LA. He said three things. They were all terrible. Fine. And one of them he said, he goes like this, we're eating mole, the mole is so good. He goes like this, he goes, he looks up at us, he's got like mole all over him, he goes, roast battle must evolve or it will perish. And I just looked at his wife and I'm like, are you guys getting to the beach at all? Or what do you think? Like, how, how's it been? Is the weather good? What you guys do with that? With that? I'm living in the shadow of my own kill. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. He destroys Ralphie yeah, May. I go downstairs the next day. We're on like the buffet line or whatever in Montreal. And I go, congrats. The whole festival's talking about it. He's like, but I am living in the shadow of my own kill. I'm like, oh my God. What? Uh, and, and my friend Tommy how to, how to be funny with words. Right. My friend Tommy got uh had to go like <laughs> he had to go to like the clinic, like the hospital, because this kid <laughs> Dan Ravinsky took a half filled Nalgene on a carabiner and swung it and smashed his dick. And he oh! had, like, go, <laughs> God. <laughs> was, Did he break his cock? The, well no, he broke he broke his cock from the other from when we interrupted him masturbating. Wait a minute, oh this God. guy has multiple cock traumas. Yeah, this guy went to a clinic and then later broke his dick. He broke his dick later that summer because uh. like, he was like masturbating in the room, and I told everyone else he was masturbating. They they opened the a window of him masturbating. He was like flat on the bed with like his socks, uh, just wearing socks and like holding a, a okay, porn I'm, magazine. I'm trying to be professional here. Yeah, yeah, so sorry, sorry. He was let's like, not get so <laughs> amazing. <laughs> that, you know anyway, what I mean? This so is very uh, <laughs> just we, in his socks. When you open the window, everyone's like laughing at him. And it's, it's one of the meanest things I ever did was, is ratting on him. Yeah. And uh, he like was flat on the bed. Well, and he no, sort of. I mean, you've solicited sex traffic prostitutes. Yeah, you've heard prostitutes. That's pretty mean. It's not mean. It is mean. It's participating in a broken system. Okay. One <laughs> twice. That's what I I get people to fuck me by saying, "Will you participate in a, in broken, a broken system?" <laughs> That's literally the line I use. <laughs> oh. This is a broken system. <laughs> but will you systemically tune me up? Anyway, he like uh, he break his dick. He was flat on his back on this mattress, and he like. Saw it, he like did a double take. Everyone's laughing at him, and he like sort of his body just sort of levitated, and he like did a one eighty, and he just smashed his boner uh, into the mattress. This is rough. What happened? You were talking like, to the mic, you fucking. Sorry, idiot. he just like smashed his boner into the mattress, and then like he started crying. And what? Broke. <laughs> did it break? Like can he no, it didn't hard? break. I mean, it like bent in. It was like an erection, ah, like bent in is, half. He did is, a real sleep number. This right. is yeah, real yeah. rough. <laughs> All right, well, yeah. you like run bits by. Them, I go right? up and down, you know, the Jersey Turnpike, and I go in the. The truck stop restrooms. Yep. And oh I, yeah. And I work on my craft. <laughs> yeah. Imagine like doing bits like through a glory hole. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Uh, what's that the deal with <laughs> elevator music? <laughs> <laughs> Why did they get rid of elevator music? <laughs> 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 I want it back. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Stop it, please. <laughs> boom, 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 I told you, boom, suck on my dick, I'm boom, gay. I told you that story that my friend Rylan told me about that glory hole guy in the South. So there's this like guy that's like says like an old fucking legend. I told no, I've told Nick. Well, he was a contemporary of Robert E. Lee. (laughs) (laughs) So there's this guy. They they called him Hole in the Wall Jack. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) this guy his like whole like (laughs) give that a little bit more credit. Yeah, Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was very good. good. Sorry, 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 that was good. Um, Yeah, so this guy's like his whole issue and cause is glory holes, like shutting down glory holes. Shutting them down or shutting them down. Protecting. Oh, so what what, he does? No, no, he thinks like how big of a problem are glory holes in the South? (laughs) Like how inconvenient are they? In pornography stores and truck stops, they're really in this Bojangles restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So what he does is he entraps men going to use a glory hole by taking pictures of their penis when they put it into the glory <laughs> hole. And then, weird. Are you and kidding? Then threatens them with those pictures and says, I'm going to send this to your family and then like blackmails them. This is but the he's weirdest clearly, fetish. Like, he's clearly yeah. Yeah, like somebody's yeah. going to be like, well, yep, that's my son's penis. <laughs> <laughs> that's my adult son's hard penis. <laughs> <laughs> I would never yeah. mistake that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, <laughs> I've raised that dick. Yeah. But he's uh, clearly... I breastfed that They like call their husband over like, is this Jimmy's cop? <laughs> but he's clearly like a, like a repressed gay guy. And he's, he's using yeah. like Christianity. Any dude who goes, hey, I'm a real Christian. Here's what I'm yeah, going to yeah, spend yeah. my life doing. Yeah, right, yeah. right, right. Photographing right. cops <laughs> coming <laughs> through glory halls. No, 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 hey, right. That's <laughs> a real, that's a rough sell. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. a tough sell. <laughs> yeah. And Rylan like was telling me, right, you know, he literally <laughs> has. He just loves the minute that <laughs> mushroom head <laughs> pokes through the glory That's home. the only time he feels alive, dude. <laughs> he sees that crying. pink tip crawling over. Over, dude. Yeah, yeah, no, but Rylan said he literally has trapper keepers filled with oh men's my cocks. God, are you and he's kidding? like, it's what, like baseball cards? Yeah. Like baseball yeah. cards. Like, like an in encyclopedia Britannica of shafts. <laughs> also, <laughs> that's by the trade way, you an eight and a half black cut for a Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, holographic I, charge. Did you see wives coming in to try to identify their yeah. husband's <laughs> cock? By the way, that guy just did that because he got caught at a glory hole one day. <laughs> and he was like, um, I'm here to oh, stop yeah. people being gay. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the Eichenwald Pete Townsend, like, yeah. oh, I was only downloading massive amounts of child pornography so I could complain about it. It was research. Well, yeah. I just love the idea that, like, I love the idea that that guy supposedly goes to some, like, conservative church where he's got to meet people and tell them what he does. Yeah, like, yeah, Listen course. to how I get these queers. Yeah. I take a photo of their cock yeah. as soon as it slides through the glory <laughs> yeah. hole. I got thousands of them. You know he sucked at least eight dicks. You gotta. At that point. What are you going to do? You're there. You're there. You know what I mean? You know he's also had to appreciate a few dicks that went to the glory hole like, and he went. Yeah, even well, if he's not nice, gay. Yeah. Even if he's not gay, he has to go, hey, mm. I got to be honest. Yeah. that's. A, I'm sure there's a few guys he didn't even take a photo. He's yeah, like, he's like <laughs> I got to be honest. I, I have nothing but respect for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? The heft. The heft so on that crazy. cock. <laughs> I'm trying to get my cock rubbed under an igloo, dude. Yeah. How warm is an igloo? Not warm at all. I thought they had like they did some kind of engineering they put a fire or magic or nah, something. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. I really? thought you could make it hot. Nah, they're the it's dumbest. It's nicer than outside. They're the dumbest race. <laughs> Eskimos. Yeah. Well, they have they don't have any other words because they use all their words on snow. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they run you trains. See, you should see how many words they have for black people. <laughs> Just <laughs> one. You think the snow one? <laughs> Just is one. And guess what letter yeah, it starts yeah, with? Yeah. <laughs> it's S N I. Pussy dress. In the pussy juice. She's got the pussy juice. Fuck ju- off, ma'am. I love the way the pussy dress tastes when it has AIDS. I'm beating off the pussy, ma'am. Get ma'am, down. Mama, learn how bitch. to jack off, you fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't want to see your old pussy. Shut up. You fucking bitch, ma'am. Sh- shut the fuck up, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Get out, I'm jacking off. Get out, I'm le- I learned how to beat off from Sundar at school. <laughs> oh, they're friends? Oh, Sundar's his friend? <laughs> yeah, yeah. My friend, the rude nigga Sundar. <laughs> <laughs> Gio, no say the N word, oh, yeah. Gio. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Molestrios. Molestrios, yeah. I want to say the N word too. <laughs> no, Gio, you're a faggot, you can say it. Only I can say it. <laughs> Molestrios, let your brother say the end word. Shut that bitch, man. 
<laughs> be, that's got to be horrible, a horrible feeling. What the runt of the bukaki? Yeah, yeah, nah. yeah. Just waiting. <laughs> 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 he can't. He can't suck any of the cum. T- <laughs> <laughs> Adam's a uh, rough trade gay sex. It's like a big thing. What is me. rough trade gay sex? I don't know. I just love the way it sounds. It sounds I think it's probably like sounds like a real thing. Like I know that's a record. Raped, a record. It's a record store. store. And anytime I see yeah. the bags, I f- I say the whole thing in my rough head. trade gay <laughs> sex. <laughs> it makes me laugh so hard. You think it's like they beat each other up and then fuck? No, like, I think rough trade. You gay go down. Sex. By the like, docks, so you meet some boys. Yeah, it's like you you're fucking somebody for like uh, a job or something. Oh, really? I yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I have no idea. <laughs> I've heard it once or twice. <laughs> Sounds know. pretty good for a job. <clears throat> yeah, I, for I need a nice, a job. nice pair of Levi's. Ooh, that's the only way to get into my jeans. <laughs> Just fuck you my ass. ass. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get your you wear a nice pair of ass. jeans. You gotta funk my ass. (laughs) 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 Just being removed from Macy's. (laughs) You're the guy. Sir, we told you nine times. (laughs) You gotta stop doing this. Coming into Macy's trying to trick people into fucking your ass. (laughs) You bring your own name tag. (laughs) Hello? <laughs> oh no no! Come over here. You he ready? said it is only with the wearing <laughs> the Everest jeans as if I uh, fall my ass, <laughs> and then he fuck me in front of the mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> he said you have such a nice boy pussy. Where did you get it, clown college? And he made fun of me, clown college. <laughs> He said, where did you get that boy pussy, clown college? What a good burn that would be. Clown, where did you clown get that boy college. pussy, clown college? <laughs> Why is that so funny? He said to me that my boy pussy was from clown college. Is <laughs> that Imagine. deposition with Jeffrey Epstein where the guy questioning him is like, is it true that you have an egg-shaped penis? Really? Yeah, and his lawyer's like, you don't have to answer that. <laughs> and he's like, no, it's pertinent to the investigation, uh, one of the, the victims said that Jeffrey Epstein would then expose himself and he had a very weird shaped penis. It was almost an egg shaped Really? Penis. Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking incredible. Yeah. My favorite shit is the Donald Sterling deposition. Oh, that was great. That, oh my God, fuck. Found the thing. It's really good. Uh, well, I fool around sometimes, I do, when a girl seduces me and tells me all of these hot stories and dirty things and tells me how much she wants to suck on me and take my shoes off and licks my feet and touches me. When I'm in a limousine, she takes all of her clothes off. The limo driver said, what is going on? And she started sucking me on the way to Mr. Coon's house, and I thank her. I thank her for making me feel good. Sir, the question was, is this your handwriting? <laughs> 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 they asked him if this is his handwriting And he's talking about getting his dick sucked And his feet licked on a limousine <laughs> He was also like 99 years God, old God, that right? rules, man He was so old That guy, you know what? He got his money's worth Yeah, raw milk is fucking gross Damn Non-pasteurized milk? No, like raw milk Like straight from the titty Yeah it needs to be, like, strained or some shit. It's just a process. It's chunky or something? Yeah, it's, like, all fucked up and chunky. It's disgusting. Well, we shouldn't, guys. We it's shouldn't actually illegal. It. You can't, like, if you have, like, raw cow milk, if you bring it across straight lines it's, or, or state lines, it's a federal crime. Damn. It's a federal like crime drugs? to sell it. Yeah, it's, like, not... Didn't, wasn't there, like, some guy... What was that meme going around where, it was like, some fucking congressman uh, did, did legislation to pass, make it... Legal to drink raw milk. Mm-hmm. He drank it and then he got fucking diarrhea <laughs> immediately <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> on on the Senate floor. Yeah. Just, Gentlemen, allow me to demonstrate <laughs> the be- the beauty of raw milk. <laughs> blow, 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 blow. <laughs> my friends, I must inform you that I have gone to the bathroom in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I mu- I, reg- I do regretfully declare I have. Filled my pants with diarrhea, <laughs> and I must excuse myself to the pages' restroom, <laughs> so I may put on 
my second pair of pants, which I brought as a contingency plan. This, I'm sorry that this is now my third presentation on the Senate floor. It has ended in me filling my pants with, <laughs> with explosive diarrhea. I retract both my raw milk legislation <laughs> and my grilled cheese sandwiches for everyone legislation. <laughs> and uh, also my we should drink visine it makes you trip piece of legislation. <laughs> <laughs> it makes the weed more powerful. <laughs> if you soak the weed in visine, which one of my friend, a man named Scooter I met at Spencer's Gifts, where I often spend my afternoons, told me if I drink visine, if I put visine in my Mickey's, I would get even more fucked up. But <laughs> <laughs> this is now the third time I have filled the gracious halls of, of the American Senate floor with <laughs> massive amounts of fecal matter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. In the uh, immortal words of Brandon Wardell, it's lit. <laughs> oh, whoa, nice. You know, he made lit, that up? Man. He came up with it. <laughs> Brandon watched the documentary. Saying swag is Brandon Wardell. He came up with that. <laughs> what documentary? The the pedophile documentary. He's like, dude, I'm freaking out right now. I was like, why? Because you're getting flashbacks? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck the post office, man. Yeah. You really got to go to war with them. You know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You get them to just deliver the goddamn mail. Yeah, Get the you guns and, out. And uh, 95-year-old uh, Fox News uh Watch, watch right. Yeah, <laughs> get that bit out. That genius ass. Oh. <laughs> it's one of these. Whatever the people like. It's just it. one Continue. of these days <laughs> when you don't want to wake up. Um, you don't seventh penis. Because your co-host isn't any good at it, <laughs> and you want to know why. You want to justify <laughs> kicking Adam off the show. <laughs> Really? Fat guys wearing the skateboarding shoes to turn sideways because of their weight. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's awful. And they never have laces. <laughs> They're leaning skating. so hard to yeah. one side. Do you remember those shoes, I used those to work, Cyruses? I used to work at Papa John's. The manager was this fat guy, Phil, that would wear skate shoes. And he, like, never, ever, ever washed his Papa John's shirt. <laughs> so it was, like, that is fucking there was, gross. like, baked dough on, from, his bo- <laughs> from the cornmeal mixing with his body. <laughs> it was just on the shirt. And then he, the shirt... Somehow went past his ass, and he would sag his pants. So his he wore like a size thirty two pant underneath his ass, and then his like whole body was fat. So his like shirt went uh, like down and in. Oh, <laughs> like and it, tucked into his tucked cheeks, in because so he, you can see his ass cheeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I told a story about him on the podcast before. I can't remember, but. One day, me and another driver show up to the store, and the store is not open. Yes, yeah, but yeah, yeah it was quickly. What do you mean quickly? Say it. Tell again. the story. Oh, but I told it already. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. We're like Maybe. we found out like hours later. Phil's like, "Yeah, I burned down my apartment complex." <laughs> yeah. Yes. 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 Like, but don't worry, my PlayStation's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Salute. <laughs> Salute to a true warrior, dude. No, having his fucking priorities in line. Yeah, dude. Yeah, and his don't dad. Worry, I didn't. I didn't lose dad, my like, saved twice. The apartment complex. <laughs> that's oh right. That's God. right. Yeah. He was supposed to be like the manager or some was, shit. Yeah, he was just some fail son that lived in his dad's apartment complex rent free and he burned the fucking thing down. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not making money, but at least he's not destroying the way I make my living. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fill up. <laughs> I like to imagine his dad is like also fat, but like a serious businessman. But he wears his clothes the, the same, same way. way yeah. <laughs> He's got like a business suit on, but tucked in below his ass. <laughs> Just he was like a fucking like in his early forties, this short, like disgusting Bolivian guy. Hell yeah, dude! That he was like, yeah, I fuck all you women in the back. <laughs> How does he do I, it? He went up. He was like, I, he, told, he told me one time. He's like, I went up to this woman. And I was like, oh, you like milk? Uh, what about chocolate milk? You know what I'm saying? And then she came in the back. And I, and she <laughs> that's fought. not true. He, that, I mean, that's what he said. Yeah, it's I never really witnessed not true. It. There was this other guy, Kevin, another old guy that worked there. I'm like, is that shit that Henry says true? He's like, yeah. Uh, yeah. He's like, one time he had this woman in the back, and he came out and he got me. And he was like, do you want to come fuck her? I'm like, no, I'm at work. He asked him, <laughs> what? The old guy was. Yeah, so yeah, wait, yeah. wait, wait. This isn't like, he's not like bringing his like 
side bitches no, to no, the no, grocery no, no. store. These are strangers. These are women <laughs> picking up a can of garbanzo beans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, you know what? I could get rock dogged gonna... by some fat 5'2 <laughs> Guatemalan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you like beans? He's a uh, Bolivian. I mean, he testicles. wasn't fat, but, you know. Oh, okay. He... Was he's he a, sexy? No. 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 <laughs> no, he was like a day late. He's a guy who works at a grocery He's a 55-year-old man that works at a grocery store. He was just a Bolivian store. Pua. Yeah, He yeah. just had such incredible skills. Yeah, no, and I remember I, I went up to the manager one time, this guy Ricky, and I like had to ask him about something, and there's this woman talking to him. She's like, seriously, that is not okay. And Ricky's like, yeah, I understand. We will discuss this with him, and he will face consequences. <laughs> And then he's like, fucking, oh my he's, I don't know what she's, she's talking about, but the woman finally leaves, and I'm like, is that about Henry? He's like, man, Henry, fucking, that dude, yeah. he's, like, he's like, he's got to cool it, man, he can't keep trying to fuck all these customers in the store. <laughs> what the fuck, dude, that is yeah, incredible. Yeah, yeah. I remember one time I was sitting yeah. in class, you couldn't get when you're the I was sitting in science taking, class, yeah. and this other kid yeah, came yeah, in, yeah, woman, right. who sat next assignment. to me. Yeah. And he came in and he looked like a ghost. And he had just gone to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. I was like, "What's up?" He's like, "Dude, I just went to the bathroom, and there was a retarded kid in there washing his balls in the sink." <laughs> <laughs> Holy fucking <laughs> shit! <laughs> and I like, you know, then as soon as he said that, there was like the dust cloud outline of me, and I was like already <laughs> yeah. in the bathroom, but I didn't see it. <laughs> oh no, you missed it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see it. Damn. Damn, dude, that's awesome. Yeah. Fuck, I'm... Oh, my God. It's just so funny that it's like... <laughs> that the, the, the retarded kid thought that was part of the process. Was you You're pissed? Right. And then you well, wash your balls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my <laughs> name is Pierre Pussygetting, and I <laughs> love to rap. Actually, I don't think there is anything funny uh, about rap have, jokes, we because do not it have... is more of a way of life for me. <laughs> right, you should not be able to make rap jokes if you do not rape. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like how only like black the... men are allowed to say Niger, but... <laughs> They're because they do it. That makes because they act sense. like that. So that's why they can say it. But for me as a rapist, I feel only me should be able to do it. Yeah, beat that, Lindy. Uh, Marty, where we're going, we won't need condoms. <laughs> because everyone has AIDS. <laughs> if everyone has it. It's like no one has it. We just go and fuck without condoms and then go back in time. And then we won't have AIDS anymore. And they're both in the hospital. He's like, I did the math wrong. <laughs> uh, Caesar, thank you for joining us. Uh, you're such a hero. and uh, Thank you so much. I'm so sorry about what happened to you. Can you describe in detail exactly what yeah, Brian yes. Singer did to you? Uh, first of all, thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you for letting of me course, come here. Caesar, of course, Caesar. Because it is very cold outside in the parking lot. <laughs> Have oh you been out God. there for a while? I have been looking for work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, at the, oh. this is crazy at the Home Depot in bed Yes, and people cannot see me <laughs> behind the Christmas trees <laughs> because they are even the little Christmas trees are too big for me. Yeah, it's true. Caesar's two foot four. <laughs> Hey, uh, Adam, hey. come on. Don't admonish our guest. No, it's, that is true. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, Caesar. That is uh, the accurate number. <laughs> I measured him. The numero de height <laughs> for me. Uh-huh. Now, what exactly... I'm sorry if this is difficult Any for you. Anywho, I was raped. <laughs> <laughs> you were? Yes, what? it is was very, uh, very not good for me. What exactly did he, did he, did Mr. Singer do? Well, I was outside at John Depot, <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Brian Singer, he comes to, he, he drives up in David Geffen's yacht, <laughs> uh-huh. and they look, they roll down the window of the yacht, <laughs> which also goes on land. <laughs> it's a land yacht. Oh, wow. cool. And they roll down the window, and he, Brian singer pushes his head out of the porthole and he says to me do you want to become a famous <laughs> oh no and i said i can only do drywall and he goes that's okay <laughs> wow <laughs> so he promised you fame but he said i could do the drywall on the shot <laughs> did he say you could be in a movie 
Yeah, I don't remember, but he said I could do the drywall because so that is, I am very good at the drywall. So you were intoxicated by these promises of well, drywall Well, I'm always drunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, literally also. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, could, I smelled something. I'm I because it is, I started drinking for loco when I was seven. <laughs> they That's they why I drink. could not be tall. Wow. Now, okay. You seem a little hesitant to describe the actual things he did because to you. Because he bring me on a ball. Yes, and then what? <laughs> and he said I could meet a Wolverine. <laughs> oh, he said he could meet Wolverine. Meet Wolverine from X-Men. Yes. <laughs> oh. And he bring me into the, the captain's room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he fought my ass. Oh, oh he no. fucked your he ass. He fought my ass all He fought your ass. <laughs> he said, where did you get that boy pussy? <laughs> And then he fought my ass. Oh my god! With the Wolverine's claws. <laughs> he was wearing Wolverine's he was wearing clothes. The, did he he played the you the Wolverine's claws to fall my ass. <laughs> oh my and god! And he had a little Magneto helmet that he put on his dick, and then he fought my ass. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm laughing so hard, Caesar. No, it's okay. <laughs> you recognize this is very funny. But uh, the rest I cannot talk to uh, talk to about because there is pending litigation. Oh sure. But I will say that he fought my ass so bad. <laughs> really? Okay, goodbye. He smashed. How tall is he? Do we have the same body? You have the same yeah, exact body. Yeah, he's just as fat as you. <laughs> he's level three. No, I'm more powerful than him. No, tell 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 this story. Adam was looking up your. Bodies. I wasn't looking at Max and Hadas because of the podcast. You said morbidly. Obese. I didn't say. I said regular obese. I you said, said no, regular. I said you were profoundly you said, obese. You said yeah. <laughs> and, and, then, and I vehemently so we stick looked to up, regular. We obese. looked up if what the designation, like what if that's a medical designation, uh-huh. based on what my approximation of your weight and height was. Uh-huh. And it was you're what five seven and I put five seven two sixty two sixty yeah. yeah. sure okay which I think is nice sure fine it's a little high right now. Because, by the way, I don't think I'm sticking with vegetarian. It's made me gain weight. I just keep eating it chips. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, and Twizzlers said this last shit. night. How about vegetarian? And you that's just eat true. big cheese. cheese Wed- wedge <laughs> yeah. salads. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, now, what did, doctor, what did it say? It said, like, either stage three or you level You might want to sit down even more for this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, said, it said level three morbid obesity. No, <laughs> dude. Yeah, dude. Did you did you factor in yeah, how powerful dude. my legs are? That's the fucking, These are all muscle. You're the Charizard okay? of morbid <laughs> obesity. These are all fucking muscle. It was level. <laughs> Look at my calves, for a, fuck's sake. I don't know if it's stage. This is not an obese person's stop lower body. Stop it's evolving it's into Stavrosion. <laughs> Fuck you, motherfucker! I don't know if it was stage or Stavrosian no. used eat. <laughs> it was incredibly effective. Stavrosian <laughs> used fatten. <laughs> By the way, that's not a nuanced enough tool because I don't. I'm not a regular motherfucker. All right, I got a different kind of body. Sure, my stomach. You don't even little help. Nuance to you is like when there's like a, dr- a dollop of mustard in mm-hmm. pea soup. Mm-hmm. It's true. That's, that's the only. What's one of the kinds of nuances there are <laughs> that is a, that can that taste is a, just a little bit of yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> that is nuance yeah. to me. However, I also a hint. I can't a, be categorized this easily. I have a very powerful. I have very powerful. Haunches. I'm just saying, in terms of height and weight, that's not. It's too simplistic a tool. In terms of BMI, most people, in terms most of BMI, people with this kind of height and weight wouldn't wouldn't be this powerful. But I'm not. I'm not most people, Adam. Okay, I'm, I'm not, I'm not level trying three to say morbidly that. obese. I'm regular <laughs> obese. It might be for the last three. time. I'm not sure if it's level three whatever or it is. Three. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> the point is, and also, like Nick that said, that tool like is Nick flawed. Said, there might be 25 stages. You might be early. No, you might be low I reject. Stage. No, no, no. I you won't even. I will stage. not do this. I'm trying I'm to give it to you easy. <laughs> Absolutely not. I mean, looking at you and knowing that you're stage three or whatever, I don't believe there's more than. Five stages. No, that's a I false can't imagine, diagnosis. I can't These imagine, aren't medical professionals. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Two more about. stages after this. There's no way. The next stage is, uh, you know, uh, computer monitor pulled up to your bed and you, <laughs> you live off fucking Taco Bell fourth meals that are brought to you by some probably mentally disabled Hispanic woman that is your wife or something. I don't really ever know those people's roles. 
And then stage five is uh, doing the little hand bike. Yeah, a funeral <laughs> where the hearse is a U-Haul truck. <laughs> That's stage five. It's when they bury you in one of the boxes they ship pianos in. <laughs> I mean, the yeah. best thing to come out of that is that guy that's like, "I'm Delaney Walker. I'm a tight end for the Tennessee, Tennessee Titans." Titans yeah. <laughs> um, first of all, I wanted to read you this poem by Buddha. <laughs> always, always stay positive. And if you remember that, and it's like, that's not a poem, it's a statement. <laughs> <laughs> by Buddha. No. And then he goes, yeah, right. By, a poem by Buddha. By Buddha. Noted <laughs> poet, right. Buddha. And he, goes, <laughs> Buddha. And he goes, I'm sorry the bullying has been taking place at your school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it, NBA stands for Nick's Black Association. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was talking about his own name this whole time. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Nick's Black Association <laughs> Stealing <laughs> Nick's Black Associations Is just what you <laughs> The things you associate with black people <laughs> Oh fuck man Well uh, <clears throat> You know we haven't dis- we haven't discussed It's our baby boy's birthday today yeah, I'm about to say the NAACP It's the NNNCP <laughs> You know NNN Colored CP. people, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. NWA. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you what it stands for, but maybe some of the smarter audience members can figure it out. Do lines while playing Call of Duty about, you know, and saying the N word. Like a gay guy that does lines off dildos by himself at home. Oh yeah, <laughs> That's cool. it never goes soft. It should Amber, be. It's like somebody just posted uh, uh, "nig x" instead of "nigga," and it's <laughs> it's a non-gender binary version of "nigga." <laughs> if he's dead, I guess he can't fuck the ape. I guess I have to suck the when, ape off. When Trayvon Martin happened, my stepmom was just oh, going, no. mm-hmm. yep, suicide by cop. And it's oh, like, yeah, no. He, he wasn't a cop. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just a guy on the yeah. street. So also, I don't think Trayvon Martin wanted to kill himself. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> suicide Damn. by cop. The two stepmom stories you've told on this episode are hilarious. <laughs> oh, yeah, your dad died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, right. <laughs> that funeral that we were just saying. Uh, Yo, speaking of elders, I'll make fun of him. He has a yeast infection on his penis a man? now. <laughs> a man? Yeah, dude. And he did like it's not from his girlfriend. He's, He's from straight the fucking up cookies. He straight up got a yeast infection on his cock. A man. <laughs> Yes, I dude. didn't know guys could get. I know <laughs> he's gotten it before, dude. What is it? What is that like? <laughs> I think it's just what like his is cock is too swampy. His balls and shit are too, too swampy, damp? too damp. His penis. <laughs> yeah, it's like a swamp, and it yeah. it grows yeast. <laughs> his dick is like a petri dish. Why the fuck does it smell like Auntie Anne's in the apartment? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is like uh, I'm having an issue again. <laughs> I accidentally fucked a bunch of pancake batter. And- no, I've got a, a bread dick. <laughs> God damn, this shit was so funny, dude. <laughs> fucking yeast infection. What a fucking idiot, dude. He's so fucking stupid. Yeah. Um, I watched it yesterday, and it's still the greatest stand-up set of all time. Yeah. Oh, man. I think the British are coming, One, dude. I think, dude, getting high and saying, I think the British are coming to <laughs> <dude>, yourself <laughs> is the funniest thing in the world. I'm just like fucking... Just lazily walking around my apartment high by myself saying, I think the British are coming, <laughs> and just pissing myself laughing. It's I've so funny. I've tried weed before. I've smoked pot, okay? <laughs> no, no, he doesn't, he doesn't say smoke. He said, I've tried pot. Yeah, pot. Yeah. Awesome. Do you, hey, you guys want to score some pot? Do pot. Yeah. You know what I really love to do is score pot and get my tube sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I love getting my boobs sucked. <laughs> I love that shit so much, dude. Yeah, uh, Doc, my fucking tube hurts. <laughs> my tube hurts, Doc. <laughs> I gotta fuck the wrong tube, tube, Doc. Tube. <laughs> I think I have another yeast infection in my tube. <laughs> <laughs> Something's wrong with my tube. Yeah, Eldis's tube is just a crescent <laughs> roll tube. Yeah, yeah. You I'm, got still, it. I'm the... still thinking about the tube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sucking tube. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, like every, anytime I go to YouTube now, it's, <laughs> it's going to be funny. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Damn. YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> you ruined that for the rest of your life. I know. Mm. I like to get my tube hogged off by a, he- <laughs> a hefty gal. Hog this tube, bitch. Oh, yeah. Hog my tube. Why don't you hog, why don't you hog my tube? I need a bitch that'll hog my tube. <laughs> I will for sure. I'm looking for a bitch that'll hog my tube. Whoa, tube. quit hogging all the tube. <laughs> hey, save, save some, some tube, tube. Save some for tube the for rest of us gay Italian guys. <laughs> it's going to be hard for me not to say tube next time I get my dick sucked. Oh, yeah. yeah. To be like, suck that tube. <laughs> <laughs> suck that tube. Suck that tube, you fucking slime. <laughs> suck my pussy. Suck my fucking pussy. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck my, fuck my, fuck my tank tank pussy. pussy. I'm a fucking I'm coming. I'm a fucking hire. I'm gonna come. <laughs> Fuck me harder. Mm, Fuck me with your big big hard dock. There's a guy. There's a guy that ran open mics in DC that was clearly in the closet, and he would like talk about girls, but he would talk about it like a gay guy. Awesome. What? Yeah. So he'd be like. Oh, I just want to fuck her so bad. <laughs> 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 oh, I love that. She's so sexy. She's so hot. I just yeah. want to fuck her. I told this story before, but the most New York shit I saw was on Canal Street. And it was a Chinese woman with her like four-year-old Chinese son. Broad daylight, 11 a.m., like a Wednesday. And his pants were pulled down, <laughs> and she was holding his dick and helping him piss all over the sidewalk. <laughs> she was holding his dick for him, and he was using his hands to lift his shirt up. And it was like, what was she like bent bent down? Yeah, by she his was dick? like crouching and holding his penis. What? And she then, was riding his. How dick. big was a baby Chinese kid's dick? Like, I mean, huge. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm That's the thing a is, hog. Chinese people, they got Benjamin Button dicks. Nick they and I yesterday. <laughs> that's why. It doesn't, I remember a news story about somebody had a. They got a pit bull, and then they had an infant, and they're like, the pit bull is fine around the infant, and then they hear this like blood curdling fucking scream from the other it. room. No, and they go in there, and the pit bull is running around, and the baby is being dragged behind it, like ass to ass. And what had happened was, is the pit bull. Fuck the baby in the ass, and then it's called a dog knot. But on a dog's dick at the base, there's oh, like a fuck. thick bulb that locks into oh, fuck. the female dog's pussy. Yeah. And, and then, then the dogs, lipstick just dogs slides don't out. dogs don't really like nut at the end. They kind of just are constantly nutting while they're fucking or whatever. Oh, nice. So they get stuck in the pussy, and then they just continue nutting, and then that's why dogs get stuck together. You know, if you see dogs finish fucking, and they're, like, stuck together. <laughs> so that happened to this couple's baby, and the baby's just being dragged behind the pit bull by its ass because the dog's coming <laughs> oh, in. God damn. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, I guess you... You gotta watch yeah, out. Yeah, you gotta fucking you gotta be careful <laughs> with those rescue pitbulls. You can't believe your babies with the pits yeah. butt naked. I Hell fuck yeah, so you know I fuck with birds, right? My first girlfriend had a had a Senegalese parrot named Patty. Senegalese, and that was actually the origin of African guy voice. She had a parrot, like a yeah Sen- Senegal parrot, and so like he didn't speak really, but. He was very surly because she had gone on vacation at some point, and they're very smart animals. So yeah, you go on vacation, then they think you've abandoned it. You come back three weeks later, the parrot's like, I'm not fucking friends with you anymore. Yeah, yeah. And so it would just hate it, everyone. And, uh, like, you know, you go up to its cage and it would scream at you and try and bite your fingers. And so I would go up to the cage and I'd, you know, put my finger in it and let, you know, try to bite me. And then I would do, like, a voice of him. But he was from Africa, you know, because he's from <laughs> Senegal. So I'd be like, get, get away from my cage. <laughs> get away from it. Do not come to my cage. <laughs> And, you know, she would, like, laugh at like, the voice. It was like, you just ruined my parrot now. I can't, I can't appreciate my parrot anymore because I'm not going to be able to see, look at him without hearing that voice. Do not put your finger in my cage. What the fuck yeah. are you doing? Well, because do, if you do not bring me a cracker, because I, you do not understand, is that all I want in this world is a cracker. And you do not bring it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah. The birds live mad long. Yeah, they yeah, they, they give it away to some Mexican family. Oh fuck! I was like, you know, they turned him into like Momofungu or something. <laughs> <shit. laughs> 
They're not keeping that as a pet. They're making a stew. Yeah, either 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 they <laughs> ate him or somebody's abuelita thinks he's Jesus. Yo, I'm g- coming I, home. I'm, yeah, I'm dying. <laughs> it's my so, time. Open up, bitch. <laughs> it's, uh, it's time for me to go home. <laughs> would you go shoulder first or would you go head first, foot first? If I had to go back first. into my mom's yeah, pussy? Would you go? Tongue uh, first. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would, yeah, head first. Head first? I'd yeah, pencil you, you'd put her on like mom's. a turtleneck. I think I'd go in Timberland's first, bro. Tim's first. You go Tim's yeah. first. Hang her that's upside down Bronx, and just that's jump the in. Bronx her. way. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I'd hang her upside down, jump in her. Yeah, that uptown rebirth. <laughs> <laughs> oh <man>. fuck. <laughs> Tim's first. <laughs> that's what I would do. Uh, I go Yankee me. fitted last. Yeah, that's gonna be a good, uh, good slow burn for me.